I mean, Ben's only got 223 behind. I mean, it's kind of an all-in or a fold, isn't it? Yes. And I prefer a fold. Pot's 410,000. No, it's not. No, sorry. It's 634,000. Thank you. Wow. Are they going twice? Yeah. Uh, a king ball is dead. I saw one. Spades are dead as well. Obviously, there's ace king. Oh wow, just wasted. Yeah. So sick. And first one goes to Ben. Six hundred and thirty-four thousand dollar pot. Ben is on his way to having the biggest night on our stream for him. Yep, and he's gonna win them both. Oh. Wow. You were gonna this guy? Sorry for knowing where I'm at, Leslie. Wow. Come on, what are we talking about, man? No coaching. Leslie's laughing at his opponents, and I'm here for it. I swear he has a night queen, night queen. Nick checks. Barry's got to bet this. You got to bet that, Barry. Come on. You might win. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. You have and he does wow. win. That's the case 10, by the way. That's Professional. Professional, <laughs> man. Wow. 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's really Ron. He's somewhere smiling right now. Wow. I think even Reza, I think Reza is legitimately sorry about that. And he hits his four on the river. And he's still no good. The joint for Sammy. His gambling is rewarded immediately by Lauren, the dealer. I don't know that you can put your opponent on 8-5 here. Oh no. Less than 1% is not the equity you're looking for with 31K in the middle. Oh, that was the best hand I've seen in a while. Mayhem gonna figure it out again that he's been overset by pocket aces. Set overset twice in a couple hours. Oh. You have aces? Yeah. Me. Seriously? I never get them. I never Twice get them. One night this happens to me? Look yeah. at this. Oh, oh look at yeah. this. Shit. No. Oh, There's geez. still another. No. There's still another jack. So sick. Big John. Wesley won over 100,000. I saw he has jack. I figured out. Yeah. It's overplayed. But if you go all in, only jacks or fives will call you. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I wish I knew. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't you, know you, that. You think I have a, like, because uh, uh, you have four, I, I could have four five. I could have jack five. Yeah. You think jack, jack five can call you? Jack five can call you without all in. So that's, uh, yeah. He's getting such an insane price here. When you, when you bet, Half of the effective stack, it's just really, really hard to pull. And I show you no. my hand after, and then if, if you win, I give you 10,000. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. Living thing. way here. But well, look at this bet though, 20,000 into 10,000. He's betting 2x pot. Garrett putting maximum pressure on Bertucci. The Nick folds, look at that. Just a power play from Garrett. She just snap moves all in. Ronnie snap calls and Ronnie's gonna need some help. Oh, 
Wow. Do you have a coin? What a river. Wow. Oh, I knew it. I thought for sure one good. Garrett just wins himself $43,000. Took a chance, could have looked like a genius there, and unfortunately for him, his ships head over to that man right there, G Man. Kings beat him, aces beat him, three queens beat him. If he's, at, if he's having crazy thoughts, I think he's gonna put himself in a world of hurt. No, he just calls. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. It's still a $170,000 pot. 85.5 goes to Garrett. I have a seven. Just shoot it. Big belly like a dad. That doesn't even matter. Bro, why you light me up like that? Oh, wait a minute, I got a little belly. Did you ever get bloated? No, I get bloated, and then my stomach gets huge. I'll go all in. You have ten thousand. Oh, yeah, definitely ten thousand at least. It's not much more if you want to call. How much do you have? That's a dealer question, not a me question. I can't I do math. <laughs> you have a set of five. You know. I'm not good enough to mug, Mike. Nice hat. Uh, flush with a 10. Back about who's going to get paid. Oh. Or a nine or an eight. Deuce! Oh, I didn't know. Oh, one time. And Mike. Michael, one All time. in. $50,000 pot. Chris just needs to fade a six on the river. And Chris going to scoop a $50,000 pot. The way we could get a slow roll here would be if this money gets all in and then we bink a seven or a 10. That's how we can get a slow roll because Barry 100% thinks he won. So if we get a 10 or a 7, we'll have the ultimate chance for a slow roll. And all these players know that slow rolling is a big part of this game. 10 or 7, one time. A 10 or a 7, one time. DJF. Washburn said no slow roll. Exactly. What are you doing? He just missed, like, the best opportunity for a slow roll. How? Do you not slow roll there? That's just bad etiquette. Not slow rolling there. Come on. A big pot here. Julie flops the nut flush draw. King Henry, who just bluffed it off with nine high, immediately flops the joint in the next hand. Julie needs a spade. Instead, the king is going to scoop. That's what's known as a cooler. Wes is going to raise. Well, you get there. Such a big hand. Oh. So stupid. This is pretty bad. Just love played myself to death. Meaning oh. bad luck. Oh. Top set. Wow. Might get the job done, or he might just get it done right here. And look at that. Nick, you want to know what he had? I could give two. What he had? Oh, it was huge, bro. It was huge. Yeah. Let's get this ace queen home one time, Sammy. Oh, that's a good flop. That's a good flop. All right. Oh, no. Please don't do it. Oh, well, yeah. He will. All right. Come here, play one hand and just fucking knock. Oh, he could catch a king here. Let's go, Sam, man. Sammy, put a king out. Or a nine. No offense, Ivan. Iman. Advantage, Iman. Wow. Slow roll, Iman. Ah. Slow roll. Look, watch. Oh. <laughs> He's 
one's really selling it. Oh! That a kid! There we go. What a great table. I love this. <laughs> oh, you had the diamonds too. That didn't make sense, but it was awesome. Man. Welcome to Max Payne Monday. The U.S. Poker Open, I, I cut 12 days out of my schedule to go play those events, and I had a, and I had a shot, you know, I mean, I had, in the last, like, five days, I had two seconds and a fourth, three final tables, and in the main event at 2 a.m. last night, less than 24 hours ago, I took some ridiculous beat uh, to finish 10th. Wesley, let me explain one thing to you. When a player likes you, who bluffs it off, gets the aces, I'm, 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 I took the time because I, I thought, like, wow, the, they might have an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might. Okay, it wasn't strategic so much as fear. I've got it. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Did Garrett just tell Ethan I got it and save him 66000 yeah. No, do it for the memes. Hold on, do it for the memes. It's a good clip. I think it's a, I think it's a good clip. All right, let me see what I just said. You're trying to be wrong. You line on, you win this, bro? Look at the pot. This is a $25,600 straddle for Mr. Beast. He's had enough. I almost got coerced. I'm so glad I didn't do it. I'm so glad I didn't do it. It's going to go like nine bullets. You haven't folded yet. You owe me. You know what? You owe me, uh, Botez, so I don't mind if you call. I mean, you if you were, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what about, what about taking advantage of our stupidity? <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy you said that. <laughs> what about a traditional literally like the people? There's a call. Oh, are you trying to do the chips? Yeah. Uh, oh, he's stalling. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, that's. At three? Wow. Well, everyone is. So oh, she's wait. like, everybody pairs oh but God. Beast. Everyone but me. What is happening? Everyone but me. That means, Come there's, on. That means there's six left for you, King. Wait. Out in the hell. That's fine. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. Right. I'll, I will literally tip you $20,000. Magic got $20,000 if you can put a queen on the river. He's, he's crazy. 20 grand. Uh, Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? He pays him off. He makes the call. Yeah, true. Wow. Only a jack will save Alan. Okay. One jack left in the phone. Yeah, two outs. One jack left, and that is not a jack. Ten of clubs on the river, and Alex is now doubled up. She wins herself a hundred and two thousand dollar pot, and Keating on to bullet number three. Well, yeah, I'm all, where's my all in button? Where's that? Oh, no! Wait, wait, all in. I'm not getting. All in. Let's all right, go. I'm gonna let you guys. Call it. Right there. No, no way. No one's ever you lost three in a row, Keating. No one's ever she, she lost three. She said, "Third time's a charm." You know what I'll do, right? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, I'll show the table. I'll make you a deal. I have king five. If you. Can you promise me you don't have aces, kings, or ace king? No, I'm not gonna promise you anything. Give me no. your money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you only want the four, then you can take it. I'll Give fold. Me money. <laughs> One way or the other. Hmm. All right, I'm calling. Fuck it. Once. Let's go. No! Not a hot start, not a hot start, but there's a lot of diamonds in there. <laughs> a lot of diamonds. Oh, no, you're right. Oh, okay. Jack's full of aces. <laughs> Jack's full of aces. I'm bad at When the aces hold, XQC doubles up. I want much. Jimmy's like, help me. Bro, I got like five, six, 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 that was like a pretty good speech. Like the <laughs> actually, what it was is he interrupted me, and I was like, "Well, fuck this guy." <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Last <laughs> put on the Dolce Gabbana. I gotta tell you, not at work. you were not supposed to call this. Yeah. Wait, what do you have? Aces then. I got nothing. That's an excellent hand. Oh, for what? Are you ahead? What a good call, Jimmy. Yeah. What a good call, Jimmy. Oh my God. Oh, Are you ahead? I love that. Guy shows 9-4, are you ahead? I'm, never back. I'm not paying you back, I'm not paying anyone back. I'm just never coming back. Board pairs. You win. Let's fucking go. 
And Tom Dwan. First time goes to Dwan. They're going to run it the second time here. And they both go to Tom Dwan, and Keating once again felted. And he has just uh, reloaded for another 100,000. I think so. I'm all in. All in. And Chris is going to check jam with Ace Deuce of Diamonds. One time. And one time, Queens versus Ace Deuce. Wasn't expecting that. Turns to seven, one time. Rivers and Ace! Oh! Rivers and Ace! Rivers and Ace! Oh my. Unbelievable, and he's out of there. Did he ever overlimp my hand like Queen 3 suited? And Garrett's gonna call. Good call. Oh. oh. And he makes the call. Right away, Reza is gonna win a hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollar pot and double through Krish. Look at Ronnie. <laughs> he's in it. He's happy. He's, he's, he's loving it, man. I love it. I, wanna, I now want to go to a strip club with Ronnie. I mean, look at him. He's just having fun. Durr goes to 26,000 and just gets snap called. Chalk another one up there for Durr. What could have been, he probably could have won more money. Wow! Unbelievable! Oh my he god. A back jam. Oh my god. A 232,000. I don't really know flip. if I meant it. A 232,000 flip. This guy just back jammed. Wow. Oh, it's counterfeit. Counterfeit. Ace high gonna win it. <laughs> Reza with 26-6 behind. Oh, oh no! Wow, cool. Oh, my God. Wow. Reza trying to rep a seven. Trying to rep a full house on the river. Go home and ride your motorcycle around. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That is a slow roll. And I think I'm an expert on analyzing slow rolls. I mean, I love Mickey, but on a four-bet pot against an aggressive player, this is this is a suicide mission. He just is absolutely yeah. He's he's lighting he's lighting some of these chips on fire. We go a week here. Do we have a clock in here? What time? Yeah. What time is definitely not something that just Garrett is usually accustomed to seeing. He just calls. No, he's not used to being in this position. Garrett is good enough to sniff this out and to put the money in. We are at 100,000 here. Wow. It's a blank. Six. So Mickey has absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Mickey's feet bombs here. Yeah. Yep. 65,000. Wow. Uh, I, I meant... I don't... What's the bet? Whatever he wants, is sixty. I meant I meant sixty. I don't want to like. You're fine. You know, it's whatever you want the bet to be. Yeah. Guess I'll fold. Wow, Mickey, show it, baby. Oh man. Oh. And he shows him. That's gonna leave a mark. Wow, Mickey Tricky. Garrett is very disappointed in the fact he made the wrong decision. I know him well. Wow, Mickey. If you do or you don't, like, you know, I never mean to be no, rude. you can always show us all day, yeah. He will take the information even though it's stinging. Why, could you beat five highs? 
<laughs> a monster $70,000 pot. Check, check. Sonny looking for an eight on the river. Not gonna happen. He's gonna bet here. I don't know. Wow, 13,000, there's a snap call. The resident doesn't care. Oh, Reza for president. You're my, I, I love him. Can knock it out. I want to get a t-shirt. I want to get a Reza t-shirt. I would wear that. And look at this flop. Brandon flops the stones. Antonio with king, queen. Let's see how Brandon plays it. Just a call. King, jack, 10. The turn's a nine. They both have straights and Brandon with the nuts. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. And now, is Brandon just gonna call? Let's see. Oh, he just called. Snaps. Wow, we could have seen huge. Oh. Boy, if this one gets through, this is highway robbery from the magician. I think I might have to pay you. That is not good news to Antonio's ears. What do you mean? <laughs> you want to chop? How can we chop? Is that, is that, do you want to chop everything? <laughs> I could have the nuts. Super happy to have your brother. You mean by my poker skills? No, I mean by your YouTube skills. No, no, no. Your poker I'm skills. Gonna... I mean, we're going to see tonight. Okay. Are you feeling confident about your poker yeah, skills? Yeah, I'm going to walk up a million dollars. No question. Do you think so? Yeah, easily. So, uh, do you play a lot of poker? Are you no. like an avid player? No. Or he's going to let it go. There. He has to let it go. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it feels gross. Yeah, it feels gross, but let's go. Let's see what that river looks like. Oh. Five, he would have got counterfeited. He would have got counterfeited. That's what I told you. Oh my god, Andy would have oh. got Jackie would have got counterfeit. I, I'm gonna say it, we're firing right. I'm just saying that. Oh wow, running hearts. Yeah. And Mr. Beast has got the ten of hearts in his hands. You have a flush, dude. You have my flush, bro. Oh shit, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Give me 50, please. You, you didn't mean, no, I didn't mean that. Please, give me 50, give me 50. Yeah, no, you could have just took the money. I never would have noticed. All right. So they're going to flip for how much? Bill, do we have action or no? The whole stack. Yeah, I think that this is going to be like a $390,000 flip. Somewhere in that neighborhood. This is a 400K flip. Yeah, it's a 400K flip. Now, by the way, if Keating wins this, he's still down. Okay. You show one, I'll show one. Okay. Oh, shit. Bro, let's some flip of our fucking jack. I mean, your king might win. Oh, Well, you get 10 grand. Oh. One more time. Oh. I'll bring it down. All the way down. Bro, so... Did you get 10 grand? Uh, yeah, of course. Why not? She's been great. I'm here. Yeah, that was... That was... Cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these blocks? Oh, yeah. Have been, that was... That was... That was... All right, I'm all... Uh, right here. What do you do? All in? 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 No shot. I think this is the way to go out. This is the way to go out. I have to. I, I, just one, man. That's all I got. Man. I like, a, I, like a, I like one bad beat. Hold up. I need these. Look, keep on. I think there's a chance here. I think there's a chance for him. And Ninja. Hit the seven. But I am sleeping outside tonight if I don't hit a seven, so. Oh, oh no. That's a pretty good flop. Queen ten? I'll suck a, I'll suck a dick for a ten. Screen, Feldman. Hey, Phil.
Did you want that money? <laughs>
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. Never fold. Lord to the game and the bankroll. We gon' add it up when we get low. I know my life is black, I'm a chat pro. All in, let's go. Monday through Friday, what should we do? Catch the streaming live right on YouTube. Right on YouTube. ACL family, this is our house. Keating on the show, bet it all now. J Boogie, walk away, never overplay. Max value, max pain, this is not a game. Hit that thumbs up, let's go for a ride. Come and join the stream, we're starting at five. Raise it up. Chat Pro. Welcome to Hustler Casino Live for Super High Stakes Friday 100 200 featuring Jungle Man Handy, Airball Pepe, Mars, and more. My name's Mark Goon. I'm back after a several month long hiatus. Nice to be back on the booth, and especially nice to be back in the booth on a Friday. My favorite game to commentate here at Hustler Casino in Gardena. Just eight miles under the Pacific Ocean. That is me. That is a strange picture. I kind of look like a dinosaur in distress. You think you think that 30th win? Not sure. That's my favorite picture. I'm gonna have to ask Ryan to get a different picture. You really want to call me out? It's not the best one. I'm grateful for it, but it's just like it's just like you play no limit and you're sitting deep, so you think you're like good. Chase money, man. Shit, make it on the table every time. No, but Andy, come on. Nick too. Nick too. Andy, come on. Are you talking about how I'm bot always? We've seen all your hands on stream. Come on, dude. Get my backers to fucking put me in again every time. Come on, Andy. Hope you guys are having a very gentle Friday evening. It should be a fun Friday night. Look at those new chips. There's Andy. No, you love them. Those thousand dollar chips. Those are Those are nice. You sit in the 100, 200 at Blood, you're dog dead. 150, 150, 140, 50, 100, That's why I don't see you there during the series. I'm there every day, and I just don't see you. Car Shield. He is a shark fisherman. Are you, are you, do people fish for sharks? You know what? If he's a shark fisherman. I'm a synchronized rugby professional. Who is this? This is Dan. He's an entrepreneur and a poker enthusiast. And like your face is shaking right now. Just calm down. Yeah. No one came at you, dude. No one came at you. Yeah, now you just put your hand in my face, bro. You just went whatever. Like, you shouldn't do that. I'm not looking for a reason. Just stop it, bro. I, I was being nice to you initially, but just stop. Hey, Pepe. How are you? Jack's full. You call, you win. Yeah. Just for record, I'm not stopping because you tell me to stop. Right. Fair enough. Just let you know. I didn't think you were. All right, don't tell me what to do. All right, Lauren. Yeah. I got this. Don't yeah. worry. Got don't it. be worried. Got I got it. it. Yeah, I got it. I know how to DS. Got it. Yeah. Seen worse. Been there, done that. Well, this is an interesting start. Nick, by the way, how much is that jacket? Because I wanted to buy a denim jacket, but I wasn't sure Louis Vuitton even made such nice ones. It's like three or four thousand. Or wow. Yeah, jump change. Come change uh, 30th and Main, man. That's Fuck. not even one of your red chips. Go buy a fucking, uh, Is it red or chocolate now? Over. They're red now. They're red now, right? They're no longer chocolates. Blood clots, apparently. I can check if it's brown. <laughs> Is it brown? <laughs> I didn't want to interject over that Herschel and Andy altercation, but look at look look at Pepe's haircut. That that is a haircut right there. What do you call that? I like it. Oh, Tony. You okay, Pepe? Every time I'm okay. Every time. Love you, buddy. A withered artist. You bring your sunglasses to the jungle. I love it. Andy, 
Wow. I like how the receipts are still on. <laughs> I know, it's like, this is my brand. It says Marvel yeah, Avengers. Avengers? Oh, there's Jungle Man. <laughs> Looks like he just woke up from a 14 hour hibernation. Can I see the other ones on you? Both of these are ridiculous. I don't see it. Like a kid. Uh, take like out the tag. If I want to judge the look, I can't have the tag. You don't have much. Because you snapped all the Yeah. Look how happy Jungle is. Look how happy he is. That's like fine. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He went to the dollar store. I can't rip these off. Three days behind you. Fuck. 6K more. That's not 4 6K. I thought they were your style. Are you wearing. Are you wearing. You got your pair today? Wearing, all right, let's take a look at the chip count. Look at this Pepe dining in for we all were doing a almost a quarter million dollars. This is going to be sunglasses. Jungle Man Andy in for 150k. I might have an extra pair during break. Like when okay, I Pepe and me are ready. Okay. For you. Yeah, nice Prada yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, They'll look good on you. <laughs> you need it clean, buddy. Right? Yeah, very dirty, right? <laughs> 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 Tony, do you see that one on the show? Do you see Ling Wai the nigga? Do you care about the game? Nigga, see other. You're just here. Ichiba. There's my favorite snowboard instructor. 16%. Try those. No, no. Relax, Lauren. Relax, Lauren. All right, guys. I got some ruthless raspberry today. No, no mercy. Oh, whoa. How much again? I stopped at 242. 600. 600 now. Oh. Oh, okay. Robo Pepe. Hey, actually, listen, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate oh, oh, that. They listen to my ass. This is Robo Pepe. <laughs> all right, all right, wait. They need to know my name. Uh, Mandarin. Mandarin. They need to know my name. They need to know his name. Sure, I thought Check. you'd be a little bit more grateful than that, Andy. Uh, I mean, Check to him. I mean, I mean, look what you're wearing, and look what I get. All right, fine, I'll give you a nicer pair. I'm going to grab my next pair. Everyone's so picky today. Check. All right, fine. I just needed to show people the Ruthless Raspberry. Check. What's a ruthless raspberry? Fifteen hundred. Yeah. You win. What? Did I put the right amount in? You did. Don't you win. win. He's got to show it, right? Yeah. Uh, it's an easy call. Oh shit, Andy Stack. Huh? Uh, two? two? two. No. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm a little bit agitated right now. Herschel, Herschel's making friends all over the place already. Been ready for you, Andy Stack. Been ready for you, Mickey. Mickey. No, serio. What? I'm out. One, two is fine. One, yeah, two, two, this one. You're going to let air ball <laughs> slap you around like a stitch. <laughs> no, not today. Not today. What, what do you say about me, Jungle? <laughs> I'll see you now. I'm going to see if uh, you're going to get the best Andy today. No, today is chill day for me. No chill day. A lot of and you make no balls today? Is that what you're today. saying? Yeah, just relaxing. All right, then I'm going to three bet you. I'm going to deflate the air ball today. I can put the air out. Fuck you. <laughs> Andy with a cold four bet with sevens. He knows everybody's full of shit. Get your back. Protecting your balls, Nick. No balls. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name? Mickey or Jungle? Or is there a different name? You can call me whatever you want, This buddy. is like the jock version of Jungle. We need a new name for Mickey. Or for this version of Jungle. Jock Jungle? Like, the guy plays fucking football or something. Or a wrestler. He's like a wrestler. <laughs> It looks like he's on the high school wrestling team. <laughs> Getting ready for state championships over there. Getting ready for your brawl. <laughs> uh. Too early, Pepe, huh? Too early? Not yet, huh? Okay, and just Dax. What do you have? Big hand. Big hand. I'm big. Big, very big. Everybody full? I have a big hand. What do you have? 
Can you quit? Do I have my phone on me? <laughs> I don't fuck with you. I didn't take you're, my phone. You were raised, gentlemen raised, Andy raised. Andy's gonna cover the table. They're so aggressive. Before every action I do, I think to myself, is my backer yes. gonna get angry if I do this? If they're okay with it, I'm gonna do the move, so. That's fair. Backers, man. That's fair. As long as your backers are okay. My backers, with it. I don't have to explain to why I did what I did with my backers. I understand. <laughs> We have the same backers, so. See ya now. Harsh, where's your glasses? I'm going to wait until I got his glasses, so we all have them. I don't want him to feel left out. Can you have your glasses? No, he doesn't have them. I don't have them. I didn't get the memo. Hi. He didn't get the memo. Nick wasn't nice enough to let him know. You can have a couple of my first time meeting Jimmy. How could I give anyone a memo if I have them? You can wear these. You know everyone around that plays poker, right? This looks like they look good on it. I think they would look great on you, by the way. I'll wear them. Yeah. Yeah. See how it goes. Take the little tag off. Another one trying to move. How's it look? It looks amazing. I knew they would look great on you. Bro, those are so hard to pull off, but you have like a wide face. It fits you well. I need a couple of skis. No, those are not even yeah, I'll, I'll take these. Thank you. You have a wide face. It fits you well. Do you, would you wear glasses if I got you? Uh, not really, right? Yeah, fair enough. If it was, if it was mandatory, sure. No, there's nothing that's <laughs> mandatory here. Um, Maybe if you do like a prop bet. No, he just he came in with eyeglasses. He has an unfair man. You could all see his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I object to an objection. What's your number? Let's wait, for, let's wait for Mark to get in the game before we start around. Well, you can straddle, Jungle. You can just do one. It's okay. You can. It's okay to do one without everyone else doing it. It's a, it's a Nick Noball special. Good job, buddy. I know you're not gonna play back at me. You're right, I will not. I'll, I'm very likely to give you a walk, given what's happened. I'm taking, you're gonna be a bitch again for this session. You're the boss today, Jungle. I don't, I didn't appreciate that 9-4 Are you nearsighted or farsighted? <laughs> I can I'm see get you, I'm gonna get you back the 9-4, okay. man. Fuck. Ace King suited. I, I fucking give you fucking. I had the nuts. <laughs> Everyone suited. had queens and jacks, and Ace King suited. I had the nine four off. <laughs> oh man, that was dirty. Was that, that approved dirty. by your backers? Oh, man. My backers. What backers? There you go. That's the good. One good time. I just checked. What? Oh, he bets. Okay. Pepe. What does I lose? A heart would be devastating for. Mr. Airball. Jungleman folds the best hand right now. They're gonna be really hard to continue playing that card unless you get a turn just like this one. And a river just like that one. Fuck investigation every time. Why, wow, you always miss your flush draw? I didn't see what that was. I missed my flush draw. I missed my flush draw too. I don't know. Yeah, baby. Uh, no, it's me, no? No. Uh, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, I call it 400. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Six. How much you playing, buddy? Eighty thousand? Hundred eighty? <laughs> Come on, that's funny. I'm laughing too, but I just had my hand on my face. It was really funny. I'm in a hand, so I can't give you the same like reaction you're looking for. You know? Wait, ninety thousand? Hundred thousand? <laughs> I like how you went from 80 to 180. <laughs> I, I couldn't remember what yeah. you might have won or bought it. I yeah, just, that's funny. I just want to make sure you guys got the one. You need to get some blood on the table. <laughs> that right air ball. You say move the button. Is it 2-2? Two, two? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Now I feel a little one, but now I feel bad. Oh, I'm so grumpy today. Thank you. Would you ask Mars no, the same question? No, really? stupid. How much do you buy your 
Even though he has 10 chips. You ever play against someone who's been eating ruthless rats? He's bad, how he's chipped in Mars' chair. He has infinite. Never. He has infinite. infinite. Rats. Rats. I'm so sorry. Is that like a red one? Six. This would be the kind of drink you take for, uh, for some uh, Good day? Rats, Good day. Yeah. Good death? Yeah, I like it. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to My know cousin Harold actually invented Ruthless Raspberry. Started a company in the former Yugoslavia. 22. Got something good, Heart Steel. Got the aces. What did you call them? Heart Steel. Heart of Steel? <laughs> That's how you pronounce your name, right? Heart Steel? <laughs> I can't tell if he's trolling or serious. Heart of Steel. I think that this line's easy to figure out. I really don't. Pretty know. sure he's serious. Come on, go, ma. Did you check? Is it on you? I know, I know. I don't know why I thought that. Gentleman seems disheveled today. Maybe it's the, the ruthless raspberry. Are you all right? You okay, buddy? Everything good? All right, man. Good, good. You get it back in Baccarat. Yeah. Bring it. Get it from Baccarat. Bring it here for us, all right? I win. Yes, I'm in Baccarat. Bring it here for us. You got to help us out. Double, Double barrel gets play. through. Take it from the casino. Give it to the players. <laughs> Give it back. Break back. You get this. I do? Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> there he is, a snowboard up. instructor. Yeah. With a fresh hair color, at least a hair color I haven't seen. One of the best snowboard right instructors. Yeah, now that he's here. Only if Mars doesn't shove all in with ace 10 against me right. off suit, then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the shadow. <laughs> Mars, you 7 ace 10? No ace 10 today, yeah. right? Jesus, a PLO or no one with Round or shell, sir. You guys want to do half and half today? Yeah, I'll do it. But I'll do it too, half and half. PLO, yeah. half no limit. You can do it. I, li I like PLO, that's my game. I like PLO too. PLO? I think Nick I loves know. PLO. I was thinking too, Nick probably <laughs> loves PLO. Yeah, and, and he's a super pro at PLO, you know what I mean? So. I would play anything. You know, the best part about PLO. I will not play short no, deck. No, I'm not short playing deck. short deck. I fucking hate short deck. Anti game? game? Like, I don't want to play that. I'm gonna fold this for jungle. I felt like a bitch fold. I'm not gonna lie. I respect you. No, Fair enough. I respect jungle. I respect you too, Andy Stacks. I do the same. I respect you. Oh, so not too much respect. That's that so, respect. that's how it is, huh? Just, just, it's gonna be a little, little bit. A lot disrespect. of hearts. They got folded. Just little. That's how it's gonna be. Okay. It's gonna and be like that. Somehow. Jungle out, flops, air ball here. Uh, it's going to be a C bet and a win. Oh, he's going to float one time. Pretty hard spot to continue here with fours. I wonder if Jungle turns this into a bluff. Triple Broadway, ace high board. Once air ball check calls flop. He doesn't really beat a whole lot here. Air ball's gonna have a lot of 10x, king x, maybe some ace x. Joe knows just check it back, figuring he beat some flush draws here. Eight on the river. Now the interesting thing is Airball's got to figure he's got no showdown value here with fours. After Jungleman bets the flop and then checks back the turn. I'm not really sure what this bet is. So he goes big on this river. No check raise. I'm guessing he's trying to get a hand like 10x to fold, maybe king x to fold. Certainly not betting for value. What?
I should have a jock version of myself, to be fair. Talk like a, a jock. Oh, Talk shit. about the boys. Oh, shit. You like them? Brownish travels, guys. Brownish travels. What kind of those? You're 400 for <sighs> Same kind as Nick's jacket. And it is collection once again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's keeping it real right now. I can't. I was going to raise, but now I can't raise. I was a little bit intimidated, a little shaken by this glass. You see, I'll do it. You know. I'm going to bust jokes with courage and fight back. You did with the 7 8. You're like, fuck it. I got to get one bluff to. That's right. Blind versus blind action here. Pepe putting in the three bet. See how long Dan sticks around. This is a wide versus wide config here. Probably going to be the widest three bet configuration. This and button versus cutoff. So. We all have my Costco brand glasses. My Kirkland signature glasses. Pepe just checks back on the turn. Show me them. Dan's gonna win this one. Get these old, ugly Just keep it. <laughs> can't take them. I <laughs> don't want these fucking old ass chips. It was all calm by the dealers. Huh? The dealers are gonna end up with all the old chips. <laughs> you gotta watch out for this shit. Supercharged energy, oh, okay. the That's ultimate fair, experiences. Uh, no, it's not, it's no <laughs> fair. Super brain performance formulated <laughs> with brain barrier clinically way. studied yeah, cognitive support. Yeah. Ingredient, cognizant. Oh, shit. I, you got some, you got some yeah. good stuff over there. What the fuck is oh, cognizant? Yeah, <laughs> oh, you got some, it's not mine. Oh, man. This is some cognizant right here. Raise. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Jungle Torelli. Huh? What? I'm going to Torelli you into some spaghetti. That makes sense. <laughs> I did not come prepared with enough energy today. I'm sorry. Okay. Buddy. How good is how good is uh, three? Jungle, man? How good is life? Fucking wakes up every day. He's like, what, what character do I want to be today? Buddy, I was up at like <laughs> I was still up at like 4:30 last night, and Jungle was tweeting about how like the poker dream is alive at 4:30. I was like, how is this guy awake? Like, I know why I'm awake, but how is he awake? Like, there's no the Jungle's not playing any random, private games at four in the morning. Yeah, like, the, the random Jungle tweets like, <laughs> like, what is this guy doing? Like, does it, isn't he getting some sleep before the game tomorrow? Like, come on. <laughs> poker dream is alive and well, Jungle. Yeah, I don't says. need no sleep. I got raspberry. <laughs> ruthless Raz. Buddy, you're ruthless, that's for sure. What's that? You're ruthless, that's for sure. Damn right I am. Ruthless Dan. <clears throat> is anyone else coming today? Yeah, Larry Sanders is coming in about 15 minutes. For some reason, I thought we were playing down here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have uh, probably like 55. Why are you doing that free book now? You haven't even joined your Discord chat yet. Mars gonna make a pretty light peel here. He is ahead. Uh, <laughs> 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 
And this Mars is going to float with ace-10 high. And Dan picks up the backdoor net flush draw here on the turn. This is going to go check, bet, fold. Just really tough to hang on with ace high. Had the right idea on the flop, but now that Dan picks up equity, it's going to be impossible for Mars to hang on. Yeah. Like, after putting in 18,000 and flopping top two, you would see bet that flop that's retarded. You would have got it all. Yeah, because you, you had tens there and you would have gotten it all. Yeah, right. You would have pulled a ten. Jungle sure, plays above the rim, like I said, and one t shirts. <laughs> Find out about the 9-4 off, you gotta go in the Discord. I, I don't need to find out. <laughs> I don't even know what happened that hand. Magic point, point off. That was some, uh, some magic, jungle magic. Gamble. <laughs> if you want to see some more of that, also, just like, watch me. Just like, oh, you're never that far behind. Say some Mickey magic. No limits, like, aces, just, like, like you go to yeah. Disney World, see like Mickey longer. Mouse, yeah, like, now you go like play poker, and always. you play with uh, Mickey Angelo, and you see some real magic. I think it needs a break. Oh, it yeah. Place is about to be a magic castle. I'm so happy about the south of the Jimmy gonna peel with the middle player. And he's gonna keep going for value here. Double flush draw out there. Trying to keep a hand like exactly what Jimmy has in here. Jimmy is gonna make the call. Just under 20,000 going to the river. And look at that sweet baby there. Jimmy makes the old back door straight. And he's gonna lead. I don't think he's gonna get paid here. Randy, just so many hands to get there. His flush draws with an eight or a three. Hmm, bad river, but probably gonna pay off anyways. <laughs> what do I know? Don't know how you play. Don't know how you play. A little information call. For the table. Yeah, you guys want to chip in? <laughs> you guys want to chip in? Man. Uh, probably bad call. <laughs> You know what? No. You know what? No. Discipline. No. Full. He thinks it through. He makes the right play. I had it. He made the bottom move. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice hand. You're gonna keep the sunglasses on. You dug right? deep for that one, huh, Andy? Yeah. Dug fucking After deep. After making that hidden yeah. straight, you got it, right? Yeah. yeah. Nick, you wanna go? You wanna work out with me? I'll teach you how to fight crime. We can't work um, out. With him. We're gonna bet him on a weight loss bet. We can still work out together. I mean, that's kind right. of counterintuitive than betting against someone, but okay. Still need to make that bet. What kind of crime do you fight, Jungle? Fight um, super villains. Super villains? Super villains. <laughs> 11. 1100. Fair enough. What kind of crime do you think Mickey Angelo fights? I, I really don't know. That's why I was asking. Three, Fucking super villains. That's who he fights. <laughs> this is an obvious answer. What are you talking about? I told myself I would play tight. Oh my god, though. <laughs> I can't breathe. 
I can't, oh man, I cannot breathe. You I can't to, breathe, Jungle. I have to raise. None of you can breathe. I have been up late so fucking tight today. No, you cannot. That was sad. That was just fuck, that was so sad. That was sad to watch. I might not, I might have 0% VP if I can pull it off. Check. Check. That was really sad to watch, Nick. I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm proud of myself. One of these days, you should go for the zero percent. I'm gonna go for the hundred percent. Just for the lols, man. Just for the lols. Just, just to make it. No, I'll do hundred. You do zero. <laughs> zero is so boring. Oh, <laughs> if, you, if you go hundred, I'll do hundred. Oh yeah? Okay, yeah. we'll just both do hundred. All right. Yeah. I'm sure gonna peel one. Chuck. But I can't wait to get aces. <laughs> I'm all in. What a damn doubles here. Just not really anything going on. <laughs> We saw him double with no, the no, ace five of clubs when he picked the back way down the turn, but this time he just checks back. We can, no, no, we can do there. Like, we can, the sure. three of us or whatever. I wonder if he just gives up here on this oh, really. Oh, okay. So no one can, like, uh, ship on us, like, for infinite. We can always see a flop. Right? Because right? otherwise it's unfair. If everyone knows we're doing 100, they can just fucking make it 50,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. And on, on the Tropicana stream, I, I, I gave this a bonus of, like, 1,500 for anyone who could out beat me. And he just goes up. Pocket three is going to win. I mean, he cut. I mean, eventually he figured out how to out beat VIP him. So you, out, you, you did? You out beat VIP him? For the most part. I mean, he did figure it out. Oh, VIP him? Well, not figure it out. So you got a fam or no? Huh? You, had, you paid him? You won? Uh, yeah, yeah, he won. Oh, he won. He won some. 80%? Yeah. Huh? He had, to be, he had to go up to 80% one. won. He was, you, you were VIP having 80%? Uh, yeah. Sick. Sick, sick, I was. Sick. <sighs> well, he didn't tell you it was they were playing 2-5. The game was a little bit softer. Than, uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought he didn't tell you it. They're playing two fives. No, no, no. We're playing, They're playing uh, heads up. That's <laughs> why so I, so I didn't want this many hundreds. And he gave me a hard crowd mark. Like, you know, change on the It was like nine handed. Oh. Nine handed, one, two. No, nine handed, 50, uh, 50 hundred or whatever. Uh, All right, now's your chance, Nick. Mm. Here we go. Jungle with three bet. Yeah, Nick in position with the offsuit Broadway. Fold. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is a new Nick Airball. <laughs> Jungle, show one means nothing. <laughs> He's turned over a new leaf. I can't let you get away playing like a little bitch. What do you have? Deuce? Three beats me. Yeah, yeah. What can I do, Pepe? <laughs> Beat three beats me. If you were right? playing against Jungle Man, Nick, you could play like that, but not when you're playing against Mickey. I thought this was someone else. Nah, it's Mickey. All right, Jungle. All right, Mickey. I was just agreeing with you that I should have a Jock character. You should. I just don't know. I don't know what Jocks talk about. I feel like they talk about like nothing. Like sports, girls. You notice Jungle, he's three betting very, very light when players at the table. Who he considers to open wide or opening. But when Jimmy here opens, he's seen Jimmy limp a few times, and now Jimmy opens from middle position. And Jungle just folds the Jack-10 off. That's, that's astute. That's paying attention at the table to what's going on. Herschel with the air ball three bet and actually flops the best of it here. Seven. And he's just seven. huge at the start. In the, third, in the third row of the bleachers, she was so hot. <laughs> yeah, that stack does not want to stay up. I'll just reposition. Sorry about that. All right, guys, the round is over. Alright, I'll jog. Can you keep it going, guys? You guys don't want to keep it on? Keep it on? Yeah. Everybody's okay with keeping it on? Let's, let's. I don't care. Everybody's cool with it? Let's what do it. Let's what do it. Talk, jobs, talk to girls. Are you fine with that? That's what I want. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I can't say no if I'm the only one. That's like been a... They must be talking about something. I mean, they must have like some swag or some shit. You play today? Huh? What? 
Pepe, one, two, you four, play okay? today? I play? Yeah. Uh, only, only, um, I want to know. Only if, I'm uh, curious. You, um, Thank you promise not to go on field. I feel like it's got to be nonsense. I didn't want to, you know, kick a wounded dog. You don't play him? One, two, hundred, two hundred, that's good. We should play 50 Because I can't guarantee. You should play five times. Please. <laughs> thousand. You might have to see what you get. Why just no make models. it a hundred dollar sitting go? I'm in for that too. Easy game. What should, what, what see, that's like respect. Play next? You know how you said getting a walk is a respect, holding small blind. Thank you for the respect. What'd you say, Dan? What should my jock character play? What sport? What I sport? feel like yeah. Ball wrestling. Like ballerina. You're a wrestler. I guess I could be a, I mean, I guess that does make like, a lot of sense. You're kind of stocky, you know, so like you can't be like a basketball player. I'm definitely no, I'm no basketball player. But like, I can see you like getting down in the mud and wrestling with some motherfuckers. You know what I mean? All right. Are you gonna, you know, uh, get in the ring with our, um, Mariano? I thought you guys are gonna, you know, make a bet on that one, right? That's what you should do. That would be the fight of the... You and Mariano are years. gonna get in a fight? <laughs> I, 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 it was it was suggested. <laughs> that was that'd be a great idea. I don't know, man. I kind of like Mariano's side. That guy walks in here and every day his arms are bigger. <laughs> like his arms and chest look bigger every day. Mariano's got bulbous arms. <laughs> He's very bulbous. Yeah. That's how I describe him. <laughs> Stacking up all that money is so exhausting. Thousand. If I if I had a decent chance, I'd do it. I didn't even have a chance. I would love to see you back. That'd be awesome. I think it's more technique than just brute, brute strength. Yeah, uh, but he is taller than me. Yeah, but fighters have a big height disadvantage all the time and still work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I know that um, I, I'd have to like really work at it, but like I hurt. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't have enough time for that shit right now. <laughs> You're too busy chasing girls? You're already huh? kind of getting shaved. Like, you might as well, you know. That's true. Get him peaked. I know shape. I did some stuff. I mean, I did some yeah, jungle, Imagine stuff. how fucking animalistic you'd be in the ring after not masturbating for two months. <laughs> 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 they don't, they don't right. I'm that. really hoping jungles. Uh, right, Andy, am I wrong? I see some masturbator <laughs> like, not to masturbate. What are you talking about today? Yeah, you might kill someone. I was really hoping that this topic would be brought up again. Dan. Another out of line three bet by Jungle Man. He's just. How much? 64. He's here to play some hands today. Let's see if Mars continues this time with the Ace 10. Continued last time. And this time with the straddle on, he just lets it go. Also a more intimidating opponent. Steve from Chicago, we miss you too. We'd love to make that happen. Lawrence is coming today. What, what do the jocks talk to you about? Yeah, it was Lawrence. Go on the dates with the, with the uh, jock guys. Uh, Lawrence. New additions. What do they actually talk to you about? Well, Lawrence has played here before. Uh, New additions for this stream huh? compared to the last one. Uh, uh, um, Lauren, can you ask? go on dates? What does that yeah. mean? Is he okay? She's not your type. I wasn't trying to hit on her. I was not trying to hit on her. That was just, I was a curious I was a curious question. I had to. Jungle, stop chasing girls. It's the biggest waste of time. Uh, wait, where's this channel? <laughs> if, I didn't trust, if, I didn't, if I didn't chase what? girls, I'd be so fucking rich. You didn't hear Pepe say, I don't want to shadow because you don't play enough hands. Okay, I'll, play, I'll play some hands, Pepe. I'll play some hands, I promise. I promise. Did you play? I'll play, I'll play hands, some hands, Pepe. Okay, you don't right. play, you full four. Okay, I'll play some hands, just for you. 200 is good. I'd be fucking superhero. All right, back on next hand. If I didn't, if I didn't stop chasing girls. I promise to play some hands today. Oh, Pepe finally yeah. outed Andy for being a net? <laughs> Yo, that makes sense. You guys, that you comment know. warranted the Nick Airball yeah. laugh. Yeah. They want me to go crazy with 9-4 against so I can lose 200,000. No, Andy, you never got <laughs> Did you really do that? <laughs> Andy, you're a book player, bro. You, you went crazy, crazy with 9-4. I tried to pull a jungle on it. Oh, okay. You just didn't flop two pair. I just I couldn't flop two pair. I made trips, though, but I still lost. <laughs> Yeah. Tough, man. Yeah. What do I have? You gotta stick up for yourself, man. You gotta have some self-respect. Did you see about the flop? Like jungle. The 
play like you got the yeah. Sunday. I just did. Yes, I did. The play is like you got some swag. I might be Andy's biggest fan besides his backer. What's that? So I might be your biggest fan besides your backer. It's like Jimmy's just going to lead here. I've been getting a lot of fans. All right, three players, son. Thank you so much. Yeah, look at that. Jimmy and Pepe get there. Usually when you see players lead, not going to be top of range type stuff, right? It's going to be draws. going to be maybe some top or middle pair. It depends upon the situation. If they lead multi-way, it's going to be much stronger than if they lead heads up. If they lead in a three-bet pot, it's going to be much stronger than if they lead in a single race pot. You show up to the game see. and it's like Bill Klein, Stanley Troy, Rampy. Like, oh, there's no partying cool. today. And I'm like, we're throwing a fucking get, rager. Herschel here didn't even see it. He makes the absolute stone cold nuts and he just calls. He just calls here. When Jimmy pots it. Obviously, Jimmy likes his hand when he pots. If I have 8 9, I'm trying to figure out a way to get more money in. I built Rampy's bankroll. Let's see if Pepe does it for him. And Mariano is still playing 2-5 without Charles. I'm not kidding. These are true statements. I love them both. But this is a true Looks statement. like Pepe's just going to call. No, here comes. There's the race. Oh, you were there when Charles jammed 150000 into him. And this is a dream spot for Herschel. He just flats. Pot size bet here from Jimmy. Jimmy's going to make the call. And now let's see if Herschel just gets it in here. Let's not discuss other We're back races. What's the bet? I was just joking. We'll look incredibly strong here if he just back raced. Call. And he just calls. And now the pot 43,000 going to the river. And Herschel. Just about a three quarters pot size bet behind. And any clean river, he's going to get a lot of money here. That's a clean river. That is the most innocuous of the innocuous as far as river cards go. I don't know, man. My, my, last night I got some coaching that I should play type today, so I'm playing type today. I'm serious. I tried to do that one second. My coaches last night, they, not in you, man. they told me, they're like, Nick, tomorrow's not the day to play loose. I said, okay. They said, do not buy in a lot. Be reasonable. Play tight. I said, okay. I will. It's not right. you, man. You know, you got you to gotta do you. It's not you. But my coach, I if, I, if, I, if, I, if I don't do my coaching, my backer will cut me off. How can I get more money? What will I do? Man? Herschel. His feet are tingling. Pepe processing right now. He's trying to figure out what size he's going to bet on this river. With the seven high straight. Yeah. 18, five. About 40% pot. Jimmy's going to make a quick call. And now here comes the all in from Herschel. First a little theatrics, the sigh, maybe a shake of the head, a shrug, check the cards, and then put the money in. All in. There it is. Call. How much more is that? Someone last is going to win this hand. It looks like 32. 31. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. 7. 32. Chopping I at I best. To pay them out. To pay them out. Yeah. I see that. Oh, 30,700. Yeah, I got you, buddy. <laughs> I just take one glance. I can tell you how much you have. Like jungle. He has like I think so about, last time, about 159 or 161. If you're Jimmy, you know. How much you have? Pepe has at least a four. Herschel's hand looks like exactly what it is. See, Andy? 159. Yes. 
130. He has an yeah, 159. 160. Yeah, I'm good. Live update chip stack every hand. I don't know everyone's stack. Looks like Jimmy's not going to get away from this. Herschel's going to win a really big pot here. This is a monster pot. I got it, boys. 140K. Herschel gets a clean triple. 141 gay going his way. He bought in for 40. He's already more than tripled up. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. You want to take care of Andy, right? So you immediately make sure to get back, get back up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Andy's frustration was short lived. I'm happy now. I'm very happy. Very happy. But and it would be great, great if you added on right, plus the so money. Much, money. <laughs> then it would be really great. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Really good etiquette. <laughs> really great etiquette. Really right? great etiquette. In, in the words of really Andy. Outstanding guy. <laughs> Outstanding etiquette. Yeah. Until Andy has a four in that spot against me, right? That won't be outstanding. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope, it's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Sign up today by clicking the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code HUSTLER and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Sign up today, WPT Global. Bonus code HUSTLER they for a that hand. deposit it, match. It wasn't, I didn't have to think. Pepe was betting. I didn't, I didn't think. I didn't even brag about the hand. I, I'm grateful, man. Jesus. I got to walk on eggshells around you, Andy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Let's keep it going. I love it. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Because I'm, I'm just not, I'm not trying to get in Nick's lane, bro. That's Nick's job. I'm trying to play tight today. He's trying to, you know, I'm trying to get too many lanes. I'm yeah. trying to play tight. I'm getting in too many lanes, you're right. You you act, that's the too most too insightful thing you've said, Floyd. Nick's definitely doing too many lanes. One thing right now. 2200. He's playing tight and reasonable. I still think I might have played the most hands so far. Nick, you're trying to do what I did last time. Last time you were playing tight? It's like four hands. Two of them were two and I lost both of them. Marsh is going to keep barreling here with Ace King. Figuring he doesn't have showdown value when he gets called here. 6500. Andy, you got question? 245. You got to get the flow of energy. Dan with a pretty tight laydown in position. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, roll it up, take a hit. Pepe, we, Pepe, we play 100, 200, no, no shadow, yeah. Mm. No, if you go to uh, the oh. China. He go, said no. <laughs> you don't play, you don't play. Okay, we play 100, 200, yeah. No shadow. I just checked in with my face if he wanted to drop the cane lower. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Pepe, you just lost the Let's hand. You want to play lower, game. right? Guys, just play a stand up game. Does anyone object? I object. Nick objects unless it's a lot of blood clots. Well, now we can play a thousand like you wanted the other day. I object. You guys are all too good. Uh, uh, no, no, he's still finishing. Let's go. That's it. Where's my power rate? Look at that, Peter O'Neill says Mark was a painful no, commentator on Pepe. You're being reminded of your <laughs> NFT purchases. I actually completely forgot about that until just now. Thank you, Peter. About $5 well worth it. 
Both players here with a gut shot. Notice Jimmy limping the button here. So when players have a limp range and an open range, it's become a little bit easier to play against, which is why you saw Jungle not squeeze the Jack-10 offsuit when Jimmy opened. Button's good. Just because he's aware when he opens, he has a much stronger range than most players because all of his medium or weaker hands, he's just limping. You're wondering how I do like how these have or a why bit Jungle is choosing some of the three-bet hands he's choosing. They got a little bit of swag, don't they? Yeah, they got a little bit of... I'll be honest, the, the new chips are growing on me. Yeah, I kind of like them. I still really like the way the five case felt. Yeah. Like that. Just this game is playing so tight. But you know, whatever. How can you? Are you really objecting to a stand-up game, even a small one, Nick? Yeah, I don't want to play. Okay. Oh, he's trying to play time today. He doesn't want to do something that he's gonna. <laughs> 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 he doesn't want to disappoint can't help his himself. backer. Stand-up game is on. He's gonna fucking. He doesn't want to disappoint off. his backer. Make it twelve. So responsible. Or Jimmy with Jax. An air ball with ace queen suited. And he's seen a three bet and a cold four bet in front of him. Jimmy, his MO has been rather passive so far. Been limping quite a bit. And now he sees him wake up with a cold four bet. And air ball can't feel great with ace queen suited here. I think he may fold this. And I wouldn't blame him one bit. I think Jax is probably the absolute bottom of Jimmy's Fuck, Jimmy, cold I thought, four bet. I you play PLO, buddy. <laughs> I do. You just didn't say pop this time, right? Oh. Can me and Jimmy each have two more cards? No, no, Jack. Fold. I think that's a good fold overall from Airball. Jimmy's just fold. going to have Jack's plus ace king here. I want to show Andy how good I'm playing. Only you, Andy. Only you. Only you. Only you. What have you become? Jesus Christ. I need to take a break. Cut the mic. So. Only you, Andy. <laughs> Can you breathe? <laughs> well, Nick doesn't love this flop. Yeah, Jimmy gets Pepe to fold out his equity there. Corona. Karen River. I have no, I have no oxygen. I might not be able to play tight anymore, Andy. <laughs> Last it around. Come on, get on that round. On the straddles, anyone? <laughs> Does anyone object to a round of straddles? I object to everything Jungle asks for for the rest of the day. Nick, you're making me very sad, Nick. Yeah, straddles are good. You're keeping the four on. Are we keeping four on? Yeah, yeah, we're keeping yeah, okay. four on. How about the Deuce of sure. Seven game? You guys like the Deuce of Seven game? Pepe wasn't too the happy. Deuce of Seven game? I don't think that's what it's called. The Deuce of Seven game, Nick? Yeah. Jesus. The four is on? The four is on. You really... Jungle, you know all these things that you suggest are really not good for people who actually play hands. They're good for nits, right? Like, you understand that, right? Like, you think deuce to seven is good for someone who plays hands? Yes. Okay, well then you don't understand anything. Are you telling me I don't understand poker? I'm telling you, if you oh, think no. deuce to seven go. is good for action players, it's not. It's only good for the nits who don't bluff because now they bluff with deuce to seven. I don't agree. Pay them off. Because uh, stop, Nick, there's, stop, stop. there's many reasons. Let them, let them I don't agree with this. Okay, I'm definitely out for deuce to seven. Are they no, talking about seven deuce or is this a different game I'm not aware of? <laughs> yeah, it's good for the games you play at Jungle's are shit games. I don't want to play deuce to seven. All right, let's go. Okay, okay. Like, if, if no one ever bluffs in a game and you put deuce seven on, yeah, it's good. But, like, <laughs> me and Andy bluff, so we don't want to play deuce to seven. Check. Check. Check is good. All right. Yeah, I'll check. <laughs> I don't even want to be like, he could have... 10-4 off, jack-3 off, oh, and do 7 off. Six. I don't need that. That's my life. <laughs> Three. Three How much flowers. 
Nice hand, buddy. Back up. Check. Eight. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. You know, you wanted to show that, didn't you? <laughs> no, I just picked it up weird because the hundred dollar trips. I came here expecting for a battle. When's, when's Mickey Angelo gonna get a battle? I'm not really dressed the part. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't dress for battle, buddy. I really want that brawl. You know? Can I get some change for this, please? I want that brawl. I don't Aaronson know. Aronson Simpson says the Deuce to Seven game Nick, is the first person no, to blow a point no two seven. Nick no balls. Blood alcohol. I've been saying it all day. It's five hundred dollars from every other table. Oh, that makes no sense. I've never played that game before, but that's. I thought I was gonna get Nick big reasonable. balls the other day. Fucking check raising me at fifteen k and shit. We're we're bombs, Andy. We're bombs. I guess that one call was so bad the other day. I don't know. Fourteen hundred. Wasn't that easy to have it? Make it thirty-five hundred. Nick's gonna punish himself for folding a good hand last time. Nick's gonna punish himself now for folding the best. <laughs> Wow, that's so sick. I might make a fold like you just made before. I don't know why, I just have this like nasty feeling. We're multi-way, buddy. Yeah, I, I fold. And this is, I, this is, I'm definitely getting criticized for this fold. Clearly that should be my incentive, right, with the chat things. Don't do this at home, guys. Good flop for Nick. Three large. Pepe gonna peel once with a side. The problem with peeling with this particular hand against a player like Nick Airball is he's just he's just gonna keep barreling so often. Good, you had a good read, Herschel. Almost pulled the board. <laughs> you were good, bro. You're five to the nuts. I almost pulled four, but eight, eight, two off speed. No joke. Jungle, you'd never do that shit against me because you're scared as fuck. So don't, don't pretend. Yeah, that hand definitely. You think I'm scared of cold four by eight two off suit? Not against me, buddy. You can do that shit against Andy. You don't do that shit against <laughs> me. <laughs> no, it was an above the rim fold. <laughs> I might raise next time with Ace King, all right, buddy? I guess. <laughs> Right? <laughs> you might? You might five bet, you might six bet. You guys, Jungle, come on. You can talk big as others. We all know you play scared against me, and it's fine. I'm your I'm your daddy. I always have been, and I always will be. Oh, is that so, Nick No Balls? Fold it to my three bets. <laughs> Jungle, obviously I'm going to fold your three bets because you play like a nit against me. <laughs> Why don't you take a look at what I had the other hand? Yeah, ace three suited. Congrats, Jungle. You got me. You had the best hand, and you, and you three bet me, and I folded a bad hand. Like... That doesn't. <laughs> fucking a jungle. I don't think I'm Jimmy. I gotta deal with this shit every day, man. This is unbelievable, right? I can't just sit here quietly and relax. No. Oh my gosh, this is the most he didn't count me. Who did you not count? I want me. to know. Who did you not um, count? You're I didn't count you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too light. You're kind Too of light? Yeah. You're kind Check. of traditional Indian. Fuck, I am a little lighter than you. I might go Tamba then. You're kind of traditional Indian because you're like an anomaly in that you have, you're like one of the only people that's had like a, a long term marriage. A successful long term marriage. That's like. That's true. It's, it's very Indian. Of, that's very Indian. Saying calling a marriage is uh, special. There's a stretch there. Uh, huh? They have they have a, a agreement. Oh, interesting we staff. Share, we Jimmy. share a living facility. I wonder if he's gonna keep barreling here. Sometimes we live together. With fives. <laughs> Andy's joke is that I'm never at home because I'm always playing poker. So. Okay. I don't want you to miss out on the joke. Pepe three bets and check calls this flop. Fives are just never gonna be good. You don't beat anything. The check calls this flop. When Pepe's a pre-flop three better. But Jimmy does just give up here. Need to do some yoga or some shit. Um, 
probably ground the other. You can either check back the flop or you can bet the flop and just Four. barrel. It'd be kind of entertaining. I tried it once in college and it was miserable. Betting big and then giving up. Yeah. Pepe with a tiny little block sizing here, and he's going to win. Well, if you're going to just bet, you're going to have to grow. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to, you're going to, have to grow and shrink simultaneously. It's true. He did not have a flush. Are you ready for this bet, Nick? No balls? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little, uh, a little intimidated to book it with you because I think I'd be pussy feet. That's, that's what I was saying, too. Wait, are you talking about the weight loss bet or something different? I, honestly, I don't know what he's talking about, but any bet I book with Jungle, I know I'll win. Well, then you can book it with me so I have a fair chance. But again, I don't want to just take it that you don't do it. I'd rather like have some sort of you know, skin in the game as well, so it's fair, and give you odds, because 80 pounds is a lot, man. Regardless I, I of whether or not you've done it. I guess my goal could be harder. A little bit harder. I mean, I always fail. I always lose this bet. If you ask me honestly, though, I think you're drawing dead. Leave me a price. And let's bet bigger. I, I can't because I don't, like, for me, it's like the money is not worth it to bet on your resolve. There's better things to do with the money. But I'm you drawing might just dead. have crazy Same resolve. Free mo you said I'm drawing dead. How can you, how can you say you're drawing dead? But then say uh, drawing dead is hyperbole, but I think you're ch you're, it's improbable. How what, about do you, what do you want to chance that? 10%? No, higher than that. 20%? I'll give you like 30. Okay, so I'll take two to one. That's even less than 30. Two to one? Yeah, I'll take two to one and we can bet oh, like really? 500,000. Let, no, let's discuss the terms after the stream, but I'm down. All right. But it has to be like a big number to make it interesting. I, you like, said a ridiculous number yesterday. I can't do that what do you for want two to do? one. 200,000? Let's talk off stream. I, I thought we were doing like a, a three no, Jungle, me thing. and you will do something, but he wants to just bet against me. We can just No, I'd rather be us three in the pool, like I, you said I, I'm drawing dead, I'd rather just people bet against me. I don't uh, think you're you drawing dead. because I said that. I'm no, sorry. I'm just saying, like, if, if I'm drawing dead, I want action. Like, I don't think you're drawing think, dead because I think, drawing I think dead, you're... I'll give them action. No, but I don't think you're drawing dead because I think you're incapable. I just think you're drawing dead because it's very hard. I understand. That's why I'm saying... I want, then I want the action. I, it's not, I'm not offended. I'm just saying, like, I think I'm not, so I want to bet. Okay, fair enough. I, I'm a gambler. I want to I mean, I, that's I how bet. it works, right? Yeah. If, you, if you think the odds are with you, you should bet, right? right so let's yeah. bet. That's what I'm if you think the odds are in your favor, then take I mean, the flower pot. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy! Rub it on your head. 40, probably is harder than you think. You know? Of course it is. Get you back, Jimmy, with that 3-5. 3-5, three, three, off 3-6. 3-6. Three, six. Three, six. <laughs> yeah, don't let him disrespect you, Jimmy. If you want my size of bet, you're in. All right, well, I just do a three-way bet. No, because I think he wants a bigger number, so I think if we come up together, you'll have a bigger oh, okay. number. That's fine. Sure, we'll do that. That's a good flop we'll for Jack Rated right? Diamonds. <laughs> no, neither do I, because it's stupid, then. It gives him too much motivation. I think it's like, I think it's a little hard to figure Randy, just gonna call. Combo nah, draw. That's what I'm saying. That's why I wouldn't put a big Jimmy bets big here on this flop, but that's a beautiful card for Mr. Andy. Forty percent pot. I've never done it either. I'd love to get the ten percent. Jimmy does have a diamond. Quite the precarious situation here because he didn't even know if he hits his diamond if he's good, but he is going to peel. Face starts to look older. I've and we're going to see a river here. Maybe small sizing on the turn. You think so? Okay. Brings Jimmy along, and neither one of these players particularly cares for this ace on the river. Nine high. Nine high? I have flush. <laughs> wow. yeah. What an ugly board for both of us. What an ugly board. The stacks is back. Fuck, maybe, maybe I'm getting a little scared, huh? Mr. Stacks is gonna, uh, he's got a little attack in him, huh? Mm -hmm. Attack, you, get, you think you're ready for Nikki? Think you're ready to brawl? Bring out Mickey. Huh? We need Mickey. Bring him out. Herschel, the big winner so far. He tripled up earlier. Waiting. Why and wait? No, I want the other Mickey. Nut straight over Who's two other Mickey? straights. The real Mickey. The real Mickey. The real Mickey. You can't handle Jimmy and Pepe, no, if you no. couldn't guess, were the. I, quite, I can't handle the real Mickey. You two can't. other straights. <laughs> I want doubled him up. To come tripled up. <laughs> La Herschel. Last time you rolled over like a little bitch. <laughs> Buddy, the real Mickey. You can't handle the real Mickey. <laughs> You can handle, you can handle jungle, but not make it. 
1400. Jungle, you're the best man. Hello, Art. Hello, Tom. None of y'all can't. I don't think you're ready for that. I want you to think. He's lying awake. He's being like, yo, where's that fight? Let's go. Heads up. What's Jock Jungle's nickname? I, I really want to know. What? What's the Jock version of Jungle? What's that? 15? I haven't thought of that one yet. Can we work stuff it right now? Uh, why don't you make some suggestions? I'll come in as a Jock. Okay, let me think about it. I'll try to talk about sports or something. Sports, girls, lifting, protein. Okay. I mean, I talk about some of those things anyway. I know about some of those things. Which I of understand. those things? The sports is where I'm lacking. I mean, so he knows all about sports. protein. You can be like, bro, sick ball game last night, right, bro? And there's always a ball game on, so like, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> did you see that play last night, dude? Like, you just, that's all you gotta say. Is that what they say? That's all they say. Round of straddles, I don't know, I don't know where we're at. I think we're auto straddling, right? Auto one, right? Yeah. 14. I, I, I'm down to do uh, jock jungle. I'll, I'll look like a jock, I'll be a jock. I'll do like push-ups on the stream, whatever. What do they do? 14 hundo. 14 hundo. Yeah. You guys need to do a pop-out of some sort, man. The poker world is dead right now. There needs to be something to be. Some more. Some I, I'm, I've been ready to do prop bets. Bet on. Last time I decided to single-handedly wake up the poker world, everyone got mad at me and I lost a million dollars. <laughs> that was on you, though. <laughs> that, was, that, that, was, that was you, Nick. You, like, randomly sent uh, the guy who, like, the is it. the CEO of a poker site, was, like, oh, no. shitty as poker. <laughs> I'm gonna add I mean, 50K. I mean... <laughs> Do you think I was wrong? <laughs> I, I understand where you're coming from, but no, no, I answered the question. No, no. Do you think I was wrong? Yes or no? <laughs> I, I thought I didn't. I, I didn't think he was as good as he was. To be fair, he improved a lot over the over the years. But like, he's still also a fucking CEO, which is hard as fuck to be. And he's got. No, it's not. Anyone coaches. can, buddy. Anyone can be a CEO of their own business. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Do you want to bet on that? You think you can be a CEO? Yeah, I can start Arcot Enterprises tomorrow and be the CEO. No, but you can have like a successful business. <laughs> Define successful, buddy. Like making fucking money. <laughs> like making like real money. It's a thousand or? Uh, what is I don't real want money? to talk about this on camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of causing. It's pretty hard to have a successful <laughs> business. It's like a, it's maybe harder than poker. I think it's harder. Four I'm like trying to do it, and I'm like, fuck, this is like pretty fucking hard. Maybe his business is selling those raspberry oh, things. Young man to admit, what do you think about poker? He's improved quite a bit. I mean, he's still got like a lot of good habits going on. Up at uh, 4300. Well, well, I believe you improved quite a bit through that process. It was a growing process. I think so, yeah, right, right. I actually think I unimproved a lot through that process. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still here. You know, it's all matters. You said last time getting through. The old airball check raise on the turn here from Jungle. There we go. Always helps. You have infinite bankroll or you never have to worry? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Louis, masseuse, please. I got three words for that. Is it possible for me to get a masseuse on this? It is? What happened? A masseuse? Uh, yeah, I can. Can, can I get him so I can get a massage? Uh, no. No, 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 you can't. Only no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was literally like, yeah, he's right. <laughs> Tell me, you want me to give you a massage? Magic with yeah. no poker face in that moment. I've heard people have tried that before. Yeah, I've seen it before. <laughs> Just from your personal What they do that in Triton, where they travel with the same masseuses. I don't know anything about Triton. I think that's the case. Alright, let's go. Call. Jungle would know. Mars, just gonna call. Yeah, put those sunglasses on. We'll go to the river. Don't let them get a read on you. Mars, you don't like this river. Everything gets there. Straights get there. Flushes get there. If 
jungle. Mars. See his hand or your hand? Huh? You see his hand or your hand? Oh, no. Mars just leads oh, the river. Yeah. Sorry. See us or yours? Yeah, let's jungle off the hook. We gotta get Mars to get us on the top. I don't do. have a straight. You don't have a straight? straight? My mother used to what do you have? A flush? You got shit? You got four or five? I have ten. Seven. You have a ten? You have a ten? Things don't work out. Top pair. He did have top pair. <laughs> no, but that's a very deep message, right? It's hard to do, though, right? <laughs> In poker terms, it just says going to be result oriented in the middle of the ship journey, right? More or less. More or less. Um. One I'll, I'll bet against you, uh, Nick, if you try to make a success, successful business in like a few months or something, I'll bet against that. It's no offense to you, it's just um, actually really hard. Okay, define successful, we can bet. But, but then we have to bet a real number, because then I'll put yeah. effort into it, it, and, I'll, on, it and I'll take all your money. <laughs> and keep in mind, I have very rich friends who owe me a lot of favors. I'm not kidding about that. Keep that in mind. Really be a no. I disagree quite strongly. I mean, not for like a real business. Define a real business. I open up a taco stand. I tell them they need to send all their employees there every single day. They send them there every day. I win. I mean, if someone, you have to like make it at yourself. You can't like. But isn't part of making a, a franchise? No, but isn't. No, I'm saying I'll open up my own taco stand, and I'll just tell all my contacts to send all their employees to my taco stand every day. Okay, maybe, I win. Maybe that would work. I don't know. I don't think it would work to be honest. So what's that? I think I could easily do something like that. If they like gave you all the people to run it, then it would probably work. But I don't think it really. I don't know if it'll be that simple. I think oh. like. I guess it's too easy for me to like. I think. I guess what I'm saying is, I think like uh, expertise and skill sure. is less important sure. than that than like network and like and like. Uh, well, if someone the gives ability you to, like financially back it, does that make sense? If you get lucky and you just Ready happen to know the right people oh. and they happen to like do whatever they're gonna do to help you, then yeah. But I mean, that's like kind of hard to actually have, to be honest. All right, well, I think I have it already. <laughs> like, if you knew the guy that owns McDonald's, oh, and, you, and he owes you some favors or whatever, and you're like, hey, I want to buy a franchise and run my fucking McDonald's, and he just, like, gives you all the good people to run it, yeah, it'll be successful, but, I mean, you have to have all those other things first. Yeah, I'm saying I think I have those other things. I mean, maybe. Thank you, bud. You're going to be P2? But it's like pretty easy to like think you've got the right people and not. That's true too, for sure. It's very easy to do that. I learned that. That's for That's sure the true. Biggest mistake people make in business. Call. Call. I mean, it's like a fucking very common mistake, and it's not that easy no problem, to fix. It's very detrimental when you make it too. So. But I'll be honest, I have no interest in I don't think I'm in working right now. Too rich. Too rich to work, Magic. Uh, Make it one blood clot. Yes! There we go. There, one we, blood go. there we go. Some blood on the felt. Magic means the magic. A blood clot. Uh, yep. All right, no one's in for the blood. Oh, yeah. I'm in for the blood. Yeah. They can't handle the real Mickey. I can't even be full Mickey. It feels too bad. I can't go full Mickey. Every time he calls himself I Mickey, came here expecting a brawl. Smack yourself in the shit. face. And I got Nick No Balls. I'll bring Mickey up there. I got I got Andy Stacks bringing a little bit of heat. I'll, I'll bring out the Mickey. All right, bring out bring out the Mickey then. I wonder if he practiced wait, his lines in the wait. mirror before he showed up to Hustler today. Nick, when you're ready to fight super villains, you can come talk to Mickey. Not today. Yeah, I know it's not today. That's why I said that. Today's like a, you know, just play some poker kind of day. Thirteen. That was not. That was not someone who's looking for a brawl kind of day. No brawl for me. Looking for a fucking brawl. Make it four large. I play poker for the brawl. The love of the game. It's not about the money. Pick a fucking cold four bet, fucking nine four offsuit for the Make money. It, the money play. I play poker for the money. That's why you can. That's why I never cold four bet nine four off. Only ten four. And eight deuce. 
Aren't you like six bet like deuce three suited because out of spite? Because you know the guy had only kings or aces. Or something like that, right? I don't know the full story. I've done some stupid shit. Yeah. Glasses on. Can't let Mars bluff me again. Check. 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 All right. Check around. Check around. Check. Check. Eleven. Check. Check. Who wins? Probably me. Queen high. Chuck him with a nice value bet on the turn. Right. Was that, was that, was that, um, what do you make this video about my play? Andy Stash. What do you make this video about my play? It's in the works. It's in the works. It's a very complicated, uh, you're gonna make a jungle, part of it, so, you know, jungle analysis longer. video. Okay, yeah. so this hand, he opened nine, three, uh, six, five offsuit under the gun. Uh. Um, <laughs> He's, uh, I'm not really sure how this one works. And this, uh, this other hand, he called four bet, nine for all. Um, that one, yeah, if they ask me about that, I'm just gonna say it never happened. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> and I pulled it easy, and, but he had two pairs, so I was right. <laughs> uh, fuck. Wow. Cool. Lots of diamonds. Pepe with ace high jungle with king high. 4,200. Pepe gonna put in a three bet. I don't know, Pepe, you're deep. All right, let's go. And Dan gonna overcall here on the button. How about a couple diamonds. Check. Pepe somehow still in the lead with ace high. It's one of the precarious parts about calling the Five large. three bet when you got a player behind who's going to come in. It's going to be kind of rough to play, but jungle is unperturbed. He's just going to. No, just because. Just because. Just cause. This, this next hand, he opened under the gun and called three bet. People <laughs> are just gonna watch and think, "What the fuck is this man doing?" Good to be back on Hustler. Just imagine if I go full Mickey. Just imagine. I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Good to be back on a Friday. That does not sound like you're 100, ready. 100, 200, 400. 400's on need permanently. To shout my face. <laughs> And then you're then you're ready for it. I need to hear it. Are you ready? Sorry. Are Thanks you ready for it? Jack, no, you're not ready for it. You're not ready for it. Maybe a couple more. Couple more of those. Uh, you need some ruthless raspberry. That's what she needs. You need a little ruthless raz. Next time I'll get one for you, okay? If you're gonna drink it anyway. Right, let's see what I got. God, I can't even like fold these guys. I'm just running hot as fuck or what? Check. Check. You win, you win. Dan gonna see bet, Dan gonna win. Thank you. What do the commentators say? Like, what the fuck is Jungle Land doing this time? <laughs> no. I don't think it's. The Huh? I don't know. I kind of want to listen. I don't know what they're saying when I get like the nine four off. I can't even go full Mickey. It's sad. 
Why is Stewie in Texas? No, he's not. He was just here. Yeah. He's back? He's here. Good to be back on a Friday. I've been spending a lot of my time the last few months working on my business, coaching, staking, training poker players, live poker players, live cash game players specifically. If you're trying to level up your poker game. Blood on, a little blood on the table. So let's go into this no, hand first. Jungle Man is kings. Time. Exactly. He actually has it this time. It doesn't get any action. If you're trying to level up your poker game, check out Hungry Horse Poker. Fucking solid poker. You can find us at HungryHorsePoker.com or on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope. It's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Sign up today by clicking the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code HUSTLER and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Bonus code HUSTLER when you sign up on WPT Global. I hope so. Yeah. That's I hope it'll plan. be fun. I hope uh, you have fun, you know? I'm gonna have fun, let me tell you. I have fun in Miami. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna have sleep is the problem. That's my problem. You need to sleep, man. You gotta have balance in your life to that's have the most problem. fun in life, you know what I mean? I know, but that's why I'm like doing, going it the other way, so I can get to sleep, minus the, uh, minus all the shenanigans. I wonder if Pepe keeps betting for value here after being called in two spots. He does wisely just check it back. Backdoor clubs yeah. get there. Oh, she's still with the best hand with his 55. top pair nine kicker. He's going to bet for value. Pepe's got some options. The I don't have much, but I think you're full of shit. Herschel playing back the piece of this hand, I trying call. to figure out. Yeah, you know, he makes a quick call. Nine plays. And he just figures it out really quickly, figuring uh, that Pepe would just keep barreling on the turn with ace exit clubs. Uh, jungle, can I have Quick call from Herschel there. Wins a nice what? little pot. Can I have 245 for collection? Yeah. Thank you. Laura, you dated in, I presume you dated in high school or college, right? That's huh? Yes, I did. Herschel's a big winner. Does this make you uncomfortable? Tonight so far. Asking a girl on a live stream if she's dated in high school or college is probably not the optimal question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't see why that's a weird question, but okay. I, I didn't think you did. That's why I was telling you that. I don't. I mean, like the answer is yes. Like, like whatever. Who cares? Sorry, it's all good. But we won't talk about it. Go ahead. 
Okay. Uh, four thousand. Four thousand. Jungle getting quite out of line here. Oh. And Herschel going to make the cold call. Interesting. When you see a player cold call, usually his hand exactly like this: ace jack suited, queen, ace queen suited. Pocket yeah, tens, pocket jacks, so pocket nines, those right? types of hands. Okay. A good hand, but not a great Check hand. Some some okay. Some okay. Jungle man gets cold called. Wondered if he's going to keep going for it here, and he does. Herschel in a really bad spot here because he's cold. next to act. He's got to overlay the fact that he beats both Herschel and Mars. He makes the fold. It looks like Mars is going to peel. Yeah, well, Mars is going to raise. A little raise for protection slash value here, and he's going to take it down. Figuring that jungle is kind of out of line with his preflop. Three bet frequency, figuring that jungle is out of line with the C betting frequency, figuring that he just has too much BS, and Mars makes an astute raise there and just kind of protects against overcards. Takes down the pot right here, right now. Did you date in uh, high school or college? Actually, not really. Not really? No, the I wasn't no. kneeling, I was just wondering. The answer is no, actually, thinking about it. When was your first no, girlfriend? No, I mean, I kind of dated in, I mean, I dated like a little bit in okay. college, but my first girlfriend was uh, when I was 22. 22. Yeah, 23. Yeah. I was playing fucking poker. I was making that bank. Also, I didn't know what I was doing, so. <laughs> in poker or in the relationship? It's so like how to manually, you know what I mean? Four? I get it. Four. And also, like, like you said, you were making that bank. Making that bank, man. Yeah. I had eyes on that cash. I mean, That's how I got were, so rich. You were in your early 20s. I think you were one of the best in the world at Heads Up No Limit. Yeah. How do you think that happened? I wasn't chasing no girls. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> just like, just regardless of chasing thing. girls or not, it's good to have companionship and be balanced. But it's very hard to attain what you attain. So I get why you like went all in on it. Well, I mean, if it actually wasn't like that bad of a situation thinking about it, because. Uh, I mean, it wasn't great. It's like almost, if you like don't know what's out there and you don't know what you're missing, then it's not that bad. Yeah, it's like, similar to me being vegetarian, right? Like I never know what meat tastes like, so it's a lot easier than someone who ate meat their whole life and then converted to vegetarianism. It's, it's similar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was kind of rubbed in my face a little bit, to be honest. I mean, did it felt really bad. Yeah. I essentially it was, it was a long trip. But uh I mean a hundred percent if you're not like out dating, you're more productive and you're making money. <laughs> you bet I can't lose money, you check, I might lose some money. <laughs> I just feel like for girls it's probably like way easier. For Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. For girls it's easier, you said? To date. I don't guys, know. You know, guys are just like doing all the effort. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I think there's two sides to a coin for everything, and they probably have their own challenges. That's what I'm saying. It's, this is probably something I'm missing. So I've, I've talked to. I talked to some girls and they're telling me how like online dating is like still like a job and like what Four. the fuck. Four thousand. Four thousand. Pepe gonna squeeze here. Four thousand. Four thousand. Oh shit. Yeah, that's why I was like. Good flop for pocket eights. Five. Half pot for Pepe. First one's going to peel at least once. Oh, 
So when you see a player call an open and then call the three bet again, Seven. usually going to be weighted towards pocket pairs. Those are usually the hands that don't three bet, that double flat here by Porsche. Big fold. He can't, or he would have showed it. Just like he didn't show it last, yesterday, and he had Jack's full. We kept putting nine ten in there, but we forgot to put Jack Jack in there. Yeah. But you just like who doesn't who doesn't see bet queen high board with Jack's then? Why why not? Why would you see bet a board with a? Oh, we did have Jack's full. He had Jack's full. Yeah. Oh, I thought he fucking didn't have it. Yeah, obviously. and you were like yeah. chastising me too. You're like, bro, he had nothing here, and I was like, yeah, it's a low frequency fold, but I had a live read and it was right. He had Jack's full. Oh, I guess you're right. We'll see. Yeah, I said he might have had it. Like, I mean, it's the sample size is only one of one, so it's. I mean, I guess I'll straddle. I can run I good exactly here, eleven. Do it, but whatever. It's on the Oh, it's part of the blinds. I'll take it. I, I don't know how that happened, but I'll fucking take it. Man, that's a sweet situation. God damn it, I do have the shittiest hell hands. The usual suspects? I was like, you know, I, I was confident he didn't add it, but you were right. I wasn't really chastising you, it was more like, I was just saying what I thought. Yeah, I know, you're being honest. You're like, I think you were tanking and you were gonna be good, but it kind of felt like a needle after the fact because I folded, you know? I was you probably weren't trying to, but it felt like it because I really wanted to call, but it went with my live read. So for me, okay. of course, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Well, I mean, sometimes the live reads are good, you yeah? know? Sometimes live reads are wrong, like the second hand you tried to buff me with eight, eight nine off suit and I had ace high, you know what I mean? But you, you can't be right 100%. Yeah. Or I wouldn't be here playing with you guys. I'd be in Alan Keating's game. If you were right 100%? Yeah. Out of 30. Because oh. I'd just have him buy a piece of me and put me in the game. Oh, you can just get in that game? Of course. If I, if I could promise being right 100% of the time, I could get in any game. I don't think that's how it works. But not everyone would know that. Only the certain people would. Yes. So if you were right 100% of the time, you'd play every hand and be right 100% of the times, or you'd pick your spot and try to play against players who well, didn't know that. Well, that's what happens when you're, like, too good. Yeah, eventually you'd learn, okay, I gotta, like, give something. I gotta, like, not be there you fucking go. annihilate. Exactly. Why do you think I'm sitting here playing like a goofball half the time? Mm -hmm. I sat here and played tight as fuck. But I told you that, like, 20 brutal. minutes in the meeting yesterday. I was like, wow, I think it really is an act, because, like... There's no way, like, I, I've, I've caught glimpses of you being coherent, and it's too big of a discrepancy. It's, it's, like, look, I'm, I'm doing a bit of, I'm having a bit of a fun. Anyways, I don't know if you want to keep the act going, you probably shouldn't talk about it on live stream where thousands of people are watching. I give action. Well, what's the act? Like, it's real. It's real action. <laughs> it's real action, you're right. You do, because you put in 17,000, like you said, with 9-4. I, I really do that. Like, that's not like... It's not an act, because you put it in, right? Yeah. How is it? Yeah. Now now I give action. I, I'm playing against a super pro. I don't normally do it, do that, but I feel like people are going to fold. And, you know, it's, it'll be good TV, whatever. Yeah, what, what you're explaining is very simple to understand. I get it, man. One of these days, I'll be in that blessed spot. I'm, I'm sure you run good in your life, too, Jungle Man. What is the blessed spot? Like You're playing on Friday on Hustler Casino Live, 100, right? 200, 400, no, with 150K in front of you. If that's not a blessed spot, I don't know what is. Not at all. Oh, you saved me, brother. No. No, but thank you, though. I appreciate it. Because what if I woke up with aces there? What'd you say? That's correct. 800 strong. Forty-five. 
And even if I pre mucked I would put the 400 on there, because I'm pretty sure everyone's doing it, right? It's yeah, mandatory. It's yeah. it's That's why I meant like you gave me a fighting chance, just in case. It's the 800 straddle is on. I was wondering if Dan would go for the three back no, here. But aside, Jungle, usually sure players a lot of play a little bit closer to the vest but you need you when the game starts playing timing. twice or right. four times the size. Not surprised to see him just call here with a suit of Broadway. from India. So. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> You're a real Indian. Yeah. Are you Not like Air Ball. Not like Air Ball. Huh? Are you really Indian? Real Indian, yeah. Where are you born? Yeah. Yeah. What was the city you were born in? I was born by Fresno. So I was born here, but... Oh, are you really Indian? Are you still Indian? My parents are Indian, yeah. Okay. So you can still be really Indian. Yeah. 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 What was happening there? That was interesting. Dan going for some thin value here on the river, and look at that. The four flush out there. Pepe gets away from two pair. Let's not push the Let's not push it too hard. I don't want to table. I think I could. I don't want to make Jungle too jealous. Like he was already so tilted that I ate at the table the other way. Oh, I object, Lauren. Stream is compromised. The biggest whale on the stream has proven he's com it's compromised. Fucking, no one hates money more than me. Wow. We have a big one brewing. Oh, yeah. Jimmy opens with queens. Airball flats in the hijack, and Mars looking down at kings. And now Pepe's going to cold call. Wonder if Jimmy goes for the four bet here with all of his dead money out there. We did see him cold four bet pocket jacks earlier. How much are, are, are you playing Mark? 1660. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy. There he goes. 21. 21. Big four bet. This one, don't, don't do no, no, this this one's reasonable. But I, I would, if if Jimmy had called, I might have ripped it on him. No, no, no nice, Andy nice. only, Andy only. Can I show him one part? No, no, no. You can't show me what? I can't show Jungle. He's too good. No, I'm not. He's definitely too good. Andy's my my fish. I have to keep him fed. <laughs> I'm your fish. We can tell you laughing at that. All in? All in. There's the all in from Mars. No, no, no. Thank you, Yumi. You good, Rob. You know, I'm a fish. You're my best friend. Yeah. Good, Rob. Yeah. You're my best friend. Don't see Jimmy getting away from this. He already put in a good chunk of the stack. Twice? Twice? Twice. I think he owes me a beat. $148,000 pot. Jimmy's going to need a queen. His suits are dominated, so he's going to need a queen. Yeah, I have a. Here, Look at that. 
There it is, right there on the first flop. They're gonna go twice. Now he's got outs. He needs a jack or a king. One more queen in the deck. <laughs> you can take this back, buddy. They're definitely not leaving you. I kind of got a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> Chop it up. That was uh, one in four. If you look at it like a black picture. No, one in six. A certain perspective. I'll go once, guys, just let you guys know. Just get a one before you in case you get more. Huh? I'll go once. Nick, I'm a little underwhelmed. I expect, I expect I don't more. I thought that was good. I don't know. Like one no, but I always yeah, say, I say um, it every game. I'm trying to keep it light between us, but I feel like... It has to be, like, for me, it can't be forced. Like, it has to be how I feel, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll wake up. Like, maybe you'll maybe you'll do something that wakes me up. Right? No, it is. I'm, like, a little sad. I feel, like, bad. I feel like I'm thinking I know you were, like, partially sad. I talk to you just like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm your bitch. I'll be honest. I fucking have a little bit. Shit, I'm playing, I guess. I can't even like say anything else. Like right now, you're up like a million, so you don't think so looking at it. It's the same guy that like. No, but I wanted to say that regardless because I felt bad. I was just looking for a good time to say it. You know what I mean? But that's what I mean. Like my comments now, just yeah. you. exactly. <laughs> I'm the same way, man. In a new environment, you gotta be careful, right? Yeah. I like to pick on people who who can play. Can't get an ISO raise over a couple limps. Pepe got a three bet. Does every day have to be war? I, I, I live nuclear war every day. I want to take one day off, yeah. You got like a hundred? Last night, I literally was in a nuclear war. Um, Talking to the guy who's awake at 4.30 a.m. Buddy, I'm awake every day at 4.30 a.m. Why are you awake Because I'm in the middle of nuclear war at 4.30 a.m. every day. I'm fucking doing nuclear war. I'm swinging millions. What does that mean? It means I'm swinging fucking your net worth every day at four in the morning. <laughs> but but it's true. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to take that from you. I'm not going to take I'm going to take his no money balls. from him. What are you talking about? No balls. Well, even Andy Stax is talking shit. Talk away, boys. Oh. You know what? I'll bite. What's the story between Nicky Angelo? Behind Nicky Angelo, sorry. Buddy, you think I know what the fuck <laughs> Jungle's insane mind is doing? You think I can fucking understand? I can't understand what the fuck is going on in his brain. I you just say like yes. Nod your head. Yeah, okay, he's like, today I'm Mickey Angelo. I'm like, all right, Mickey. Like, that's it. That's, that's what happens. Uh, the I'm next so time I see him, he's like, today I'm John Smith. I'm like, all right, John. Like, it just we just do whatever he says. Fair enough. <laughs> Some days he's fucking Dan Kate. Some days he's Jungle Man. We don't fucking know. Some days he's running a cult. Some days he's running a club. Sometimes he's teaching poker. Some days he's teaching life. Some days he's a yoga man. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he has a lot of different facets. Sometimes he's chasing girls. Sometimes he's trying to become a movie star. Sometimes he's trying not to masturbate. Sometimes all he's trying to do is masturbate. <laughs> I was wondering what the punchline's going to be. That was a good one. Yeah, that one was... I don't know if that's really ideal for the stream, but whatever. I don't really care that much. As long as Mark. it's not like... I'm gonna go I'm over there and see the analytics. The you know, I wanna see how it performs. Like, that's all I care about. Make fun of the data. My analytics are good, Jamal. That's why I'm here every week. <laughs> if I go, you know, you're okay, you're okay, like, you don't get that kind of spicy. You brought the game. Now you just roll. Well, sometimes you have it. I can get it out of you a little bit. I can poke you a little bit. How far is it? You can. It's tiring to be Nick Airball at all minutes, times, 15, right? Minutes? It has to be. Heart steel. Do you want to know the story of Mickey Angelo? Sure. And I'm heart steel today? OK, got gotcha. you. Heart of steel. Heart of steel. Heart of steel. Yeah. yeah, that's right. 
Um, it so could be, ni ni what do they call you, Nick No Balls? Yeah, Nick no <laughs> it could be Nick No Balls, yeah. it could be worse, yeah. yeah. Pick one, <laughs> Nick No Balls. So, so uh, yeah, go ahead, tell me One the story. day, uh, you know, Nick's like running bluffs and all that on me. He's bluffing me like every hand. And he's just owning me. And he's like saying, oh, I'm a, I'm a poker artist. I'm a, I'm a Picasso of poker. I'm Nicasso, blah, blah, blah. And I say, I'm thinking, you know what? It's time for someone to stand up and teach him, this guy, Nicasso, a fucking lesson. I, you know, I said, uh, I so I dressed up as uh, Nicky Angelo and I gave him a fucking painting that I made myself. Um, From Target. Okay. But it is hanging in my house. Okay, I sent him a picture, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Hang, it's still hanging in my house. Yeah, and I be and I ran some crazy ass bluff, and I became a poker artist named Mickey Angelo. You played some crazy right. hands with Bobo modern day there, poker, poker artist, motherfucker. Yeah, that day you and Bobo went did some crazy hands. Yeah. yeah. You remember that? Yeah, I do. What did you say? I just asked him for massage. Oh, okay. I thought you were asking me something. So. Thank you. He, he made me his bitch first in uh, Austin, and then he came back here and I made him my bitch. And he was like, yeah, you're right. I'm your bitch. So what's your place in That's the story. Pepe in a double barrel here. Very wet board, all types of straight draws, flush draws. And he's going to hang around with top pair. Queen on the river, and Pepe makes a smidge of showdown value. He's just going to check here. They should just go check, check, I would imagine. Queen. Huh? Queen. Herschel up about 120K. Pepe down about 120K. That's been the story of the night so far. Herschel with the early triple up. Getting the money in against Jimmy and Pepe, who had seven high Does straights. He had the nine high nut straps. straight. I object to the objection. The <laughs> All right, so we're doing a round of straddles to 800. You know, I kind of, as much as I didn't like the hundred stacks of 100 now, before, now I kind of like them a little bit more. But it feels like I, I like them more because I earned them. See, that's why you straddle, to make people respect your straddles. All right, I'll see what I got. Um, uh, there. Raise. Raise it up. Two... To um, the stratosphere and beyond. Going to Mars tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for sending me. Not waiting for no Elon Musk to figure it out. Is it so far from me? But if I, if I head down that direction, for sure, I'm going to go see that guy. I'm going to say, Artist Steel sent me. Always good to put the double straddle on and wake up with Ace King. They say uh, if you can mine an asteroid, you can become a trillionaire. Okay, the first trillionaire is going to like mine an asteroid. That's what they say. Maybe if someone can like mine Mars, it'll probably become real rich. I've done acupuncture and like I swear after I do it, I just want to do it again after two weeks. It's like it's never ending. It's like, it doesn't cure the problem, you know? It's just, just temporary relief. That's the same thing with me and cupping. And then I went to the cupping, yeah. Value yeah. bet here from Jungle. Quick fold from Mars. Like never get cupping because half the really? time they don't even know what they're doing. Solid poker. It's just, it's just your bot. Yeah, it's just. Like, great. No, it's like you, you just won't get the right, right type of help, and then it'll just be temporary relief, like you said. Yeah, yeah. And the downside is if they do it the wrong it way, it hurts your muscles. It, it could cause a long-term yeah. issue. Oh shit. So, yeah, that's I why I, that. I, just, I just stopped getting cupping. Oh, yeah, you know? I didn't know about that. Yeah. Yeah, because you're right. Because it fucks up. Like it does a lot of. Your tissue, your muscle, it's like exactly. the pressure. If they're just like doing it, whatever pressure points, it's right. like, no training is not good. Yeah. No training is not That's true. Good. How long have you been sitting that guy? Oh, it's your hand, by the way. How long have you been sitting that, the, the no. chiropractor guy? He fixed you like, like, like two times um, a year. So, ago. this yeah. is the first time I met not him. Not a very good okay. And it, it was really good. Yeah. So, it was my first time. And oh, okay. I've been okay. seeing right a chiropractor like, for like six years. Right and I've been going to multiple chiropractors whenever I travel for poker, and no one's been as good as him. You've only, how many treatments did you go, though? I only went to one. Once, wow. That's all you needed, huh? That's 
Fantastic. I mean, he knew I was visiting from out of state, so he did a lot more than he would on your first try. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah he's yeah. very good. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. All right. Five of you. Yeah. Five way limp pot in a 100, 200, 400, 800 game. Check. Don't say that Check. sentence every day. It's on me Sorry. first. 2,000 now. Sorry about that. Bottom set here for Airball, just coming out and betting. He's done professional athletes, Floyd Mayweather. Like, oh, he's, he's the real deal. Like, yeah. It's not like yeah, 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 yeah. He's working on athletes, that's for sure. Horrible card for Airball here. Okay. Everything gets sure. there. Floyd Mayweather right. is just going to some any kind of special right? one, for sure. Yeah. And the river just gets worse. <laughs> yeah. Flops bottom set on a wet board and just it's relatively cheap. For not able to get value. Yeah. Sure. Six, three. One of those things where you don't want to be trying to save money on, you know, someone's missing. You just fine, no? <laughs> yeah, you don't save money on it, no. Quick call from Airball. You win. Gentleman turning his top pair into a bluff. I can't see his hand, Lauren. Wow, jungle plays so bad. A little bit of prickliness in the air. I don't even understand what he's doing. Don't worry, if you tell me I win, I'll just show my hand. But with jungle, I gotta fuck with him. So you straddle. Jungle, buddy, are you okay? <laughs> doing man uh, are you like happy you won like a like a 15k pot from here or whatever it was yeah i'm fucking ecstatic can't you tell can't you tell how happy i am happy for anything man he lost eight million came back to the doctor last wednesday he probably won like 120k back and he's like i'm back baby i'm, back. I'm fucking back i'm even I'm, back. I'm all the way unstuck it's a win man you can't complain about yeah. a win you know these guys haven't been through the in the trenches andy they don't understand like winning you when can't I you can't take winning for granted, man. Like, yeah, when I don't lose 200K, it's a fucking win. Dude, when I, when I don't lose, like, that 200,000, I feel amazing. Like, like, I have a budget every Check. day. Like, every day of my life, if I lose 200,000, I'm okay. When I can keep the guy that I just, I just double through with, keep him in the game, then that's a win for me, you know? When I can fucking do that, I'm good. When you double up a guy, he doesn't immediately Jimmy going to float next to act with ace jack high. And Herschel with top pair comes along as well. We have a big pot brewing, and that's going to make things Check. bigger. Jimmy picks up the nut flush straw. They're picking like a one third pot. And I wonder if Herschel can get away from this after it goes bet call on the flop and the turn. But he can't get away from it because I missed that Herschel had hearts as well. A heart river could have been disastrous for Herschel. Check. Bad run out for Pepe. Runs out four to a straight, and River just checks through. But Pepe wins a nice little pot. Herschel avoids disaster on that river. Like this is, these guys are just like, are they from another planet? Yeah, thank you. Well, you know he's from uh, he's from outer space. <laughs> I need to. I can't. I like. I, I didn't think I'd be able to use this statement appropriately. But shout out to you, Junior. I can't fucking breathe right now. I really can't breathe after that hand. Like, how does he check queens there? I don't know, man. Bad win, the straight. Good straddle, boys. You got me tilted. How tough can you be? You just save money. It's the reverse slow roll, of course. You shouldn't be tilted. You just save money. This is a great situation. And I turn hearts too, and he just has queens. <laughs> Casual queens. Why not? I mean, uh, yeah, you're right. I did save money. That makes me feel better. Call 800. Call 800. A heart would have been perfect on the river. I know. I was not looking for a heart. <laughs> I was just saying seven, 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 ten, on you. ten, ten, you know? But after he checks, I'm like, I'm good. Look at that, there's Jackson in the straddle. Hand, man. You played that well. Jimmy gonna get out of the way, most likely. Airball's coming along. There's levels. If you thought like three levels up and played it that way, then you played it well. 
You don't know about a rapper called Meek No? You gotta play him the song. I feel like Mars is love rap. What do you listen to when you snowboard? K pop. K pop. Wow. Yo, He's not kidding. He is gonna play tight today. Song with uh, Jack Harlow, Jung Cook, uh, 3D. Have you heard that song? You should check it out. It's from BTS, Jungkook. BTS. Oh. Yeah, you like K-pop, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. How do you know he likes K-pop? Pepe just shows up with queens there and always yeah. just fucking rip the turn. How do they get these hands? Yeah. Where, where's the straddle started? Yeah, who started though? It started in seat two. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna pull this one out, okay? And then just come on. I'm afraid that it's 2000 and seat nine. I'm just gonna pull two in. Nick No Balls. Nope. See how the balls make that call. You, you yeah, must have had a monster too, right? Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're never going anywhere on the turn. No, yeah, not on the turn. I had thoughts of it, though. If you play live poker and want to level up your poker game, check out Hungry Horse Poker, hungryhorsepoker.com. My business that I run, coaching, training, teaching poker players. We do coaching for profit. We're also starting month-long boot camp starting October 16th, specifically for live cash for poker players who want to be elite, move up from the $5 blind level to the $10 blind level to high stakes. Check out Hungry Horse Poker, hungryhorsepoker.com, or on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. $800 straddles on airball opening up the ace queen Where's from Indy? EP. Go check the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't get your weekly double up. Oh. You, and then you're tripping, no? Check. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. here. Check. He's here? Yeah. I don't see it. I changed my shoes. Yo, yo. Yeah. Oh, it's here. He's here? <laughs> yeah. He's here. Now he's here. Check. Check. Two pair now for Pepe. And look at that sweet baby there. Jimmy makes the nut straight. Airball makes top top. And Pepe's got two pair. What an action river. Jimmy's going to raise. Airball's going to cold call. Pepe in a precarious situation here. And he calls. Jimmy going to win a nice one. 30K going his way. Look at that river. Just the gin card for him. Making airball top pair, making Jimmy the nuts. And Pepe had two pair on the turn. I beat you. Got two pair. I'm in last place. <laughs> you have it? I play bad. Me too. This will be the last game. We'll have two pair. No, Mars last game. You don't bet? You should have bet. No, Jungle started that. You don't bet much. Who started the 800? I did. Oh, OK. Thank you. That was for you, Nick. What was? The 800. That's right. That's right. But work, Bob. I like that name. You should say thank you. Thank you, buddy. You don't thank me enough. You're right. I am fucking right. You say thanks to your daddy. <laughs> daddy Dan. Daddy Dan, I like that. Dan gonna get a little out of line here. After Mars opens from Effectively under the gun here with the straddle, the double straddle on. Dan's going to squeeze the offsuit queen jack. Mars going to get out of the way. Let's see what Jungle likes to do here. He flatted a pretty good hand, suited Broadway. 
problem is he's dominated by a lot of Dan's squeezing range here. Loses to Ace King, loses to Kings, loses to Tens, etc. Dan flops the best of it here. Goes 40%, wins the hand. <laughs> I thought about why he was doing that. I was like, it could be an Indian thing. It's just a pepper thing. It's just a pepper thing. I'm not going to lie, I was curious. I looked at your Instagram, Pepe. I saw that you were doing that long before the street. <laughs> Like a rapper named like Daddy Stacks, something like that. Daddy no, it's actually my cousin, Daddy, Daddy Stacks. Some shit I like that. Daddy Stacks. I like Stacks yeah. Daddy. Huh? <laughs> Stacks Daddy. Stacks Daddy. That's a sick one. Stacks Daddy. Stacks Daddy. They all these goofy Hello, Edison names. Hernandez. But they like pull them off. They just have so much swag. They're like, no, this is legit. Andy now with Queens. It's funny how like Dan going to just call here be, on the button with the Super Broadway. Really he seems to get pretty aggressive pre-flop, like, and he really seriously elects close. to just call on the button here. Going to save himself a few dollars. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, Chuck. Bars with trip nines. Goes half pot here on the turn. A lot of draws out there, but Dan's going to get away from it, it appears. And Mars not going to get any value here. After I lost that big pot to you, I was like, all right, I'm done with these guys. Is that what happened? Yeah, I'm super suspicious. Eric Rivas, I yeah. am. I mean, it's, it's hard Retired. not to Retired. I drove buses for 14 years. Kevin Rainwater says, is that Mark Goon? John goes, like, I'm going to bring my own pair of child support. I'm designing my own pair. Herschel, you get a child. It's actually my cousin. Comes in, doesn't even tell me anything. He's like, Andy, I got you a brand new yeah. pair. I'll let him know. He says, you Marvel Ad Avengers, Walmart, $4.99. I'll give you one. I'll give you a different one. I'll give you both. I, I, I gave him Versace last time. He pulled up with the Marvel Avengers. <laughs> no, I'll give you a. Uh, I'll give you a better one. I mean, uh, I mean, I mostly have like joke, joke glasses right now. Magnus Pisces says, "Mark, do you still playing Lenny Kravitz's okay. home game? I played in okay, it once. It was a little bit weird when you went in." They scanned everybody and made everybody get nude to make sure they weren't wearing any cheating devices. Lenny Kravitz was the only one who didn't get naked. But where Bob says, how can I play on Thirsty Thursdays? Simple, all you have to do is send a tasteful nude picture to Nick Fertucci at Hustler Casino Introducing Live. Rad Poker 2.0, your chance to win a free roll on Hustler Casino Live. Launching October 1st, Rad Poker 2.0 is a lightning-paced heads-up poker ladder. Work your way through the leagues from bronze up to grand master. Finish the month at the top of the ladder and win a free roll on HCL. To celebrate the upcoming release of Rad Poker 2.0, Rad Poker is offering free membership for the first month. Visit radpoker.com. Start playing and win your seat on Hustler Casino Live. Poker just got rad. Rad Poker 2.0. Listen to that. Raver doing the voiceovers. Wow. Raver Poker into the voiceover game. He's got the perfect voice for it. Love to see it. Love to hear it. 
I, I, I like it. Well, this is going to get out of control rather quickly here. Andy with top set versus bottom two pair. Put in the check raise right away. All right, let's go. It's like weird how that works, right? <laughs> Six on his turn. Andy deciding how best to proceed here. Can I get a bounce? You have great posture. You practice it, right? Yeah, I'm a fishing too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I believe Dan opened this one. Andy called. 21 large. And then check raised the flop. Now Andy goes. 21,000. With the pot size bet here on the turn. Bow. Bow. Yeah. Talking to And a quick call from Dan. Andy praying for a blank. Call 21,000. <laughs> Not a bad card for Andy. Whatever you want, buddy. buddy. Dan going to have a tough time getting away from this. Diamonds miss. Nobody already will talk. Nobody already will never talk to us. And like 7-5 gets there. Chunky bet incoming from Andy. 58,000 58, here on the river. He's genuinely happy. He's way too happy for that. So again, just under pot on the river. Chuck raised the flop, pot on the turn, pot on the river. And Dan in the spot trying to figure out what are the bluffs. Dan, he has a hand like 5-6. Does he keep barreling on this turn? If he has ace-5, wouldn't he three-bet quite a lot of the time pre-flop? Dan trying to put these pieces together. But he does have two pair here. Hard to get away from two pair. Do you get a haircut, man? Last you shaved yourself? Did you ever have long hair? Uh, Looks like he wants to fold. I've never had hair. I mean, maybe like as long as his is the longest I've ever had. <laughs> but his isn't long. Like, you know what I mean? Like my length on top. Please, please call, 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 please call. Wednesday is like. Pretty much as long as it goes. A little bit longer. Mm. I don't like it long. Dan long. here. In an unenviable position. Must be nice, right? Yeah. I'm 30. You're 30? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. I thought you were my age, mid 30s. We're close yeah. enough. Oh, it's closer to me. Yeah, yeah he's closer to you. Yeah. So young, so rich, so handsome, Jimmy. He oh, does make the call. And Andy going to show him the disappointing news. Andy wins a nice pot. Biggest pot of the day so far. Nearly 180,000 going Andy's way. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, you forgot about the ace-two soft against you? Oh, sorry about that one. That was two hands, two hands. Ace-two soft against you. Yeah, yeah, that one too. Yeah. Good hand, Andy. Ryan, Andy, let's try it. I'm not coming, bro. We don't play hand, bro. Fuck. No double up for you this week. Sorry, we buddy. play two hands, bro. Sorry, buddy. Do you too. Sorry, buddy. Andy, Pepe wants me to pop for you. Bravo. I, I, I promise I won't call you with Fuck, ace 2 man. soft You next don't time. play, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it'll be suited next time. Sorry. I thought we were playing PLO. I thought it was double suited. Sorry. Right. You, you play PLO in the casino. I think it's fucking full double up with playing they fucking kings the against queens in it. Right? Gets mad because he doesn't get his double up this week. Look out of here. Fucking, mm. fucking go off on me. Fucking shit. Fuck out of here. Uh, no, he's a four. He stopped around the eight at Jordan. Nick, it's funny. People get 
they're so used to us just giving them money. Yeah, when they, they get stop, me. they get angry. They get angry. They're like, where's they my can't believe it. Where, where, yeah. Where's my keys against Queens? <laughs> 80,000. Sorry, man. 42, Hundo. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, Andy. Oh. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> right? Good one. Yeah, Do you spend a lot of time with JRB this summer? Me? Yeah. No, not at all. Very little. I don't know. A lot of your verbiage like mirrors his. Like you say, buddy, like him a lot. Yeah. Buddy. Exactly. That. All of these things, he mirrors me. There you go. Yeah. Nick's the real OG. I don't know about that, but I'm just Six I'm on top. Down. That's all I know. Six down. Go home. Seven. Oh. <laughs> Just like that, Andy, the big winner on the night now up. 116K. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Got you. Maybe no. I'll fold every hand. You fold every hand? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you play like Andy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love instigating. Nick. You want me to tell you what you, you want me to tell me you folded? Will you show me that? Yeah. I would love to know, to be honest with you. I almost threw up, man. I made a tight fold. I made an insane fold I today. I think you too. did that just to tell me. I, I honestly, like, you, you like, it was a factor. I'm just going to take this good hand to show Andy. It's like, if I show Andy the, this hand and I fold, it's going to make him so mad. And you have to let you Oh, fuck, I should have bought him for like 10,000, too. That would have really done it. I basically did. <laughs> Twenty-five hundred. Every time I, I get tilted, I'm walking in my bag and I just hear Andy say to the dealer, "Nick's adding on three hundred thousand." I see you look over you. Five more. Check. Everybody has a ten. Check. 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 Oh, Mars is here. Oh. 32 hundo. It's literally me, Pepe, and Jimmy playing it every hand, right? Big C bet here for Mars. Can you ask him what the lowest VPI is? Dang it, continue with the call. Oh, let's go over the side, over the side. Fuck it. They don't need to play it. Check. Action turn, Dan, now top two. Play free. Mars, second pair and open ended. On a super wet dynamic board. Check, check. These chips stack better, but they're more slippery. If yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I feel like. They have more weight and they're bigger. Yeah, so they stack up, but then like they're super slippery. Check, check. Like I feel like you could do wow. the stacks better with these, but like if one stack starts to go, it's gonna be everywhere. Dan trying to spring the trap. Mars just checking back. All right. Um, what did you want to know? Lois. Lowest three. It is, I mean, um, Mars and then Nick and Andy are fighting. Okay. I mean, um, oh, oh, yeah. I think it'd be better if they had done the clay. Mars, and Nick. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should have done clay. They should oh, do Mars, Mars and, and, and then Nick and Andy. Yeah. You, they should make them clay, you said? Dan? Huh? You said oh, Mars and then clay, Dan. Okay. Okay. And then yeah. Nick and Andy. Let's talk to Sean. Let's have him redo them again. I mean, I don't know. I just like the. the the Like the Aria chips are clay, right? Yeah, the Arikas are clay. Most of them are clay. Right, like, no, even the hundreds, I think, are, right? Yeah, yeah. I like those. Yeah, they're mostly clay. They shuffle really nice, they stack really nice. Mm -hmm. They're probably just more expensive, is what it is. I think so. They're easier to upkeep. Yeah. <laughs> you can wash these easily. The clay ones are like. You think they will? Huh? You think they will? Oh, oh they usually do. Hundo? Like every once in a while, they wash the chips. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Let me get dirty. Okay. Cool. The right. ones that we just popped out the hustle, didn't check. Wait, but you think they wash those? Yeah, I think so. Three ways. Or do you think they wash the five dollar chips here sometimes? I'm not like a five, but oh, you think like thirty the bigger ones, hundred and up maybe or something? Maybe. Nice and sure. I checked on. At least five hundred and up maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. Check Look around. The jungle just wandering. <laughs> just wandering. You check. You check. Mars picks up a flush draw. Let's see if he right, that's here. He does just check it back. Smartly trying to just realize his equity here and his equity he realizes. Are you wearing the necklace jungle? Herschel with three checks here. Right, after this hand, I'll tell everyone a nice story. Four, 
Foul. Mars goes pot. Is from me? No, actually here. He calls. Quick call from Herschel. Oh, yes. Should the flush? No. Oh. Hey, Andy, here's a nice story. So I'm playing Berkey. I'm stuck, you know, nice time, and I'm lo and I'm just like no losing, and, yeah, Funny. yeah, and I'm like just I'm like frustrated. It's not, it's never been going well, right? And I come back to LA and I see Jungle, and we go out to dinner, and you know, he gives me like a pep talk, and he's like, you know what, Nick, take this necklace. It's that necklace right there. He's like, it's like it'll give you like the spiritual power like that you need like to win. So I was like, fuck right, yeah. So I turn. take the necklace, go to Vegas. Turn. I put that shit on. I'm wearing the necklace. I'm feeling the jungle power. I get to the table. I'm, for, I'm, I'm always the first one there. I'm buying a million. I'm like, this motherfucker's got no chance. Raise. I got the jungle on me. And then I lose 400,000 that day. <laughs> Turn the necklace to the rightful I, owner. I didn't wear the necklace again. <laughs> that, that's your problem. You didn't wear. You didn't keep Went wearing it. Well, I couldn't afford to, buddy. <laughs> if I wore that necklace every day, I might actually be broke. <laughs> Fucking four hundred thou. Just for the record, you asked for that necklace. And I did. Also, the necklace is about growth. It's not about winning money in the short term. It's about winning in the long term. Well, I was trying to grow some money. <laughs> It only works if Eventually. your heart is as pure as jungles. It, yeah. It's able to sense your energy in it, you know. <laughs> the Here, you the can necklace me. is literally about so you can feel like you're in it. That's what the necklace means. I know. It represents the evolution of the universe. Hmm? I saw a spade. You saw eight. Did you meditate on it? I did not, unfortunately. Well, that was your problem. You didn't meditate on it. Wait, who's supposed to eat a spade? You didn't do a meditation. You didn't do a meditation. Okay. Dan actually with the best of it here in the middle pair. Check here. Check. Go. All right. Check around. Eight of spades. Seven of diamonds. That works. Three spades. Twenty-five hundred. Two pair now for air ball. Ball. Snap call. Ball. We go to a river, pots 10K. Herb the original pre flop razor here. Check. Dan checks. Airball's going to bet big here. You want a little poker tip? This line is under bluff. The check back flop is the pre flop razor call turn. And then it's checked to you on the river and they bet. That line is one of the most under bluffed lines in live poker. So if you see that line, hard to find bluffs because most of their bluffs start C betting on the flop. So when they call the turn and then bet the river, good fold from Dan. Holds to the 2x pot. You don't think you've grown? No, I've grown. See? I mean, but isn't that just natural? Like, don't we all grow naturally in life? Like, regardless of necklace or not, as time passes, you kind of grow? Not some always. Some people are growers, some people that's are fair. showers. And also, sometimes you can grow faster. It's not fun to grow faster, that's for sure. I, I agree. It's not usually not the fun part. Fifteen hundred. 45. 45 hundo. Like, I think, like, um, in a serious, in a, guys, a serious moment, like, I think I've definitely grown from all the murky stuff and everything. Put this back up here. But I also so feel like, clear, clear, clear. in some ways, like, I've shrunk or whatever, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but, like, where I feel like I don't, I'm not able to have as much fun as I used to and stuff just because, like, there's, like, I Check. now think I about the negativity and I, or I think about the commentary or whatever a lot more than, like, I used to and I didn't, like, I just like really didn't care. And like, I wouldn't say like, I care what other people think, but like, I care about the negativity being out there. Does that make sense? Well, it depends on what the negativity is for, right? Because if you're like doing things that are gonna make people, piss people off, like it's gonna come back to you at some point anyway. 25 or four. Sure, but I mean like, like a lot of things that like upset people are things that I don't care that they upset people because I don't think it's wrong or right or what, like, I don't think it's wrong. Like, 
needling or slow rolling or whatever kind of bullshit I do, maybe at poker or like talking shit. Like, I don't think it's a big deal, right? Because it's not like mean spirited, it's just like fun. But like people can take it the wrong way and it can cause a lot of negativity. And like, I think like, uh, like that's not something that I, I like. I'm obviously a big, not a big fan of. Because I think like, whether people think it or not, like, I think people who know me think that I'm like generally pretty happy person and like pretty positive and like fun. You know what I mean? And so like, it kind of sucks to be like, to feel like you're at the center of a lot of negativity. Often, does that make sense? Sure. Well, I mean, you, you can. I mean, there's multiple different ways of looking at it. I mean, you could say like, if you think it's fun and other people don't think it's fun, you're basically being selfish. Sure. Like, I mean, I can think a lot of things are fun. Do them and piss people off. Like, sure. Uh, but I, I mean, what I, what I mean is, like, I don't, like, the people I play with don't have a problem with me ever. Or sure. not ever, but like 99%, right? Well, we but can, people can, watching have problems, and like, to me, like, exactly. that's completely irrelevant, you know? Sure, sure. I think you can be yourself. You can be, like, you prefer to be with just people that won't get pissed off. Or, I don't know. No, all I'm saying is, like, I think it's, like, all of my only, my whole comment was just to say, like, I think, like, for me personally, like the most recent period where I've like definitely grown a lot has also like in some ways like I think like negatively affected me as well. That's all I say. Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. 32. Double barrel from Dan here. Interesting. With ace high, and Jimmy's gonna hang on. It looks like with just a pair of sevens. Sure. Yeah. For sure. See if Dan is going to triple barrel this. Try to get a 10 to fold here. It's going to be hard for a 10 to hang on when two other cards come. Seems like a pretty good run out to barrel. And he is going to barrel it. This is a nice bluff from Dan. It's a nice bluff. And he seems just a snap fold from Jimmy. He's the other end of it. You know, at least for me, I have never, I haven't always considered that. There's Pepe. Thank you. Like, like in terms of like this, like just like the straight poker stuff, like I can say like, um, like I'm sure Andy has can tell this just like when we play, like I used to like the stream games or whatever, like twice a week were like the games I would most look forward to that I played each week. Like I really wanted, I was really excited for the stream each week. And now like, I don't, whether or not it's like a period or it's like it's gonna be like this forever or whatever, I don't know. But like now, it, these are the games I at least look forward to each week. That hurts, man. It kind of does hurt. It's just the truth. I mean, that's like a, a function of a lot of things. I mean, but it has nothing to do with the people here. Like it has to do with the other stuff. Is it skill games that are that good? No, it's not. It's not about how good the game is. It's like, like you go, you get like you make a bad play. You say, "Tell me, you get 60 texts from people like." about it, right? Like, I do something or say something on stream, I get like a million tweets, a million texts. Yeah, it's like yeah, a Poker yeah. News puts out an article and like I gotta deal with all this shit for like a week, right? Exactly. Like, it's no longer fun. Yeah. I, should, I turn it all off. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like, when you, when you, when you play crazy and, and like have fun and give action, you get like all this negativity. And then when you play tight and like just try to relax, people are like complaining about that. It's like, just and don't fucking watch. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, at some point like it gets, it gets, I mean, why, like, and then people out there watching, like, this is kind of a rant, but whatever, man, like, don't realize that, like, it affects, like, being mean or whatever, negative constantly on stream is why certain players don't play anymore. Like, look around at the table, like, if you're watching the stream, like, the group of players who play, is playing right now, it's not the group that was playing six months ago, or whatever, and it's because a lot of them don't want to play on stream because of the negativity, like, there's a lot of people who have told me, like, they would, they would love to come play here with us, who are great action players, but they don't want to play because of the live chat. I mean, like, it kind of I sucks. Mean, one thing, one solution to that is, well, first of all, you're kind of getting at the point of, like, how ridiculous people tend to be. Like, yeah, people yeah. do all sorts of stupid fucking shit all the time. Um, I mean, uh, one thing that, that could be done is Hustler could police the live stream and be like, hey, be respectful, blah, 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 you're in the game. Yeah, they do. They have, they, they do, but it's still, like, 
tens of thousands of people like talking not and saying nasty shit. You can't like police at all. You can like mute, you can mute people. Like they can watch and you can get fucking muted. I, I, there would be no chat. Nobody would talk to they have to mute everybody. No, that's not true. There'd be plenty of people they could talk to. You just have mute. Well, you'd have a bot like that would warn them. And if they said something else again, you would like mute them again. But it's also just like, it's kind of like, while you can like, you can uh, silence like that stuff, yeah. it's kind of like not the point. Like the point is like to not, to, that people can just appreciate what the, the content and everything rather than like, you have to like mute people who are just like negative, 90% of people who are just always negative. Like sure. Obviously like, well, I'm, I'm talking very like idealistically saying like ideally like everyone would be positive or whatever, but like that's just not the reality. Yeah. What if Jimmy's gonna bluff Nonetheless, this? it's nice to think about a world where that might exist. <laughs> where we, me and Andy didn't get criticized for every play we make on, on Reddit. <laughs> every fucking play. Oh, yeah, I just, I just stopped looking. Just stopped looking. People sent me links, I just don't Jungle me Man's thinking about leading river? river? I'm over it. I'm over it too. Okay. So, so he gave Jimmy rope on the turn. Anyways. After Jimmy called the flop. Not to be negative, but Jimmy leads interesting river. conversation. I don't know if he's trying to get I mean, like it sounds like they should really police it then, to if fold? it's having that much of a negative effect. They, they should use some some AI. Like that's clearly that's what I think is just clearly some kind of solution. Yeah. Like people aren't gonna start stop watching because they can't say stupid shit. Probably not. I have no idea. I don't I don't I don't know the analytics of the chat and like to viewership or any of that. Um, Nord, I mean, I don't even... I guess they're not saying that much dumb shit about me. It doesn't really get back to me. I don't check the chat. Or I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe I need to say, do more stupid shit. You just play too good, Jungle. I do dumb stuff all the time. Yeah, but when you do it, it works out. You flop two pair. <laughs> it didn't need to work out that time. Everyone when Andy does fold. it, he makes trip nines and his opponent makes them straight. When I do it, they just have the fucking nuts. That like, should be the highlight clip of the, just the, the two hands, <laughs> his hand and my hand. Two different sessions, but I just put them together. Show, show the difference. Pretty sure I've got four bad hand reaction. Top two for Andy here with the sneaky check. Make it six. There's the check raise. Quick call from Jimmy. Very wet turn card. Backdoor flush draw now out there as well. Andy going to keep going for value here. And it looks like Jimmy's just going to get away from top pair, no kicker. Kind of getting out one of the big pet peeves of mine that is very prevailing that people can't seem to notice, which is something like people basically having this like constant negativity bias of finding fault finding, where they just find a fault with everything. They just don't yeah, understand yeah. that, um, like it's just you're just gonna find them if that's what your 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 mode of doing things is. It's like similar to a victim mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just find the negative in every fucking situation and it becomes this like losing game where you just can't fucking win. Yep, for sure. Like I try, this is, this is, this is the kind of shit that I talk about all the time and like, I feel like people don't really understand, but. 15 under. You know, you try to educate a population or people that oh. like, you know, they're stuck on some other planet. All right, let's go, heads up. I mean, it's just like glass half full, glass half empty kind of thing, you know? Like, if you always just look for the the half empty, like, you're just going to always see that, right? Yeah. Well, you're right, but people don't, like, see how it applies to things that happen every single day to them. It applies to everything. 16 under. I like this jungle much more than the rehearsed too. lines jungle from early in the I session. I guess it's easy to get wrapped up in what you don't have, et cetera. Of course it's easy to get wrapped up in what you don't have. I mean, it could also be different people complaining for different reasons, too. That's one weird thing. I mean, most of it's just bullshit. For sure. Thank you. You're four. That's my magic. Yeah. 
ten cases. I, was, I wanted you to call. I wanted you to raise. I wanted you to raise. I wanted to call. <laughs> that was a really productive conversation. I'm glad we had that one. <laughs> I wanted you to check. <laughs> raise my ass. Shit. Eat my balls. From 9-5 to 8-5. <laughs> We're losing players left and right. I know, Jesus. What is going on? What's that? I'm fucking leaving. Are you in, Dan? Light open from Jungle, light three bet for Mandy, and a cold call from Jimmy. Not surprised to see this coming. Bump it up. Jungle Man knows Bump that eight. Andy's going to be three betting very wide in this configuration, too wide. Looks like Albert Einstein is and when Jimmy cold calls, he's just never going to have top of range because Jimmy's going to hold four bet jacks, queens, kings, aces. We saw him do it earlier. It's just a pretty good spot for Jungle Man to pick up all the dead money. It may look way out of line with deuce three, and it is, but. He just knows Andy's three betting too much, and he knows Jimmy <laughs> never has a great is. hand, only a decent hand. Kind of the rationale behind how he's able to get away from it. Be happy. That's just, that's yeah. just, I just can't help it. I just thought I was gonna play tight today. I was like, oh my god, I, I gotta play tight today. Everyone's like, so fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna get punished for this shit at some point. I mean, I was, I meant, I, I did come in here thinking I was gonna play tight, and everyone just played so tight. I was like, okay, okay never mind, I guess I'll play crazy. Well. I just want to see the video. Guns a squeeze. Seven thou. Strat video. Okay, I understand. Juggle man open three, two off two. You pull the pocket jack. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was pretty solid. Dan's not going in early. Anywhere with the King 9 suited. Button versus blind here. Jimmy with a hand that's just very easily dominated, but he's going to come along. We're going to see a flop three ways. Dan, the original pre flop razor. Air ball squeezed from the middle blind here. Dan actually flops the best of it. Jimmy open ended. They're all going to see that very small. Quick call from Dan. Jimmy can pick up on the sizing here and play this draw aggressively. Jack on the turn. Jimmy now makes the best hand. Open ended to go along with it. it. Seems like a not the most ideal spot to turn pocket eights into a bluff here. Three ways on this particular card. And a wise check from Airball. 
King-9 interesting here. Thinking about the blockers game, Dan does block King-10, King which is the nuts. Pocket nines, two pair. He's got to figure he doesn't have a ton of showdown value here. Could be an interesting kind of mergey bet here on the turn from Dan. 10 on the river and Dan backs into the king high straight. Air ball also with the straight. And Jimmy now with two pairs. So a little bit of something for everyone. Then I'm going to go for some value here. 23,000. Quick fold from Jimmy. Airball with the ass end of the straight. He does pay him off. Doom zoom. Usually. Gregarious air ball, but in a little bit of a prickly mood thus far this evening. Andy, the big winner up just I, south I of 120,000. Uh, Pepe and Jimmy. Ras raspberry. Each down over 100K. Can that help you? Uh, now? Oh, I can't get you in now. It's too late. Next, next, time? Time, next, next time? time? Maybe. Well, what's in it? Is it caffeine or what is it? Ruthlessness. I don't think, I don't think uh, red ruthlessness. Bull. Ruthlessness? Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a. I'll give it a try. Raspberry like you've never had it before. Raspberry that beats you up from the inside, so you got to let it out on the outside. 35. All right, we're back to it. the stick now. That's Some fucking rage is in it. Ruthlessness. Ruthlessness. You said you wanted that cur jungle man courage. I need some of that jungle man courage. You need some rage. Yeah. Just some rage. You can, use, you can use a little rage sometimes. Yeah, a little rage is good. It's kind of a rough life. I, I just decided I am the fucking rage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tame the beast within. One blood clot. One blood clot. Are we going to squeeze? Eight. Definitely not way out of line, but a little bit of a lighter squeeze on the button, especially when Dan, who's played rather solid on the night, is opening under the gun here. And Jungle Man going to go for the cold four bet. We're going to see a pot here. We are going to see a pot. comes the five bet from Airball. Jungle going to continue with eight high, five bet pot. Airball squeezed on the button. Jungle Man pulled four bet from the big blind. And Airball put in the five bet, correctly deducing the Jungle Man would be too light here too often. Here we go to the flop, 75K in there. Check. Middle pair for Jungle Man, King High flush draw for air ball. All you can eat. 
Wow, he just overbet jams. How much? How much you? I got it. It's a hundred. A hundred and ten. This one ten. One I'm not expecting that play. I think you have it. This looks like I have it. One eighteen. Whatever, dude. Whatever, bitch. You're my bitch. That air ball gets it through. I ain't scared. And that's my straight flush hand, Andy. I always five bet king nine of hearts. I mean, I was priced in, but like, I had some piece of shit. I always five bet king nine of hearts. You know the rule, Andy, right? He, Nick, Nick did have a pair of bowls after all. How about that? You're lucky. <laughs> you call me off with a queen eye flush draw? <laughs> Ryan, have queen ten, Ryan would have like the queen ten of hearts and be like, I call. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have folded a jack. I would just been like, whatever, I guess they call. I'll be honest. Are you looking for action? Get your ass to Hustler, the number one place to play PLO. We have 5-5, five, 5-5-10, five, 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 10, 10 20, 25 50, and of course, double, double board bomb boxes. Bomb boxes. Games run every day. Just use the Poker Atlas and get your name on the list. You want the best action in LA? Well, I think you know what to do. Get your ass to Hustler. I bet it every time too. Look at that, we got Nick for two cheap. I bet it every time too. I want you to have the magic hand against me, Nicky. Doing voiceovers now as well. PLO at Hustler, PLO been going. Well, when that happens, Andy, you know I Every single day here. I still fucking try, Andy. At least give me that credit, buddy. Like, at least I'm not like the guys who like, I only then go crazy when I fucking flop the flush draw. Like, when it, when it comes like, deuce three, five, all black, I'm still just like, I got aces sometimes. <laughs> you still just like jam it in with ace fucking king here? Deuce three five. I can't tell you what I would do with Ace King on Deuce three five, buddy. It's like better than a mess spot. Uh. <laughs> 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 Mar is going to continue here in position. I think it was like fifty. Uh, I wish you would have called him. Gamble. Seen Dan turn ace high into bluff a couple times tonight. Wonder if he'll do it here out of position. Wide versus wide config. He just checks it. Imagine he'll check call at least once here if Mars stabs. You didn't have a jack. Mars with the gut shot. He's just going to check it back. And Bink City for Dan no, here on the turn. Yeah, I'm definitely a favorite. Not much, so. I have two overs and a flush draw. That's, that's got to be a favorite. Oh, He's going to bet for value. Four. Nikki? Are you calling me Mickey now? No, no, you're Nikki. Oh, Nikki. Uh, yes, people have called me that. Here, here, I'll tell you the names that people call me. Um, so, uh, Tuckman calls me Nikki Airball. Uh-huh. Huh? Charles calls me Hairball. Or no Hairball, depending on my shave. Uh, Hanks likes to call me Airball Nick. These are some of the names that they, uh, I go by. My favorite is Hanks. He always calls, he's the only one in the world, but he always calls me Airball Nick. <laughs> I don't know why. Juan says Markun moonlighting. The only thing Markun's moonlighting is yeah, like very staring at Nick like Fertucci's big I fat ass play. under the, when, like, all the beautiful the glow like, of the full moon. <laughs> only one. Depending on the day. Depending on the day, yeah. Here, here's some change if you want. Yeah. Be 5, you want more? No. Feels like you're ready to all in. <laughs> I'm about to. I'm gonna rebuy. I'm not, I'm not catching him. Yep, I deserve that. Not catching like for a whole day. I deserve that. That's why I prefer PLO. Yeah. Last night, Andy, we were playing PLO. 
uh, at a private game. And then um, a VIP showed up and wanted to play a little bit of Hold'em too. So we decided to make it half Hold'em, half uh, Double War Bomb Pots. And uh, I'm winning like 70,000, okay? And we've been, playing, we've been playing half PLO, half Double Board. And we switch it and it's the first round of No Limit. And at the end of the first round of No Limit, I'm stuck 100,000. <laughs> And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, why the fuck did, why who the fuck likes this game? <laughs> I jammed into aces three times pre-flop. Hold on. And hold them, yeah. Three times. I had king 10, king jack, and nines. Who's fault is that? Who's fault is that? Uh, once was against the same guy. And once was someone else. I don't know if this sounds like a bad beat. I didn't say it was a bad beat. <laughs> no. I think I've gotten a little better at PLO. Okay. Round. I've been putting in the volume for sure. Uh, I'm organizing it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking organizing it now, buddy. <laughs> I think it got a little better. I mean, there's all the resources on the planet if you've got free time. Yeah, I don't have free time. You don't? What are you doing with your time? I play poker every day and then I play video games every day. I don't know, play less video games. I can't. It's, 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 a, it's a commitment. I've committed to becoming the best. Huh? You don't play any Thank hands you. now, Pepe? Oh, you you just sit? That's it. <laughs> I'm not hungry at all. <laughs> oh my god. Andy just calling with the suit of Broadway. Interesting Andy calls here. I actually like calling when Jungleman opens under the gun. You don't necessarily want to ISO Jungle Man. You want to let in some of the recreational players behind. Although Jungle Man is opening super wide. Queen 10 plays fine. Multi-way, and most likely Andy's going to have absolute position here. Is that yours or mine? Where you stay, RS? It's mine. That's where I saw you. The first yeah, time. yeah, probably. Yeah, you should come with us. Wait, bear, right? You, I was, yeah. <laughs> Was Ben Lamb with me? Can you remember? I don't remember who, but um, yeah, I don't. Like, I don't know Bear that well. I just uh, like obviously he's in the high stakes community, so like we're yeah. cordial. Oh, sorry. Wow, Airball just calling here with the Ace Ten suited. Throw a hijack open and a button flat, not squeezing. And Mars is going to get out of line and squeeze. And now Jungle Man with Ace 10 suited. He's going to make a tight fold, but a reasonable fold. Oh. Wrong ones. <laughs> that flush draw for Airball. Mars, a pre flop. Squeezer here. He's going to stab at it with absolutely nothing. And Jimmy's got top pair. Hmm? 65. 65. And I wonder if Hairball here is going to go for the check raise with a nut. Wow. Wow. And Jimmy's just going to move in. With top pair, no kicker. What do you have, Mars? Like 70? 60? Up to you, buddy. Where goes Airball? Just putting it in. This is a flip. Good 
Good luck. That one's air balls right away. Always nice to get the first one out of the way. You know you locked up at least half at the absolute minimum. We're going to need an ace or a club, and there's a club. He wins both. if you want it. So this is five. Hey, uh, Nick. It's five, that's two, and this is eight. Nick, okay. are you ready for the stand-up game now? No. Jesus. He said he's coming back, right? Or is he coming back? He's, yeah, he's coming he's back. back. He's jacket and chicken. And one hour, two hour. Well, well, I mean, you think he's winning 100, so probably three hours. <laughs> yeah, probably three hours. Is Jungle Man going to go for revenge? He is. And he's going to run into a buzzsaw here. 5-7? We're still getting used Mars to gets out of the way. Jungle Man going to need a lot of help. Pretty clean flop for pocket tens. Next card. Pretty clean turn for pocket tens. Still really only losing to Jacks, Kings, Aces. And some suited Queen X varieties that Jungle Man with three bet. Pre flop. Small bet for airball here on the turn. I like it. Look at this getting spicy. Jungle Man goes for the check race here on the turn on the double paired board. See if Jungle Man decides to fire one more barrel on the river at this point. He's pretty much repping a queen and only a queen. Here comes the bet. He's going to have to go really big to get a fold here. I wonder if he's just choosing a size to get Asex to fold. Yeah, hey, let's go relatively big here. Mm, I don't have much jungle, but I don't know if I believe this. 80% power. But I also don't know if I can call. I feel like you're bluffing, though. How much more? Intuition spot on. I kind of feel like you're bluffing, jungle. I don't know if I can call. Hang a second. Think about it. 42? <laughs> He's gonna talk himself into this one. If I call it this set, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to though right now. I don't know, man. What do you have? <laughs> It'd be such a disaster if you had a flush. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess I could just have a queen and not have to fucking call. Oh, that's a weird hand. Check raise me on the turn, double pair board.
<laughs> See if he can pull the trigger. I have such a bad hand. Yeah, you're probably just not fucking on me. Now it seems like he's going to talk himself into a fold. Oh. I can beat, like, all your club, miss club draws. Would you bet the diamonds? Uh, I mean, I don't have a diamond, which kind of sucks. And I have a club, which sucks, too. Not sure, Jungle Now Man's. I'm leaning towards not paying you off, Jungle. I don't think Jungle Man's ever taking this line with a flusher. Maybe this is Jungle, like, trying to prove something, you know? Like, prove he can try to bluff me. There you go. Here's what usually happens in this spot. I like convince myself that like he's taking his one big stand against me and I call and then he just turns over ace queen. <laughs> That's what usually happens. I still think I might call. 10, 20, 30, 40, like 50 in there. Greedy bet. Ooh, wow. This hand makes no sense. He's putting the pieces together. He's going to call. I, I just don't understand. What do you have? Sorry, guys. Give me one more minute. I have two tens. Uh, Juggle man, three bad here. I guess if he's bluffing me, Lauren, we should let him bluff once, right? Yeah. What do you think, Lauren? Should we let him bluff once? <laughs> what was the story? Did he pull it the wrong way? He pushed it when he was supposed to pull. Yeah, he pushed. His gut says to call. Usually when it doesn't make sense, that's the time when to call. He can't put the pieces together. I don't know why I, I, don't, want, I don't want to fold, but I just really don't want to fold. Uh, Listen to your really gut, Mr. Herbal. Sorry, guys. Like, last minute, I promise. Minutes? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to take a minute, but maybe. Take your time, man. You're a fast player. It's such a weird hand. What do you have? I should have just four bet you preflop. Oh, and he folds. Yeah, see her now. Yeah. Jungle Man get a show. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to call, honestly. I thought you were going to call, and I was going to be like, fucking Nikki, motherfucker. Felt like I really walk. thought you were going to call, honestly. You want to Tense, tense. <sighs> nice hand, Jungle. I thought you were going to call me. Who's my bitch now? Who's my bitch now? <laughs> Should I put him in? I know I was getting the speech if you called me. I was getting the speech 100%. 100%. 100%. 100 100%. 1,000%. 1, a bazillion percent. It would've been a nice speech, too. If I you called, it would've, the, the whole poker room would've known. <sighs> That's for the ace queen. That's for the ace queen. You got me to fold tens on queen queen four four. Good job, Jungle. <laughs> After all of this, you still watch it every time, man. Huh? <laughs> oh, you do. Okay. Nice hand, Jungle. Next time, I'll just have a queen and he's laughing in your face. I should have just potted it, is what I should have done. I should have just what? I should have just potted it. On the river? Yeah. Same yeah, I'm going to go for the check raise here. Hmm? You basically did. You bet like 90%. Open under to the nuts. And I bet like 85%. Yeah, what's the difference? He gets there, but the flush does come in. I don't think it's 
but I can like have a flush. I mean, you could have a flush. Yeah, I like going very small here. I don't think you could have. Well, could you have a flush? Yeah. That, that's what he I want. Let's go sure small. About. It's a thin bet with the flush. Good sizing from Dan. He's played solid tonight. Uh, I didn't so, think you had a queen. If you don't even have a queen, then you should bet a flush, right? You don't have a queen that much. I mean, you have like. Well, I don't have a queen that much. I play a queen the same way, wouldn't I? Not necessarily. I mean, even if you did, you still have lots of things like that. Sure. We can't win a pot today, Pepe. Not your day. He won one against me. Smaller. Uh, jungle. That one's gonna bother me. Nice hand, buddy. It was gonna happen one day. When I thought you were gonna get me too. You're so close. You're like, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't fucking believe you. I just want to just call. Yeah, it was the worst fucking story ever. I still didn't call. I'm the worst. <laughs> to, be, to be completely honest, I do the same thing with like Wii and Plenty. But it's just hard to have it. If I had a queen, I raise her 100%. Nice. nice hand, buddy. You got me. You got me good. I can't, I can't do it again. I can't. <laughs> Partial's back. He had to poop. I have the right read on the situation. It's always frustrating when you don't trust your gut, you know what I mean? Like, Did Mars flat? Airball's open with Ace King here? I think so. These guys are friends. Check call from Airball. And look at that sweet baby there. Rivers, two pair. Mars gonna bet again for value. Airball gonna check raise and oh, Airball just calls. Yeah, these two are friends. I'm not sure if they're just really going at each other's throats. If I call you there, we got a game. Sorry, guys. Nikasa's not back. Now, my fool. I tried. I tried to inspire Nikasa. Nikasa, where you at? Okay. Trying to make some artwork. She shouldn't do the Hanyo Isu. Trying to paint a picture. I'm a withered artist, buddy. I used to be a real artist. Out of all that Chinese. I was trying I to inspire you. You understood what? Thank you. Yeah. Then bad read. I never said uh, thank yeah, you. I'm so I'm a special family. <laughs> Most brown people are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not everyone can be you. Uh, it's my only skill. Isn't five. art your skill as well? Five. Used to be. Used to be. What kind of art form did you like? Poker art. Poker. Interestingly, Dan just calling here with the Ace Five. Suited. He's deep with Jungle Man and probably doesn't want to tangle in a three bet pot out of position against Jungle this deep and figures if he does call, can bring in Pepe behind. Pre flop is interesting. So a lot of people just memorize range charts and these are the hands I three bet without taking into consideration other factors like who are the players you want to be playing with post flop? Who are the guys you're not winning money off of? Who are the players you are winning money off of? How do you play more hands against the guys you're winning money off of? Kind of like Dan's flat. 
pre-flop here to bring in Pepe. He may make some mistakes. Post-flop. Uh, it's Jungle Man. Most likely going to play very solid in position. going to be a terror to play against. And dance out of position this deep in a three-bet pot. So if you're wondering why sometimes he three bets his hand, why sometimes he flats it, there you go. Okay. Andy, the big winner of about 114. Pepe and Jimmy down over 100 large. Jimmy closing in on 150K. Luck of the draw, but you know, he also owned me a bunch of times for sure. Like, that's a small blind man. Correct. The ace queen hand was like the pure, the pure punishment. Look at that, Jimmy and Pepe that leading the league in VPIP. Uh, uh, the ace, that, that hand is like one of the greatest hands of all time, Jungle. It has to be. That hand was a masterpiece. That hand so was he inspired. A masterpiece. Uh, hero was, 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 uh, was called for. I was so locked in, like. I like, I had a plan. I just executed. Oh man, that was so nice. I don't think you had a plan to be honest. Oh, what do you mean? I snap did it. I, that was my plan. My plan was to fucking min bet three bet you. Sorry. My here's my here's my exact thought. If you call my min bet with a better hand, I owned you because you were a pussy. And if you raise me, I'm gonna three bet your ass and put you in hell. I mean, it's not that much in hell. It depends on where my mind's at. I don't know, man. It seems like it put you in hell. It did at that time. My mind was not there. <laughs> but that was what that you know when you picked up on a live toe, huh? With great trials come great heroes like Mickey Angelo. You're a great hero, Jungle. I'm a big fan of Jungle of Vicky and Jungle. You know I'm a big fan. That's true. Even when you get me. Even when you fuck on me. I'll, I'll tell you what. If you get fucked too hard by Mickey Angelo, I'll paint you something. Okay. Well, you did just fuck me pretty hard. Both of you, you know what I mean? That wasn't that hard. That was gentle? No, I know you did. That was, that was gentle. Like medium. Medium it hard? Like a, it was like, a, uh, if you called, it would have been 130k pot or something. It's not about the money. It's about short deck aces killer. The battle. You almost called me, too. You almost got me. You almost picked me off and was like, I think Jungle has stone air here. So I'm going to call two fucking tens just to fuck him. If you called with two tens, I would have felt like such an idiot. I know, so think about the fact that I tanked for that long. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck. Who made it 11? Andy did? <laughs> Andy did? All right, cool. Wait, Andy and Pepe? Oh, I should, wait, 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 wait. Can I get my money back and fold, guys? Because I want to let you guys battle. Andy, you've got to unzip your pants right fucking now. <laughs> You gotta take out your balls and put them on the fucking table, and he will fold. Have I ask him? Airball chuck raise from Airball. Just rationalizing that Andy's just sea betting way too much and, and generate some folds here on this flop right away. But look at this, Andy considering floating with just ace high. I feel like Andy was like about to do something there, stupid, and then he's like, maybe not. Wonder if Airball shuts it down here. This is a horrible card to keep barreling. Run the board double pairs. Gonna be that much harder to get Andy to fold over pairs, ace high. And airball wisely just gives Nine up. Nine high. <laughs> mini, mini got it. Bad run out. Mini got it. Bad run out. Does anyone object to a round of straddles? You, you do object. No, no objection. All right, we're on the straddles. Hmm, jungle, jungle, jungle. Ah, oh, that would have been such a nice little call.
We've seen Airball call a couple of times with these suited broadways from the blinds instead of squeezing. Definitely prefers the smaller suited connectors and the ace high big cards. Seems like a pretty good combo to squeeze though. Another double paired board, the third one we've seen this orbit. Jimmy going to call here with pocket eights. Thinks better of it. Dan just checks it back. with nines this time, he upgrades. You see him just limp the button here, wow, with pocket nines. He's been relatively passive pre-flop, except he did cold four bet with pocket jacks once. Ziggleman had just been wildly aggressive, isoing from out of position. Quick call from Jimmy. We're gonna go three ways. Jungle Man flops the best of it with middle pair. Jimmy gonna stab at it. Get some protection for his pocket nines here. Also has a gut shot. Oh, is there anyone at this table? I could do it. All right. <laughs> See, Jungle, how fast you lose our bet? <laughs> well, they didn't say you're gonna succeed. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds more like we have action. What you... Jungle gonna continue. It's a check call here. It's a pre-flop razor. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good card for Mr. Jungle. I think your taco stand idea was probably better. Luckily, Nick has a lot of businesses. Okay. Yeah. I imagine Jimmy may just check this one back. Just it just ha doesn't have to be hustling. Right. Well, you guys don't realize this? Bink on the river. <laughs> I'm already the CEO of Airball Enterprise. Wonder if you see Jungle Man block me, here. This is the real money business. <laughs> right, Andy? Mm -hmm. yeah, this yeah. must be good to still he have chips after all this loosely. <laughs> it's not easy. Man. Bet incoming it's from Jimmy. Makes a straight on this You're river. You're always asking how I stay in chips. I just said this was good. <laughs> you actually have an LLC. It's called Airball Enterprises. Because I can see Big you opening up like an escort. Like 17 into 23. Juggle Man not loving the spot no after facing this sizing. Uh, that's just what I get. Weird. Yep. I think. I think I have to fold. Good fold. Yeah. 
I deserve that. I always care for them to be a buff. Dude. <laughs> that was enough buff. I definitely <laughs> deserve that. Man. Long time to eat. I know. It was good. No, it was that good, one was um, way overdue. See, now it's fun, you know, when you win a couple yeah, of Yeah, when you can win a fucking hand, it's fun. When <laughs> you just come here and lose you every hand, it's not fun at all. <laughs> no bluff? Huh? Bluff, bluff? No, I had a straight. No. no. I had nines. Oh. Okay. If you're lying, it's a great lie. Once again, no, I'll lay you ten. I'll lay you ten to one. He's not lying. You want to bet? My I think, 10K I think to he year has one. it, man. So my ten k to your one. You want to bet? No. I'm just. That's what I'm saying. It would be a great lie because I fucking believe it. <laughs> uh, come out. I fully, I I that's not a legal raise. How much do you want to make it, Pepe? Any amount. Okay. Pepe, the pre flop raiser. $800 straddle round is on. 100, 200, 400. 800. Good flop for Pepe's range when he opens from middle position here. Four, five. Oh, about big. I did this for you. He's going to win. You guys ask me to dress nice, I dress nice. I dressed up a little bit. I feel like I was uh, very reasonable, let's put it that way. I mean, I even fucking shaved my head and my face. Like, that's... I put some effort into it for you guys. I, I mean, I did tell you that. Like, I appreciate you doing I that. I did it because you guys you asked yeah. me to. And then yeah. you show up wearing that. I mean, what the fuck? It almost sounded like you were going to say you say something else. You're like, I even shaved my head and my... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I also shaved my balls for you, Jungle. <laughs> uh, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, right, I forgot. No masturbating. <laughs> no, I might raise. I might raise. Oh, pretty soon. I'm just going to leave. I was going to say something. I'm going to leave that alone. Just let it die out. Yeah. That's up to the flop here, $800 straddle on. We see Jimmy open, which we don't see it much. We've seen him do a lot of limping pre-flop. Not sure what the best of it. Pair of fives here. I should dye my hair like the same color as Tony. Yes. You should. You should dye your eyebrows the same color as Tony. You should the whole thing. Yeah, How funny would it be if I just showed her like neon hair one day? I mean, I'll I don't have much of it, but we'll it would be I'll fucking do it. Go it out long. Go your hair out like I will do it. <laughs> my hair, like, when it grows out, it just goes like straight up. Like, it doesn't like fucking like, yeah, it doesn't work. Do you have wavy hair? Cool. It's like straight. It's fucking That'd be a good pop there. You can not go longer without cutting their hair. I would lose. I don't think I can do that. I need to get a price. Yeah. My wife also hates when I have long hair, so that also works against me. Your wife hates it? Yeah. Well, you never see her anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> she hates knowing I have it. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> no, there's no shots fired. This is just now true. Now I feel better about your comments, you know? Because you're just like, you're joking around, right? Yeah. <laughs> Andy just has a good read. <laughs> it was it was like a soul, it wasn't even a good read, it was a soul read. I don't know, bro, I saw her. Because you saw, were just snapped like I saw her fast. last night for like an hour <laughs> while she was sleeping. <laughs> that must be tough, though, all jokes aside. 
I, my wife lives a good life. I meant for you, not for her, but okay. I have a good life as well. Right, and he stacks. And the, oh, heads up? Oh, three. A true Indian. Oh, three. Andy Stacks and True Indian. So it looked like Jungle Man opened this one. Jimmy flops top pair. Flop checks through. Once again, we see Andy flatting with a relatively strong hand to Jungle Man's open. Couple recreational players in the blinds here. Andy maybe trying to keep them in, not ISIL Jungle Man. We've seen him kind of three bet Jungle Man with trash and the really good hand. So kind of going with a more polarized strategy here. And just calling with the middle, upper middle portion of his range because if you think about Andy's incentives pre-flop, doesn't really want to ISO jungle and play a pot against him. Jungle's not going to be making a ton of mistakes post-flop. Maybe you want to let the players in who are going to make some more mistakes post. How these players navigate pre-flop always super interesting to me at least. Another one. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy breaking even. I don't want to win. <laughs> this game, things are big. Fucking four hundred dollars big one. You know, two hundred k is normal. That's that's nice though. That's the thing. Like hey, these days, like the big games are so big. Like people don't realize yeah, that like, yeah, you can swing like yeah, so many so millions of stuff. Not even that, like not even like that. It's basically seen as a sport. I hear they have cash games in Singapore. If you're looking to score free cash, this is the giveaway from you. Hoodies, hats, CLP subscriptions, and of course, free money. Last time I won $22,000 and gave out over $2,200. We thought that was pretty cool, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna make it rain with additional prizes too. Yeah, that's our casino HustlerCasinoLive.com slash Bart Giveaway. Bart Hansen giving away four 2.5% pieces of his action. Last time he won 22000 I believe, so. Gave away $2,200, so. Sign up, get a piece of Bart, free roll yourself, having a chance of winning. Some of Bart's winnings when he plays next time on Thirsty Thursday. There's just so much bullshit, but. They don't He's like, like a good guy. Like Bart giving away 10%. They, they don't Pretty cool. They don't look at uh, poker as in a uh, game of skill. They yeah. look at it as a gamble. walk and gamble. Yeah, it makes sense. Bart has some of the most real looking implanted calves that I've ever seen. I actually got his calves all augmented about a year before COVID. They still look great. You don't have infinite resistance. Yeah, call it in. Jungle. Masseuse fish. Sauce fish here. Who next? You. For me? I'm oh, sorry. Another one. Yeah. Because I cl if I closed my eyes, I would have thought I was hearing myself talk out loud when you said you don't have any more no, masseuse things. Something that's all Jimmy said it is very similar to the way, we, way I say things. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry, am I in your way, guys? Only one diamond. Make some more room for you. Good? Can I drop it? Please let me drop it. Can I just accidentally drop the under? I'm gonna get really mad. Is that like a big crime? <laughs> I've already almost been banned from this casino multiple times. Chris, can I drop it for you? I'll do everything the way you do it. It's such a hard question for the poor guy. You know. What do you mean? He, he, he handled it perfectly. He said no. <laughs> no, but you, you saw the pain look on his face. Uh, I know he wanted to say yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know, buddy. They cater pretty hard to me here. <laughs> You'd be surprised, Dan. I like how you still try to push it, though. Of course. They can do it exactly the same way you do. Mars can't love this with eights. This is kind of a precarious situation for him. Jimmy's been pretty passive, as we've talked about a few times tonight. So Mars is just going to cold call with the eights. Doesn't really like the option to four bet here. <laughs> Folding feels gross. You get treated well around the world. Yeah. And Dan right. going to come along. That's part of the problem with just calling here is you're going to bring in Dan on the button. He's going to play solid. Mars, you're going to have to play kind of face up here. You're not going to be able to continue wide on the flop because when Jimmy C bets, you've got somebody behind you. And look at this flop for Dan. Unfortunately for him, no one else has anything. Half pot for Jimmy. Mars going to get away from it quickly. Let's see if Dan goes for the raise or just the call here. Looks like he's just going to call. The villain is a win or sick. Get the villain. Yeah, the villain. Jimmy's MO has been relatively passive thus far tonight. I would be surprised to see him double barrel this. Although he is stuck. Quite a bit, so maybe letting the frustration yeah, creep in. Nice he does check. I didn't even know they had them. Where is it located in terms of the lobby? And Dan's not going to get him to come along unless he puts in a very small bet here. But if Dan correctly deduces that, you know, aces and kings keep betting here all the time, maybe he does realize he has to go small. And I'm not sure ace king ever falls. But maybe he's trying to rope a hand like jacks or tens in. Seems to be exactly what he's doing, and unfortunately for him, Jimmy just has his king. My favorite restaurant in MGM is in MGM Grand in Vegas. La Atelier de Joel Robuchon. There's nothing better than that. Or Joel Robuchon itself, you know? Sure, yeah. I once kissed Joel Robuchon. Do you like French food? I like all food. Have you been to Joel Robuchon? I think we ordered that one to the table. Okay. That's the one in MGM, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we ordered like every restaurant there. We tried them all. Yeah. He has that name though. He has multiple restaurants, right? Correct. I think I might have been to some of his other restaurants. Yeah, I've been to his other locations. The one in Miami is great as well. But Joel Robuchon is a Vegas one only. It's 14, right? Yep. Cool. See if Dan squeezes. Played really solid tonight. Been aggressive pre-flop. Bump it up to There's a squeeze. Six foul. Very well done. All right, one customer. Let's go. Hands up. Check. Chicken no looky. Look at this oh, flop. Right. Virtual flopping. <laughs> That's strong. A flush. No Down with top pair. And the three bet pot. Who's on the mic? Is it Mike? Everyone. Oh, so all, Herschel yeah. double calling pre flop. Dan all, checking this one back. They all hear you say chicken no looking. Check, yeah. <laughs> and oh God, Herschel springing the trap We're again. Ladies here. Chicken, no Imagine looking. Dan's going to bet here. <laughs> he's going to get check raised. <laughs> or like Michael Jordan. <laughs> like, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> 75 hundo. <laughs> Could you imagine, Andy? It's a fucking job. It's a job, man. It's a fucking brutal job. 25. 25 thou. 25 thou. Make, make it five blood clots. 25 thou. <laughs> five blood clots. Five blood clots. Oh, wait, no, you started at, what time we started at? Three? Nine. 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 Nine.
But next week, 24 hours straight. You say yes? Everyone agrees. Not a big check raise for the size of the bet, but a big check raise in terms of Andy, okay? absolute you know dollars here. You know the game, right? One, two, four, one K empty. Dan knows that Herschel's up. No straddling all but he's been kind of okay. locking it up. But every hour we increase the This is a tough hand to get away from, especially when he like, checks back the flop. Like but I wonder if he's like to be putting the pieces you know, together yeah. here, and just figuring like, the Herschel's under bluffing in this specific two, scenario. Yeah. And a very solid fold from Dan. I just, I don't know why, but I feel like sometimes when we, when we like the do the eight point. or whatever, like it sense. actually makes the game tighter sure. because we're yeah. shallower or whatever. No, are, but it's like you increase the ante, like people, people like the juice is, it just forces no, juice, right? Because yeah. like originally we were talking about doing 500,000, but me and Ryan both kind of just thought like, we're gonna get like it's just not going to be as good. When? Next Friday. But no, we do one, two, four, Thank one K and two. I'm in. I'm in, I'm in. I'm in, buddy. Twenty-four pounds. <laughs> twenty-four hours. Probably should be a commentator, and he makes it twenty-four thousand. <laughs> Play magic for his chicken noises in my hand. Mr. Mabel, fold. Two thousand. No one home. No <laughs> ring. No one. <laughs> No one's answer. Wonderful. Jingle man. <laughs> Come to the table. See, 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 always miss one. Always miss one. Always miss one. Guys, guys. We come back, no more straddle. Fuck, he missed blind every time. No, but he Jingle said man. only one round of straddle, right? So. <laughs> Let Pepe. Let Pepe. Pepe check, check. Fuck, he missed blind every time. Tell him, Pepe. Jingle yeah. man. <laughs> Four, I think four we're all doing, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, four, four is never coming off. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I appreciate it, yeah. So if four comes sure off, Andy will literally have a heart attack and die. After <laughs> and, uh, okay. Make it 12 hundo. Make it one. What clock? Five. Foul. Oh, man. So... Pepe going to three bet here. Good name for him. He's been aggressive pre-flop. What about the green one? I call him Packers. Packer? I like Ducks. Alright, let's go. Two blood pumps. Heads up. Jungle. Okay. No phones on stage, buddy. <laughs> Middle barrier for Dan. Half pop for I Pepe. Dan's going to continue at least once. The one. But it's going to be really hard to find it because there's like a bunch of them. We've seen like a good diversity of numbers, but we haven't seen anything like. See, look, this is I like going one. one third here if you're Pepe. Could still get value from hands like seven x, eight nine, five six, diamonds, oh, backdoor spades. Yeah. Yeah. I I was just, I was you're gonna want to bet here for value with your overpairs. Six thousand. Nice size Give from Pepe boxes, here on the turn. Serialize all the chips. Yeah, just using the size. IRS. We don't really want to go big here either when we do have a full Who house or a ten. Government into the game? <laughs> Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. <laughs> well, look at this. Dan going to turn his hand into a bluff. Make it 30,000. And if Dan's going to run this, he's going to have to run it. You got to tell somebody twice. No, no, they don't. You got to tell them twice that you got it. Check raise the turn. Follow up on the river. See, there's a quick call from Pepe. Pot 80,000. And if Dan jams this river, he gets it through every single time. Those are the first chips they ever serialized. And they were going to, they were, I'll tell you after It just looks so strong. It looks like Dan always has a 10. Pepe with just over a pot size bet behind. And if he wants to get jacks, queens, kings, aces, hands like that to fold here, he's got to apply all the pressure. Oh, and he does just give up. Wow. I was going to say, if Dan makes this move, I really feel like he's played excellently tonight. So, uh, I like the check raise on the turn, but you've got to follow it up. And look at this. Pepe going to go for some thin value here on the river once everything bricks. 
So Dan sniffs out on the turn that he's behind, but just can't follow up on the river. I think it's a really good spot. For some reason, they just always represent that you have a 10. And I think even Pepe here can get away from a hand like Jacks, Queens, Kings on this particular river. People just don't check raise the turn all that often as a bluff. And even if players can't verbalize that or know why subconsciously, the check raise turn jam river line is just so, so strong. And I think even if you run into a 10 occasionally here, you just get all the overpairs to fold at a high frequency. So I would love to see Dan just stick it in here, but I wonder what Pepe's thinking. Bet. How much you? 35. This is a really good bet from Pepe. Pepe's played this hand excellently. He liked the size on the turn, induced the check raise. Now goes for some thin value on the river after everything bricks. And Dan's in a little bit of a pickle here because, well, 8 9 bricks, diamonds brick, spades brick, and he knows Pepe's aggressive pre flop. Oh, he's actually thinking about calling here. Dan turned his hand into a bluff on the turn. Now he's thinking about utilizing it once again as a bluff catcher on the river. Interesting hand. And if you're Dan here, you're just thinking, well, does Pepe actually go for value with an overpair here, or does he just check it back? And this is why he pays him off, because he's not sure that Pepe's capable of going thin here. And Pepe just, Pepe played this hand excellently. Are we? And he seems confused that he won. I think you have a queen of king of places. I think he would be What the fuck? Relax. Push my head. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pepe. Long time no eat. You, yeah, bro. Fuck. You win a puck today. Yeah, fuck. Later, later, I'll give you a bitch. Fuck her. Oh, Pepe's back. Yeah. No. Oh, later, later. Later back? No, I'll give you a bitch. Fuck her. Oh, okay, okay. I lose. Total. Later. <laughs> later. 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 Yeah. How much? 100. 100? Yeah. All right, 100. Thanks, puppy. When you say 35 town, <laughs> people call 35 town. No, he said 35 town when you bet it, but he didn't say call. Yeah. But he called, he called 35 town. <laughs> Pinch him, Magic. Come on, Magic. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's okay, though. No, 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 no. It's uh, uh, dead. 100% oh, right? not trying to stall right here. No, I know. It's all good. He literally oh, thinks he lost. Yeah. <laughs> no. Am I? Brian yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless he's an evil genius, no, which right. I don't think yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Tempe's not malicious yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they have a 10, 10 high. Somebody's just clicking buttons and praying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of hurt, Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> you here yeah. in the middle. <laughs> no way. I'll give you a change, bro. I'll give you a change. Appreciate it. <laughs> How much? 3500 No. No, it's my little chip. Don't change. <laughs> Call. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, don't give me your unlucky ass change. Don't look at me. I'm winning. You're losing. How can I be unlucky? I'm not looking. Oh, you're winning now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
hundred. That means only stuck a hundred. He's like, yeah, I'm winning. That's Fucking needling himself. Did he make change? Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. Nice, and Pepe, El Pepe. Thank you. Bye, Hundo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 25 thou from ours. Bro, I thought he was gonna get a thou. Oh. Actions on you, he just did. part of the add on train. Yeah, I know. Look at me and you only didn't want to add on. I don't need to add on. Nick, I fool. Yeah, I made up my add on last week. I told you about it. I'll give you a change, buddy. You give him a chance there. Yeah. I have it, I have it. No relay. I have it, I have it. Pepe, you should have told Thank Dan. You. you call, you win. I told him, he called, he win, but now I have it. <laughs> Two, four. What did he say at the end? I just want to make sure I heard it correctly. He said he's got a lot of heart. Is that what he said? Who? Pepe at the end. When? When he said you should. So you don't remember what happened three seconds ago? No. It's crazy. Yeah. Just for eight. <laughs> I honestly don't know what you said. You, 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 said. you literally were like, Pepe, moment, yeah. you should say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. if you call, you win. Right? Yeah, he said, he said you call, you win. That's what he said. Oh, that's what he said. Yeah. Okay. So I, <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. It's all good. No. All right. Easy money for Dan. Yeah. Needles are relentless right there. Well, that was easy money, wasn't it? That was. The more button? Yeah, yeah, button good. Right. After you lost the 100k pot, the 4k one was easy, right? It was more than 100, it was like uh, 140. Yeah, I usually had downsize and upgrade, <laughs> like most people, you know? I just want to be accurate. If he raised yeah. 30,000 in a flop. 30,000? 30,000. <laughs> Snap call. Snap call. <laughs> Call 30. Ah, well, hundo. 65. <laughs> you said 65? Home. 65. Somebody raised 65? One blood clot. He's in for one blood clot. Nick! Oh, man. No one. You call me, I block from, I block from my right, you call me that, but and now I pay a roll, but. If there's anyone I want to give it to, it's going to be you. Nice, you know, give a chance to get it back. You go all in the river, I fall. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I call, I call. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good, good chance for you, good chance for you. You go all in, I'm, I'm, I call, bro. I don't have much left, but. Yeah. Sorry. I was in La La Land, you caught me. Yeah. 14. 14 on the... <clears throat> oh my god, Andy, I win one, one hand. Oh, Andy's playing? Andy! Andy, Andy, Andy. Very good. Check it good. Okay. Check. Give me all, Wally. Oh. Thousand? Look at that dinner right there. There's Nick Fertucci. 
Cohen or Hustler Casino Live. Most dealers wouldn't explain the second part that you just did. One case trial is on. You're like, I'm, I does this, right? <laughs> How long have you been uh, stream dealing? Five years. One K is on. Four. Make it four thou. Here comes a squeeze from Jimmy. Dan has been flatting a lot of these suited broadways to EP opens. And now he's in a pretty precarious spot. But Jimmy's three bet a few times tonight, but he's always had the goods. The problem with Dan's hand is he's very easily dominated by the range that Jimmy's going to be three betting here. Good fold. I mean, that's true. Nice. I need some of my hands, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Herschel now with Pocket Kings. Five. Make it five foul. And this hand uh, only the 400 saw, and the 800 isn't on. Dan with not a great hand here, especially from under the gun, but they are deep. And when you're deep, you have a much bigger edge when you're in position. So Dan is going to make a light call here with the positional advantage and knowing that stacks are quite deep. And look at that sweet baby there. That's bottom two pair for Dan. It is seven. Those are rolls big here. 70% pot. Okay. Like Thank what this bet does is guarantees you get called by better and guarantees that worse folds. Dan with just a call. A triple Broadway board. Oh, and the gin card for Herschel. Check. And now he checks. Flush does come in. Dan, of course, could have a sex of spades. But he just checks it back with two pair. Dan going to need a jack or a ten. And another spade. And this one may just go check, check. Check. I don't worry about that, though. Too good. Good job. Dan not been running the best in the last few orbits. Look at those brand new chips here at Hustler. Yeah, beautiful 25K, that's nice. Never had one of those. I'd like to taste it. See what it smells like. In a few of those beautiful 25Ks. See if you can lick the brand new paint off them. Jimmy with Ace King again. And Dan also with Ace King. Just calls, closing the action here, which is understandable. He'd certainly be three betting from the small blind or the middle blind. But when you're closing the action, don't have too much incentive to load up the pot out of position, even with the hand this strong.
half pot from Jimmy, which seemed to be his MO, good hand, bad hand, anything in between. Okay, I'm gonna put the check raise. Blankets to the blanks. Imagine Dan's going to keep going for value here. Bet and a quick call from Jimmy. Another blank on the river. One concept I've actually heard Charlie Wilmoth talk about, a fellow commentator here in ACL, is when you make a decision that swings to the passive side in one node, in the next node you should swing to the aggressive side. And what he means by that is Dan had a close decision pre-flop, probably mostly three bets, sometimes flats, but he swung to the passive side here with ace-king pre-flop. So then on the flop, when he flops top pair, top kicker, now he can swing to the aggressive side because he hasn't bloated up this pot. He has a hand that wants to play for three streets. It's comfortable playing for all the money here. 59,000. And because he kept the pot so small pre, his hand definitely wants to start piling any more money post. Jimmy doesn't even love it. The Ace King. Moves in for an extra 9K on top. Quick call from Dan. And just another 10K here. That's 15. That's not doing any. Yeah, I bring in 59 right here. All right, he calls. We just have a king. Marshall and Andy still the big winners up each north of $100,000. Jimmy down 130K. Pepe making a nice little comeback. He was stuck over 100K earlier. Good to be back here Friday night, Hustler Casino Live. My favorite game to commentate. My name's Mark Goon. <clears throat> Took a break, been running my coach or poking and training business full time, focused on live poker. We take live poker players and give them a roadmap, a complete strategy guide for how to play live. 
how to win at the highest stakes. Both for players who are playing full-time and part-time weekend warriors as well. If you want to be elite, if you want to be the best player in your pool, check out Hungry Horse Poker. That's my company, my business. And I've done full-time my passion over the last couple of years. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. Hungry Horse Poker. Dan going to squeeze here. After Mars opens on the button, we're in the cutoff. Yes, Mars is going to put in a light four bet. How much do you start the hand with Mars? Like, uh, hold on. Oh, 80k. 80k. Dan. Really? <laughs> oh my god. I should have just called. Upset. <laughs> I have the bottom. Top set for jungle. He's gonna go small here. Change. Pepe gonna continue with middle pair. He's gonna need some help in the form of a running straight. Jungle Man has this one on lockdown. Like a small bet here. Keep the flush draws in. Keep the straight draws in. You want those cards to come along. You want them to make a hand on the river. And he does go just under half pot. And Pepe is going to oblige. He's going to continue. About 13K going to the river now. And that's going to kill any action the jungle man could have gotten here. Straight gets there, flush gets there, and unfortunately for Mr. Jungle, Pepe just has a nine.
I wonder why. I wonder, yeah. What do you mean you wonder why? I mean, in general. Three. Just a gut shot for Herschel here. No one else with anything though, so he's gonna take it down. Look at that cutie. That being said, people don't like watching quiet games. Huh? People don't like watching. I actually saw Nick this morning. Went to the. Is that what you were saying? That it's gotten quiet. Nick Fertucci's studio to film else? some content this quiet. morning. Yeah. I mean, it's good, a good time for a normal game, but for televised games, people don't like watching that, and that's part of the show, right? Well, that's why I keep trying to put on a show. Bring out the show. Yeah. Show them the what you. Um, Show them a new show, I don't know, something like that. Show stuff. I like when he's not putting on the show. Because I think he's an interesting person. We got Andy Stacks. We got my boy. We got the jungle. Well, I think kind of the forced act is a little bit much at times, but. I'm gonna fuck you up, He's a smart dude. He has some I, I, really cool I, insights, and I like yeah, actually I'm hearing this. I'm gonna fuck him up too. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck him up too. Jack. But I just feel like it, I feel a little worse because I know you're on downswing. You know what I mean? This jungle man thinking about getting out of line here with just the naked ace of diamonds. He is. Big check race. G Rec, I appreciate that. Andy in a precarious spot because Jimmy called next to act here when Andy see that, and then Jungle Man check raises. He knows Jungle Man's out of line, but he's got to overlay that he's beating both of these guys here in this spot. So a tricky spot for Andy to proceed. He does make a fold, and if you're wondering why he folds, the multi-way nature of this spot makes it very precarious for him. He's got to worry about Jimmy having a really strong hand when he flats next to act. No way Andy folds heads up in that spot. And now somehow Jungleman has the best hand. Bet here for Jungle Man doesn't leave much behind if Jimmy does call here. So I wonder if Jungle Man's just planning to fire big here on the turn and then give up the river just because there's 
almost nothing behind if Jimmy calls his bet relative to the size of the pot. And Jimmy just folds. See the river. I told you. I fucking say how it is. I'll get you one. I'll get you one next it's not time. Fair, man. Ruthless Raz. What did, what did, it, what did you say it had in it? Cognizant? Huh? What was the ingredient in it that you read off? Cognizant or something like that? Cognizant, yeah. yeah. For the super brain shit. <laughs> I'm wired. You might need them. Yeah, I need something. Yeah, get some super brain shit going on. Ruthlessness and super brainness. That's a deadly combination. A deep meeting of the Knicks. Some jungle and his friends. Check. Top, almost top for Dan. I'll let you live this time. Sandy, you gotta get ruthless. I almost did in that one. But huh? Didn't feel that one. I almost did in that last one. What do you mean? I didn't want to call you there, but uh, the last one. I almost got fierce. What'd you have? Good hand. But I actually thought he was slow playing. <laughs> you thought he was slow playing? Yeah, I thought I was gonna call. He was gonna fucking shit there. I thought he was slow playing. Four. Four. <clears throat> there you go. So I talk about the power of someone calling next to act. It just kind of handcuffed Andy in that spot with pocket tens. What do the other hand? Me? Yeah. Um, spice. Hmm? Spice. I thought you had. Pepper just opened ten x with aces. Okay, I thought you had. I thought you had good one for some reason. Which flush drop? Diamond call. Yeah, I know that, but like, which one? I had the ace of diamonds. I had queen three. Oh. Oh, so you had a, you were on a diamond draw too? Well, no, I had a, I was on a diamond bluff draw, so I'm happy I didn't get there. Oh. A diamond bluff draw. How long have you been a stream But like, it was harder to call a turn without without diamonds because I had the ace of diamonds. Four-way limp pot. Check. Check Jimmy Betts, Jungle Calls. Check, check. Two pair now for Jimmy. Easy fold for Jungle Man. Flush gets there. Finally. Yeah. Straight draws get there. Hard to be bluffing. I want to see you on some Rufus Raz, raspberries. <laughs> you want to see me on some what? Well, either of you, actually. Let's get the whole table off of Rufus Raz. No, not the whole round, table. Round no, I can't. I, some of them already have enough energy, man. <laughs> huh? Seven, 
But that would be interesting to see what would happen if everyone just chugged a net, like massive energy drink and played. Yeah. yeah. Now let's do a 20k flip before the show. That's why I got it, you know, because I just knew I was gonna play like six style. <laughs> Working Clown says, do a 100K giveaway, Goon. I, I've, I've given away 100K twice already on this stream. If I give away 100K every time I commentate, I'm not going to have any money left. Poker Junkie 83 says, what brand is Pepe wearing? He's wearing Nurble Nubbers. Nurble Nubbers, it's a Norwegian brand. Really big over there. Hasn't quite caught on in America yet, but I think a lot of the youths in Northern Europe are wearing Nurble Nubbers. Food, food. It was good. Did I miss anything? Doesn't look like it. Uh, no, you missed nothing. You guys paused? We waited for you. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> it wasn't for you, it was for us. <laughs> I, think, I feel like it's time for a round of straddles, unless somebody uh, ejects. I'm just gonna let you know I was planning on stepping away prior to that statement, so I'm gonna be out for this round. Midnight we'll Madness. Is, back. But when I get back, how I'm much do the dealers okay. make here a night, we'll roughly? Right. Well, we I'd say anywhere it. between yeah, seventy-five to fact, if you want to still ninety thousand. We'll wait for you, buddy. Appreciate it, sir. I was just honestly waiting for you to get back. I understand. Yeah. So you're objecting, basically. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Fifteen. You want any more while I was gone? Huh? No. No. <laughs> also, you've been hot too, uh, in general. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. It works? No. No, no. Pepe now with second pair and the flush draw to go along with it. Ducks it back, which I like. No reason to turn second pair into a bluff. We got showdown value. And we check back and realize. Thank you. 
他们打多大在那边？十一百。十二个，对不对？五十一百。Uh -huh. I'm, I'm the four. We should play short anyway. Little while. Sorry. No, that's my fault. Pepe, you like the new chips? Yeah? More than the old ones? Check. You like the red ones? Yeah. Not the green. Five hundred. Five hundred. These are good too. He can't help himself. Twenty-five. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm just stepping away from the table. Oh, can you give me up, please? Thank you. I can't, like, say that everyone, let's wear your glasses and then take mine off, you know? I think I'm bought in. You want a pair? You can't see, though, right? Yeah. Thank you. I could probably survive, but... I'd rather be able to see. It's not worth it, because yeah. the squinting can cause a headache. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Out. Just go out. It's fine. Squinting's one of the biggest causes of malaria. Oh, well, he's back. He'll buy it next time. Mar squeezes. Yeah, I just think it's likely that these two just are friends and probably just don't have action against each other. That's the vibe I'm picking up. I missed my, my middle blind. Oh. I missed my big blind. What's everyone's three digit security code for their credit card? Look at that. Baby Billy in the chat says 100%. This commentator is naked right now. But the good thing is, nobody could tell if I was. I like how it's DGAF poker player. I like how he added the poker player on, because we didn't know he was a poker player. If it was just DGAF poker or DGAF, we wouldn't know who it was. We need the player on the end. $800 straddle back on. Josh Macchiello in the chat. Look at this. 
the heavy hitters are coming out late at night here on Friday in Los Angeles. We're coming to you live from Hustler Casino Live, eight miles under the Pacific Ocean. Pepe floated the swap with eight high. He did turn the back door straight draw. He knew that was coming. Well, something happened pre-flop, and now we're going to go to the flop. I'm going to guess the jungle man raised this up. And he was called by Dan, Pepe, and Jimmy. That's just my guess. Both Dan and Pepe with the straight. Look at that sweet baby there. A dynamite river card. Yeah, it's weird. We couldn't have asked for a more action river card if we tried. We can't, at least it's not a total film in the bike. They made them worse. Yeah, yeah. It's like, they got all these chips. Dude, the bike? New chips are so bad. I don't know what they were thinking. That was some cost cutting. Look at that snappity snap. It's straight. We'll chop it. Baby Billy says, are oh, they playing the quiet game? I like the quiet game. It gives everybody a little more room to hear Mark Goon's luxurious voice. I think his voice is luxurious. It sounds like a 1972 Datsun. with the mirrors, you know the little mirrors? The mirrors aren't even attached to the body. They're attached to the, those little front windows. Remember when cars used to have front windows? The way Jungle says his name is different than how most people say it. How do you say his name? How do you say it? Uh, Harshel. <laughs> isn't Harsh it just like Harshel? Isn't it just like Herschel? Herschel. 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 It doesn't like look like Herschel. It could be Harciel. 
I mean, I wanted to, to check out a couple things also and say hi to some friends. Douglas Morris says, how old are you, well, Mark? You remember it. running boards and hand cranks. Andy. That's true. And I gotta fuck up. I'm 46. I Nick. True. I gotta get that, get Nicasso out and back in business. That's right. Cold. Uh, I know, I know calling here is a mistake. Nice bluff. Mm. Is it? I'm gonna raise you though. I'm gonna raise your ass. You could have, but it's not advised on that one. What's that? Not advised on that board. <laughs> not advised? That doesn't mean I can't. Yeah, you could. You could. I could. I could, don't doubt it, dog. You have it, you have pocket, I think you had pocket sixes. No? No sixes. What do you have? Ten I like how he's so shocked he didn't have sixes. <laughs> no? <laughs> no sixes, Andy? <laughs> what? That's the only hand that makes sense. <laughs> nothing else can nothing make else, sense nothing, there. Nothing else between. Jack seven suited, no chance. But sixes, 100%. <laughs> It just felt like, like two sixes, man. <laughs> it just felt like two sixes, man. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, man. Look at this, guys. Bart so Hansen like from Crush Live Poker in the chat. <laughs> Tell you what, the like, first person in the chat. No helping. If you guys could guess which muscle Bart Hansen has had augmented on his body, which area of his body has Bart had plastic surgery? Who could be the first to guess? I'm not going to give away 100,000 because I've already be done that twice. Sixes. But I'd like to see who can, who can could guess be two sixes, guys. where Bart has had the plastic surgery. He's open about it. He'll tell you. He's betting six to try to get value from six. I'm going to let him bluff. I'll bluff him bluff on my sixes. You bluff me? I don't think so. I <laughs> <laughs> don't think so? I think I had the best hand. What do you have? Top pair. Yeah, you had the best hand. Yeah. I had I had two sixes. Yeah. Did you really? No, I didn't. I had one of these sense cards. That would have been awesome. I played it like two sixes. <laughs> <laughs> I played exactly like two sixes. <laughs> Remember, guys, Bart's really giving away 2.5% really like times four <laughs> for Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> I could. I guess it would have been spicy as hell. I mean, Raising the River is like real gangster. That's like a street play right there. Raising the River would have been really brave. Sign up to get 2.5% of Bart. Last time he played, he won 22K, so you could win some from Bart and his immaculate calves. The answer is calves. Huh? Me too. Who was first? I'm actually very tired. Moronto T33 got it first. It is Cavs. Bart, can you post a link? I don't have the link. There's a link somewhere where you can sign up to get 2.5% of Bart as a free roll next time he plays on Thirsty Thursday. I don't have the link offhand, but Bart can post it. You guys can sign up. Thank you. 
Jimmy with the king of diamonds here. And Dan with middle set. We could see a big one. Oh man, gotta float. And Dan just gonna call with a little set. After Jimmy leads, and look at that sweet baby there, Dan makes two pair. Jimmy gonna keep firing with that king of diamonds. If you're Dan here, you may think that Jimmy has a flush after he leads into three other people, four ways on the flop, and then follows it up on this turn. With another big bet. So if you're wondering why Dan is going for the raise here, it looks like Jimmy has a flush a lot of the time when he leads and then follows it up on the turn after getting called in two spots. So Dan just going for gold here. Thinking it's going to be very unlikely that Jimmy's bluffing. That's why I love this check race size as he essentially puts in two thirds of Jimmy's stack, but I'm wondering why he's going for the check raise. Gotta go all in or? He thinks Jimmy has a flush. And it looks silly when Dan raises when he has quads there and Jimmy ends up having nothing. But if you think about it, if you put the pieces together, Jimmy led on the flop. First of all, Jimmy's been maybe the most passive player at the table all night. He leads on the flop into a four-way pot, gets called in two spots, and then leads on the turn. These guys are uh, yeah. killing me. The reason Dan They're just so called the flop is because he thought Jimmy might have a flush there. Yeah. And so he carries that logic through on the turn. Jacket's coming off, guys. I he thinks Jimmy's obviously me. never folding the flush, and so he check raises on the turn when he makes quads. And it looks really bad pressure, in this so specific no scenario when Jimmy ends up just having a bluff. But by the boringness of these people. If you're wondering the reason behind it, that's it. The quietness. Ooh. I definitely feel that. Here comes a cold four bet from Dan. And airball here, got to suspect when he opens under the gun. Okay, Jungle Man could be getting out of the line. He has been getting out of the line all night. But Dan, probably not getting out of the line this spot. He's super, super deep. He cold four bet after airball opened under the gun. Not really incentivized to play a huge pot out of position against either Airball or Jungle Man this deep. And you got to just kind of give Dan credit for having a pretty good hand here. And King Jack doesn't really beat any of the hands that Dan would cold four bet. There's not really any bluffs here. It's just kind of be a linear range of maybe Ace Jack suited plus, King Queen suited plus, Pocket Tens plus, Pocket Jacks plus. And against that range, you're just not doing well at all with a hand like King Jack of Diamonds. And a good fold from Airball. Can you do a minute? 
Yeah. Alright, Brandy, you just I'm sure gonna check this back. Checks the pepper wins. All the fucking five ten players are watching the hand replay for Jungle Bluff me see if I to see if I call. <laughs> <laughs> they were all just like looking over there like that. Uh, what did they say? I don't know, they're watching as well. Right. What did you have that hand? Two times. I bet it's your button. Hey, um, it's time for a round of straddle, actually. <laughs> it is. I mean, oh. it's on as soon as this guy gets back. Did I miss anything? Paul. He put him all in, or essentially put him all in, and he tag folded. But it wasn't like that big of a pot. Like he bet 10K, and he made it 50, and he folded. Juggle Man just been isoing ridiculous hands all night, even out of position. That's about it. Quick call from Pepe. That's about it. Nothing too interesting. If you take a nap after, you're doing shit, right? Well, I kind of want to take a nap, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you just finished your coffee. Yeah. Oh, you're from, you're, you're an investment banker, right? You guys drink coffee like it's warm. Coffee doesn't like coffee. It's more like the idea of it, but not the actual thing. Like, yeah. It's probably going to raise here with pocket threes. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, did Juggle just float the deuce four of diamonds out of position? How was your break? Huh? He did. It was all right. Yeah. Goes check check and Juggle's going to win this hand. I hope you didn't announce you're going to the bathroom prior to that because that would have been a rude question to ask. <laughs> there was a comment I read on Wednesday stream where it was like Nick took a break and like, Airball must be taking the biggest dump ever. I was like, <laughs> Are you, like, what makes you draw that conclusion? It's such a weird thing to say. had a good read. You had a good read, sorry. <laughs> Bet and fold. Jungle floats I'm like a fish when it comes with to four track, high out of position on, on the flop and wins no. the hand. That's pretty I no good. You I know That's a good like, one. How do the icons in front of people's names like signify things about them? Because they're different colors, right? I think like you can pay like a, a monthly amount, like I think it's like five or ten dollars, okay. and then you're like green or blue or something. Yeah, I just saw a bunch of colors. I and didn't then know like, what they meant. oh, um, I have to just kind of gotta get them. I see Saya. Oh, 
Yeah. Circle man just running over the table at this um, point. All right, now let's run a track. Oh, I'm about to leave for a second. Are you serious? Yeah. You guys can start. You definitely Nick Noballs today. <laughs> oh, you're right, Jungle. Busted. Aren't, don't you have like 200k at the table? What the fuck? What's your point, Jungle? It's, yeah, it's 200k of my money, not my backer's money. So you shouldn't talk. And I'll do with it as I please. And shots fired. <laughs> Andy, what if you could do that? You could just be like, I decrease their bet. You like, there should be some way you can get like a discount and pay a penalty. Like how, how cool would that be? You could just like, like right now, Pepe's like, I want to call for 2,500. Everybody should get one per, per team. You get to undo someone's card. Can you do it? Can you do it at any point in the hand? All right, so we're gonna go three ways. I thought I really had three that pot. Top top for Dan. Middle pair and a gutter for Pepe. And second best pair and a gut shot for airball. So everybody with a little bit of everything. Pepe just gets away from it right there. After a bet and a call. This one's just gonna go check check. And on a clean river, we'll see if Dan will go for value. It's a clean river. Like a block bet here. Not many bluffs when he calls next act on the flop. You don't really want to face a big bet if you have ace jack here from airball. I do like going for the block. Targeting hands like nines, tens, worst jack X. Maybe 10K here. Then goes 16, which is a little bigger than I like. The reasoning is the flush gets there, the straight's already there. He called next to act on the flop. Even a hand like 5 6 gets there. It's just hard to be bluffing here if you're Dan. And you're also targeting a relatively weak range of hands like 9s, 10s, 8x, worst jack x. And you see airball just folds 10s. The sizing just a little bit too big on that river considering that Dan's not going to have many bluffs or many perceived bluffs that Airball can put him on. And that's more important than the actual bluffs you have. Do you have a lot of perceived bluffs here? It's going back to that classic golf on principle, which is in a spot where you're perceived to be bluffing a lot, you go bigger with value. And in a spot where you're perceived to have a lot of value bets, then you go smaller with value because you're not perceived to have a lot of bluffs. In that particular spot, Dan's just perceived to have a lot of value. So sizing down makes a bit of sense there. Check. 
Perfect. Harsh is still the big winner tonight. Andy right behind him, both up about 100K. Jimmy down 164K. Rough night for him. Everybody else somewhere in between. Maju, what's on? 8.05. When you play the main event, did you have chips every day? Because it's healthy stack? Or you were like almost on the brink of busting like a couple times? Or Jimmy and Jungle Man lead in the didn't go by day because it's such a deep structure. The levels are long. Yeah. So. I definitely had a few crazy spots. On day three, I was all in uh, with about 90 big blinds each against this maniac on the table, and I had aces. He had kings pretty. Love tournament bad beat stories. On, his bud. You had comes, aces and he had kings? Yeah, he, he just comes king on the window card, and then I spiked the ace on the river. Oh, that's yeah. oh, better. Better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a tournament bad beat story, which I love. It was just like so a couple times where kids are my out. favorite. Consistent uphill. I mean, day five I got cooler for like infinite, and I just I, I had the second nut flush, and he had the nut flush. I, at one point I got down to like three blinds, and I just three had to blinds. grind. It. Yeah, I had to grind it. Like end of day six, like yeah. there's two levels left. Day six, and I was just had, after that cooler, I just had like 11 big blinds. Yeah. Okay. But the ICM implications were just crazy. So. Yeah. Yeah, first I ever gone was uh, day, late day five. For the, uh, nice. What year was that? Usually I bust on day one. Okay. This year I busted maybe 30 minutes after dinner break on day one. 2019, you said? Uh, 18. I've made it past 18, day one yeah. once. Because 19, I think it was, it was yeah, like online, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check. Check it in the bar. Check. Check. Three ways. Check. Check. Check it good. I checked. Where's your asking? Check. Check to you, Andy. All right, who wins? Check around. The ace wins. Andy, you got question? 245. Odin's good, Magic. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, that's the dirty one. Not the one, though. Not the one, neither you or I. Yeah. Do you have anything, though? I don't care. All right, you want to start a round, Jungle? Yeah. All right, let's, let's straddle. It. Let's do it. Yeah, Nikki. Yeah. 800 is on. Raise. 800 straddles on. Jungle Man has ace king. All right, where were we? Did I miss anything? What a scam this straddle is. Let's cancel the round. Jay Boogie says, What kind of shades is Herschel wearing? Those are nuptial shades. Nuptial, N-U-P-T-I-A-L. 
Ace. Actually a Bulgarian designer. Legit hands. Legit Nebby Nuptial. He goes by Nebby Nups. Makes some of the best shades. You might play it like 20 more times in your lifetime, and you might never ever get close, like that close again. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's sick. You There's one that guy that I folded cleans to pre-flop above the rim fold, which yeah, you never do, right? Yeah. And uh, he'd gone 48 the year before, and he got like 42nd this year, yeah. which is pretty that's, sick. That's yeah. Astronomically. I mean, I was going to end his run at like 150th with Queens there, but yeah. I didn't, and he had ace jack off. Wow. Yeah, it's... I mean, he just lost his mind, didn't play a hand for like two hours, and then just like shipped like 95% of his stack <laughs> with ace jack off suit. I don't think I've ever folded them before either. That was crazy. You ever fold kings or queens? All you can eat. Queens in a tournament for that <sighs> amount. That's not oh, After well, putting okay. in a four bet. No, that's retarded. I mean, it's look at this. Mars wakes up with tens right. after Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. Like Jams said, with ace king. But thanks for letting me know how you really feel about it. I mean, there's some situations, but they're very rare. I like how you're like educated, and you're like, I don't know the frequency of that fold and how rare it should be. Huh? What's that? Very rare. It's like once in a blue moon. Yeah. I probably will never see that spot in my life because I don't play as much as you. It's not very what's useful. Of, I have a question. I didn't get to ask you. What's the most amount of tables you played in your prime right. as well? Most amount of what? Tables you played online. I probably played like. Mars is all you can do. Mars is going to move in with tens. I didn't really do it too much. I could have done it. I mean, it destroys your attention span, so. So I think the 1600 was on this hand, so. Jimmy essentially playing 30 big blinds here. Putting Pepe in the blender. Gumbo. Gumbo, Gumbo, Gumbo. I like Gumbo. I like flip. Not really a flip for you, Pepe. Gonna need some help. Pepe wants to gamble. Neither Jimmy or Mars like seeing that. Of course, they want him to call, but the reason they don't like seeing that is because, I don't know, Mars can't really make a set. And Jimmy has less outs to make top hit. Ah, sorry guys, I like flip. Oh my God. Yo, take your time, man. Big hit. Pepe makes a huge fold. Ah. Oh, yeah. How many times? Twice? Two times? Pick up. Mm -hmm. Twice is good for me. You guys are showing the hands? Two times. Ready? You want to show? Um, yeah, it's both of them. Yeah. Just go. Just go. All right, two times. Let's go. Mm. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> what about a good flop from Mr. Pepe? Ah, Look at that belly button. Just jack of spades. Just yeah. one time. No. Magic. Don't put a jack, bro. Oh. 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 Aces. 
Oké, okay. doet voor. Goed flap. This run out's going very slowly. Those are interesting sound effects. Nick, this is flap. Miss flash. Mars wins the first. Mars in good shape to scoop. Come on, bro. I put space on the table. Jimmy's had a nightmare night. Will it continue? He'll be down over 200K if he loses his spot. And Mars takes it. Button's good. Almost cool, for sure. Jimmy? Oh, shit, I've been calling you Danny all Are you sure I told me? Nick, Nick, I was cool. For sure. Wow, and no one is correcting you? Yeah, no one's correcting me. I kept calling you Danny. Oh, man. Now you know how much everyone likes you. Give me a round, Bob. I thought I heard you wrong, and I was like, nah, there's no way I'm going to miss I literally, I called you Danny all day. Yeah. He didn't say anything to you, right? Probably I called the space. Jimmy loses 225K on the night. Not the best night for him. Mars! <laughs> sexy, sexy. Oh, it's nice to scoop there, right? Yeah. What? Uh, eight. Okay, but especially when he's showing hit 10. Ah. 22. I lose, I lose. You lose, yeah. You lose everything. Not everything. No, I mean both boards. That's what I meant to say. Not, Not your whole money. Yeah, only 100k. Not even 200k. 100k. Let's go. Hands up. The first block is safe. Space, space. Two down. Two down. Okay, I'm going to see that. Andy got a float with just King High. Not sure what the plan is here out of position. Let's have a couple of back doors. That turn won't do it for him. Full spot for Dan here. This card kind of smacks Andy's range. He does just chuck it back. He's going to induce a bluff on this river. And he kind of has to bluff if he floats this flop with King High. Well, imagine that Dan is very capped here when he chucks back this turn on the wet turn. I think he just go really, really big here. You get everything to fold, but Andy goes two-thirds pot. Dan makes a quick call. Dan wins. Good check back on the turn there. Look at that. large. That is called a cheek massage. Do you need your cheeks massaged? Come to Hustler. Your cheeks will be rubbed good. What? Is that a raise or what is that? Shroud. You're the one who suggested the shroud around jungle. <laughs> Six
Andy with Kings. Blind versus blind here. Already a big pot brewing with the straddle on. And look at this jungle man flops top pair. This is gonna get ugly for him. So the $800 straddles on. Three bet pop blind versus blind, and Jungle Man flops top pair. It's gonna be a wide configuration here. Check call from Jungle Man. Pot already 54,000 going to the turn, and these guys start the hand deep. About 175K. Five hearts on the turn. Seven eight does get there, but still very clean value bet for Kings here. And big bet for Andy. Thirty-five thousand. Jungle Man calls here. SPR is going to be less than one going to this river. He makes the call. Oh. We could see a monster pot here. 124K already in there going to the river. 112K effective behind. River is an eight. Brings out a one liner to a seven. Jack 10 does get there. This may slow things down. Wouldn't be surprised to see Andy consider a check back here already in this massively bloated pot. A good run out for Jungle Man in that he may not face a bet here, and if he does face a bet, he may be able to get away from it. Andy trying to figure out if he can go for value here. And he is, he is gonna go for value. There we go, just under half pot. If you're Jungle Man, you gotta kinda think, what do I beat here? Jack 10 gets there, seven, eight gets there. What the fuck do you have? A set? Oh, really? nine, what? Yes, it was straight somehow? I don't know what the fuck you have. I, I am not of the belief that you bet aces here. Talk about not thinking that Andy would go what? thinly here. I don't really think you're bluffing too. What the fuck do you have? Maybe you have nines? That makes sense. Maybe you have... No, I don't think you have jack-10 suited. There's four combos of that. I don't know, I'm such a stupid station. I 
I don't think you have to upset. I'm calling bullshit on that. Uh, I think maybe you have a straight. You know, I thought you had it until this card. I mean, I do not believe that. I just don't think you fucking... Yo, what the fuck do you have, dude? What do you fucking have? You have five, six suits or something? Maybe you have do seven off suits. Worked out. Worked out. It doesn't feel like you're bluffing. It's really weird. All right, um... Spent way too much money at that store. Honestly, like it's so it, annoying. Like Intuition is correct. I thought it was a real high chance of buffing pre flop. It's incentivized. Have a straight some out. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, maybe have Jack 10, I guess. I don't know. What was the last time you went here? Really small size. Yeah. I guess you could walk. I don't know. Not just through through, like actually. This I don't know. What, what, what the fuck do you have? Like I do not think you have aces. There's big games there as well. well what, do you, what do you get the turn with? Maybe you have like King Jack or something? I don't know. Uh, I need a clock. It's like the biggest pot of the day. I don't understand what you have, man. You have like three. No. You don't Starting have three. Eight. What the fuck do you have? It doesn't feel like he's bluffing, though. Who called a clock? This is a big pot. He's bluffing. 70k, 120k, 125k in this pot. I don't understand your hand. You could have, like, jack 10 of hearts, I guess. I I think I think you maybe have it in some strange way, but I don't know what way that is. He's correct. His intuition is right. Uh, I think now. Do uh, uh, you have two nines? I don't think so. Maybe maybe two nines. That makes sense. Whatever, yeah. man. Take my money. Ball. Kings. Really? I have a king. You thought kings is. Okay, like I can like. Look at that, Andy goes super thin on the river and gets if that's paid a nice off. Bet. Like, why can't I have sevens, eights? Well, I mean, you did call with worse. <laughs> can't be that bad. A good it point for Andy. Actually, I don't know if that's a bet. Oh, and here's Andy. the real jungle man coming nice out. Bet. See, we lose the act and we get the real jungle man. I want more of this. Yeah, that probably means it's a horrible bet that I'm saying I mean, that. If it was horrible, say horrible, then what you're doing know. is the right thing, right? Because you're enforcing a good play. But I think you're doing that unknowingly. Oh, I think it was a good bet. I think he made a good bet. I, just, I, don't, I, I would, wasn't even watching the hand, so I don't, I don't want to comment on it. Or not. I'm just saying that when people make bad plays, I've seen other people reinforce that. I, I, I don't know if it's good or not. Two <laughs> Andy knows I'm. Being serious when it I might be good. I'm in hand. I know, I know you're being genuine, yeah. Forehand? You know you're being genuine. Yeah, right? That definitely surprises yeah. me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you made plays that they that, that <laughs> they are like, like these fucking idiots. No. To make, and then we just troll. Like, like, Forget about nice maybe. bet, nice hand. How about that? How about that? Definitely nice hand. Jungle on you, let's go. I reload for 100k. <laughs> Andy, you got a jungle rant. Wait. Check. Three tile. King Queen jungle? Bow, bow, bow. Well, I think Andy thinks it was a good call for him. He's still perplexed. He's bamboozled, befuddled, bewildered. A lot of words with a B. <laughs> you found it? Uh, I keep doing that. 
So, are you playing 100,000 behind? How is that working, John? 100,000 behind. Hundred, hundred. It's just the way he said it. He's like, I need hundred thousand. <laughs> if it's a good bet, if it's a good bet, it's a good bet. Let me know. Let me know what the verdict is, okay? When you figure it out. Whatever it is, we shouldn't be teaching on the poker table. Why? I don't. That was so funny. Twenty-five. Yeah, I don't agree with these days. Uh, I mean, there's just like stop. imagine how many resources out there. If someone wants to learn, they're gonna fucking learn. I got shit. They're not gonna learn by watching this. <laughs> 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 that's that's true. <laughs> that's you know the I mean? best comment. They'll get, they're not only not the learning, they'll get worse. Yeah. Much worse. It's comment of the I'm night, right I, there. I'm not even playing serious, <laughs> and all this other shit's going on. <laughs> you know. I was a sick bet, Andy. I don't, I'm not convinced it's a good bet. Well, considering Andy made 55 thou on the river, I think it was a good bet. I can have quite a few combos. I can have like three eights, I can have fucking sevens, I can have fucking nine and eight, I can have all those hands, I can maybe have jack 10, I can check Next raise. time you should have one of those. <laughs> I, have, uh, I love it. Combos King Queen. I love it. I Next love time it. I have one of those ones, Jungle. I mean, I, I raise bluff too, you know? Okay. 14 window. I don't know. It was, Anyways, if it's good, it's very good. Well, Stone down. jungle so hard he can't even breathe. Oh, I got, I got it. I got stacked by any stacks. <laughs> I like when jungle drops the act and he's just authentic. This is good stuff. And, you're behind, right? and I love the air ball needling. Check. Check. Slightly tanked on the river. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I might have let a. I think I might have let a straight. Like. Five down. Five down. One luck up. Pepe, good time for Ace King. He squeezes. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it would be nice. You know? Andy's going to come along. Because when you get those hands, you could lose too. Right? Andy with half a million on the table. You know what I'm saying, Matt? No complaints here. Is that the uh, Okay. Three ways. The chat thinks you're like a cooler dealer. Check. Like you de have you dealt some like insane hands? Is that why, Matt? Yeah. I have. No idea. One or two? <laughs> around. One or two around. One or two around? Yeah. <laughs> was there a game where it was like a five bet pot and someone flopped the straight plug? I don't know. Ryan? Yeah, that's Ryan if you know. Once Jungleman checks this, Andy bets, and then Pepe calls next to act. It's going to be tough to continue. Right right <laughs> That's Even if Andy has nothing here, Pepe is likely to have a hand that beats Ace Queen. Specifically, his hand looks like Ace King when he check calls this. A good right, fold from go. Jungle. I beg you remember a hand like that. I have never even seen that. I've heard you talk about it. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
Eater confirmed. Andy fires Eater. one more on the turn. Yeah. Pepe gets out of the way. Big night for Andy. Up over 200K now. If you guys looking to improve your game, check out Hungry Horse Poker. It's what I do full time. It's the only program, the only strategy program specifically designed for live poker with a complete strategy roadmap from preflop all the way through like, to the like river. He's a nice kid. Built out using mass data analysis and hundreds of hours of node locking, which gave me carpal tunnel. You want to be elite, you? you want to move up, oh, double, triple your win rate. Check out Hungry in, Horse what? Poker. Ow. Twitter, Instagram, HungryHorsePoker.com, YouTube. Was. We're everywhere. Those are the ones that make you not, Reach out if you're interested. not want to play poker. Check. Check. Check is good? Okay. Horse are going to check it back. Check. Good turn for Pepe. Check. Three. Three thousand. And now Herschel going to stab at it. Pepe with a quick check call. Glasses and then he stacks two with them. Oh, I, don't, I don't have them. They're on your head, buddy. I'm not even wearing them. Aren't those, aren't those the ones Joe gave you? No. So those are yours? No, mine. The ones that you gave me are too, 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 too small. <laughs> Ten. Two blood clocks. Ten thousand. Good call. What do you have? Eight high. Black. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You gotta, you gotta be right one out of 30 times, you know what I mean? Thank you. Snap. A snap? That was a snap. That was a snap, bro. Snap? Snap? Cool. Snap. Call. How much was it? Pepe, how much? Ten? Two blood clots. Oh, <laughs> I'm learning still. Ten? Da. A hundred? Da. Um? <laughs> no, we ain't bad. Good time, good time. Good, Pepe. Fifteen? Okay, fifteen and uh... Jungle, I'll let you have it this time. What were you gonna do? <laughs> we raise you. I wasn't gonna call. I had it. I fucking had it, man. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even agree with it there. Shit. That's crazy. I haven't, four, I haven't four bet many hands. I mean, if you had it, you were going with it, I guess. It would have worked if I didn't have it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but you had it, right? I mean, I Andy, you, you got that, right? You, you understand, Andy? Okay. It would have worked 15 if, if you didn't have it. For sure, would have. Sometimes it's you know what? easier to not have it, though. It's easier to put it in if you don't have it. <laughs> Right? 
so high up and under rep, but like you just look like you have fucking quads. Like I want to just throw my hand away looking at you. I wish this was an online hand where I didn't get to see your face and I just call. Like I'm just so high up and under rep that it's like, it's insane that I'm even debating folding. But you literally look like you have the world. This is a fun bluff. 10, ten this jack, jack's full. Now you get what my hand is when I'm calling those hands out. Call. He calls? Yes. He calls. Herschel makes the hero call. The that means it's a good bluff, right? That means it's a good bluff from Mars because that means you're getting flushes to fold. If he almost wants to fold a boat there, that means you're getting flushes to fold. You have a good poker face, Mars. It's a good bluff. I would have folded him. Welcome back, sir. Nice. <laughs> Where did you get your hoodie, by the way? Did you buy that at the St. Laurent store, the one you had on last week? Make it 26 out of him like he has a flush. I'm like so like on <laughs> Andy. It looks dope. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Actually, no, that, that's what it was given to me by um, I post friend. My post friend. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to find stuff like that from them, but when you do, it's so well made. Right? Like, it's very comfy, right? Yeah. 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 I checked, yeah. <laughs> how much? Why are you giving double seven, Lauren? Lauren, how much? 225. 225. Why should she give you double seven? I don't know. Back to back. Wow. It's a nice flop, right? Okay. On yeah. marker, though. Okay. Okay. Wait, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. Fight on the Okay, and then shoot, we go. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, you win, you win. I win, I win, I win. 
But this is high stakes. We thought you were doing it for like 100K, honestly. That's why I was like, you both aren't doing it at the same time. Lauren wins. The rear pack to my normal self. I was like, fuck. I we were both playing for Lauren. Right? Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, no, it's go, like, rock, paper, nice scissors, shoot. Play, right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So, oh, oh, it's oh. so easy. Lauren wins again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Wow, <laughs> Lauren wins again. <laughs> Lauren, I'm earning for you. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, okay, okay. Penalty, penalty. Okay, okay, fuck it. <laughs> rock, Check. paper, scissors, shoot. Rock. Paper, scissors, I'm shoot! To get back, Fuck! Right? Pay me, pay me. Lauren, oh, I need change. <laughs> Check. Fuck. Okay. Next card. That's so tough. Check. Yeah, I need 95. <laughs> okay, we're oh square, Lauren. Uh, <laughs> Check. You a jack? You have to show your hand, Jungle. Really? Okay. A new one. Okay, I think they trying to fill it out. Investigation. Yeah, investigation. That's a new one. Ah. I'm just passive, bro. What are you talking about? Ask the chat. Five thousand a week. Investigation for sure, right, bro? I'm out. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Me and him? Thank you. <laughs> Can we get any more zoomed in? I'm just a type player. Who objects to a round of straddle? That's the super zoom zoom. Let's wait till Nate gets back. Thirty-five. The last thirty minutes. Okay. Okay.
12. 12. Five. The doom zooms are prevalent. If you have raised, if I made a 15. See if we can get closer to his nipple. Um, what if that patch blocks the nipple? It's, an honest it's like a nipple there. patch. Pepe not going anywhere just yet. Herschel with top two. Two flush draws out there now. Front and back door. Check. Herschel checks. I don't really understand this. Assuming he's just scared of Ace King here. And now on this river, this may just okay. go check, check. And I what a waste the of checks. top two. Herschel certainly maybe a little bit on lockdown mode here. Seen monsters under the bed just a little bit there. Asleep review. I did say something about a node lock cash game solution. Hungry horse poker. Give me a hundred dollar check. You say that asleep review? Asleep review? Asleep review. I think that's how to say it. That's it. That's definitely it. Yes. What's everyone's favorite type of Tupperware? How's the massage juggle? Very good. It's a lot better than the poker game. Thank you. 
Folds top pair right here on the flat. Okay. 24 25. I mean, he makes oh. the correct fold, but okay. Double gutter now for airball. Is Airball thinking about getting spicy here? They are really deep. And he just calls. Three diamonds on the river. Randy with the ace of diamonds in his hand, wondering if he does go for pin value here. And Airball's gonna lead. He's gonna come out and lead. And I wonder what Andy's going to do here. All three options are on the table. Is he going to turn his hand into a bluff? It's looking like he's thinking about it. I don't love this size. I think if you're going to go for it, play for it all. Put a flush in an uncomfortable spot. I don't really know what that raise size accomplishes. If you fall in this pitch, you can say nothing back. You, can, you, you say it. <laughs> you could have even said it to me. You could have tried. Yeah. You would have got Mickey Angelo. I don't want Mickey Angelo to come out. Huh? I don't want Mickey Angelo to come I out. I thought you did want Mickey Angelo. I did, but then I realized uh, his voice is in my head. I can't get out of my head. <laughs> I don't want his voice in my head anymore. Mickey Angelo is in your head. I can't, I can't handle that. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> That bet getting a little wiggly here. And look at this. Cold four bet from Airball. With five four of diamonds. And somehow he's in horrible shape against Pepe's six deuce. So Pepe's just done with it. You took love? He got it. Random Hero says, I wonder if the commentator will read chat. No, I'm not going to read it. I've never read the chat before. Why would I do that? Huh? Back doors? Potential? No, I did not. You had a pair too? Huh? You, you had a pair too? No, I didn't have a fucking pair. I just, I just almost made a play and I'm realizing, wait a second, like I can't be this insane to make a play here. Six down. Well, there goes playing tight for Nick Airball in these last 30 oh, minutes. He's decided. Gross. I don't even know what I'm doing raising this hand if I'm folding in the spot. He just decided I'm going to pick on this guy because he's got it locked up, and Nick's right. It's like, the jungle cold calls behind. I, mean, I could have made a play. I was thinking, like, this blows too much. Imagine Airball's going to check here. The weak top pair. He does. Jungle just checks it back. Jungle turns some equity. Airball checks again, giving Jungle Man all the rope. Airball's hand just looks like nines or jacks or something like that. And look at that sweet baby there. Jungle Man makes the flushy flush on the river. 
The Nerball's just not going to give him credit here because he's going to figure that Jungle Man would bet his flush draws off on the turn, but Jungle Man actually had showdown value with the eight, so he just checked it back. Big bet incoming. I have a flush. A bet and a snap call. You want to hear something sick? I have a nine high flush here. It's called free flop, dude. Yeah. So that was maximum punishment. He like, makes the eight high flush. You'd never get away either. No, I wouldn't. You're damn right. You'd never get away. You're damn right. I'm fucking calling. And it's not going to be a $12,000 bet like you just bet there. I don't know what Nick had. But oh well, I'm happy know. with my play. Hindsight's 2020, right? Should be happy with your ace-7 play. Apparently that's pure, pure ponage, as the, as the kids say. Is that what they say? 1500 That's what they used to say, at least. I don't know what they say now. That's what I'm asking. I don't know if they say it. They used to. They, they spelled ownage with a P. Right, I think they did that. That was, that was ownage with a P, whatever, whatever that was. I knew it, I had 10. Good job, you pwned me. Next time call, call three of us with nine high flush, nine high suit. Nine what suit, nine five suited? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I, who, whose fault is this one? <laughs> I can't give away all my strategy, you know. I mean, you're educating the entire world right now. You know that, right? I know I am. That's why I got to stop talking. This is like one of the shittiest ways to learn. For really honest. Watching, uh, watching live streams Check. is one of the worst ways to work. If you're like a total beginner. They would learn like the standard thing. Like that would actually be kind of useful. It would be a hard way to learn poker though if you're not good at poker. Yeah, you want to Check. I remember when I was playing like 1-2 and I was watching on the internet and I felt like, what the fuck, everyone's playing like so bad. <laughs> It makes me think maybe I should check. Because I'm trying to market this shit. Maybe I should, like, you know, telling people to play a totally different way. It's still, like, real money. Everyone's playing, like, something. What? Oh, I just misread my hand. I thought I had queen nine. That's a very big gift right there. What, uh, huh? Queen nine. What the fuck? I was wondering how he called that river. That was a huge mistake. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollar mistake misreading my hand. That I thought might be literally the only way you can lose. I thought I had queen nine because I had no continuation there. What the fuck? The beginning. I need some coffee after that. You just threw me. Thank you for putting the chips in, because I, my body couldn't have done it at that time. What the fuck? Uh, why don't I even like look down at my hand before I make that call? I've just never done that. I like the needle still. I'm actually like, I'm having trouble breathing right now because that was the biggest mistake I've made, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. $20,000 mistake. You bet 16 on the turn, I mean river, and four, four something on the turn, right? Yeah, it's close to like $22,000 mistake. Can I, am I allowed to quit after that? I'm, jo I'm joking, I won't. 
But now I need, I'm going to keep double checking my cards. I have nightmares about that all the time, where I make a big call or a big bet, look down at my hand, and then my cards change. That's like one of the most common dreams I have, along with that I show up for school and I miss the whole semester, and now I have to pass the class. Those two dreams reoccurring. Very uncomfortable. Sorry, guys. It's weird. Blind versus blind, check flop, check turn, barrel river on a seven pairing. Well, I, I want to see this hand. He's calling with queen high now. What's happening? Okay. He's self-destructing. Wow. That hand, I'm still, I can't get over the hand before them. Have you ever done that before, Nick? You have, right? Have you got, have you done that before, Jungle? Have you done that before, Mars? No, right? No. He doesn't see. Have you done that before, Andy? Mars. Mars plays. Mars is never makes a joke. I just like I, I don't. I'm, it's crazy. It's like how do I think about that hand? And yeah, thank God I didn't win because it would be under investigation, right? Imagine you just had like fucking six high there or some shit. Well, I guess no one finds it as astounding as I did. Have you done that before? Um, yeah, most likely. Uh, I've done it. That's so sick. At least he's got those nebby nuff glasses from Nuptials. It's one of my favorite brands of sunglasses. <clears throat> I wish I was better at internalizing it than he wouldn't value bet ace high though. Next hand. Checking back. Sneaky, sneaky. Check. This is a board you're not really going to induce bluffs. Like, I understand checking back against guys who are going to bluff. But, like, the king high board, when you're the preflop raiser, they're just not going to run it all that often, especially on the two Broadway boards. So I think those one of the one of the boards, like, guys are going to make more light calls than they are light check raises, even if you're playing against a player who can sometimes spaz, sometimes bluff like Pepe. I think that's a board where I would just prefer to bet small on the flop. We've seen Pepe float flops insanely wide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ace queen, ace king, ace king. We're gonna see a big pot. Herschel already steaming a little bit. And if you're jungle man, this is a pretty easy fold. The reason why this is a pretty easy fold is because Herschel, you know, he's he's he's, he's trying to lock up the win. He's not three betting light. Dan knows that. Dan's an aware player. He's a solid player, and he cold four bets. Dan's just going to have a good hand here. See, airball normally would get a little wiggly out of line there with that particular hand, but he's too aware. He knows what's going on. And if you're jungle man, I think jungle just easily gets away from this with the dynamics that are going on in this game. Herschel's not going to be three betting light, and Dan is certainly not going to be cold four betting Herschel's three bet light. Right. So you put those pieces together, and ace queen just becomes a relatively easy fold here against these two ranges.
What do I know? Would you start the hand with? Um, one sixty-five. You, you got more, both of us covered, right? Um, not sure. Personally, actually not the most enviable spot here. And Dan Cold, four bets, and then Jungle Man, five bets. I mean, Ace King is just purely a bluff catcher at this point. And Herschel folds the Ace King. No way Dan's folding. Herschel's done. Gang gonna continue in position here. 77K already in the pot. Five bet pot. Jungle open. Got three bet. Dan four bet. Cold four bet. And then Jungle went five bet. So we're gonna see a flop. And this is a doozy. Top top for Jungle Man. Royal flush draw for Dan. We couldn't have asked for a more action packed flop here in a five bet pot. Pot. Your Dan, you're thinking about ranges here. Talking about essentially repping. Queens plus Ace King. Maybe even Kings Plus. How much? Well, it looks like Dan's going to put in the raise right away. Huh? I don't know about this size. This size seems like a blunder to me. I think Dan's played solid all night. But first of all, raising on this flop, not so sure about. But if you are going to raise, this is not the size. He essentially puts in half of jungle stack which seems like an odd race size to choose. Either click it, jam, or call. The in-between option, not really sure what this accomplishes better than one of those other options. I think that clip will become a clip. What? If you're jungle man, this looks insanely strong. It really looks like Dan has queens or tens. Or possibly just aces. You made it 80, right? 80 total. It's definitely going to get posted on okay. somewhere or the other. I don't care about it, but it's just like insane. You know what I mean? I'm subtle. I, uh, I don't really think it's that crazy. No, the fact that I flipped it. You know what? I'm going to make a fold I never make. Can you run it out one? So well. Jungle One makes a fold. I think we'll overall that's probably a really good fold there. I think overall in a vacuum it's a good fold. I think Dan's just going to have aces, I made a pretty queens, big and fold, tens actually. there almost all the time. 
That's it. The sick part was, you know what's making me sweat is because I was about to make it 75K. And then I was like, let me just see it because I think my reads right have? clean nine's good here. And then I fucking, if I make it 75, he snap pulls. Yeah, why'd I do that? Oh, that might be a good fold, though. Jungle, you had an ace in your hand? Yes. What did you have? Monster. What the fuck did you have? Monster. I just told you what I have. I had an ace in my hand also. You can understand what I'm saying with monster. So what, ace king? I don't know what he had. Ace Three, king off. Six. I made, I mean, I made top pair, I folded top pair. I've never seen anyone raise there. Fucking five bet pot. Maybe he had, uh, yeah. Maybe he had ace king hearts, I don't know. That's a good read. That was me. <laughs> 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 I was gonna literally make a 75 that night. You river ass <laughs> I just threw it into my whole stack for no hey, reason. Tune in Monday for Max Payne Monday, 10, 20, 40. The familiar. <laughs> familiar worried? crew. Dan, what'd you have? I'm going to find out soon. Did um, you tell that I was frozen in the moment right here? When you huh? grabbed the chips. Epic! A little bit, right? Oh. Uh, I meant to go 1,200, you know, because it's too late. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, I technically only went. You can do what you want. We do, we do what we want. want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Default. No, you like. Default. You're in my 100 bucks. All right, Heather, it's race to 1,200. <sighs> you can get 80,000 before. Somebody call me for the win. Check. Really? All the matter? All the matter. All the matter. Huh? How much? Supposed to end Three in minutes. nine minutes. Two minutes? Three minutes. Like nine minutes. minutes. From what they said. with another light three bit. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm a chick, I'm from here. Four. Right. Snap call for Pepe. Oh. Check. My friend, check, please. I wonder if he's gonna keep barreling here. He is, and this is gonna work. Pocket eights, we're gonna be done with this. Show me, Nick. 
Yeah. It's both of our hands, Pepe. Thanks so much, Pat. It's coming in now. That's why, that's why I asked you to be home. I don't remember. Huh? That's why I asked you to be home. A pair of sixes. Oh. Yeah, push draw, I guess. You'll find out in 30 minutes. Yeah, it's a push draw. You can have, you can have two combos of push draws. All right, Mike. I guess you can have three. Did you watch it? Did you watch it? Me, me give him a $25,000 gift, a free Rolex. To buy a watch to commemorate that and put my initials on the back. Right? Mars, the Kaichella mom. I misread my hand, called 17,000. Huh? Why a Kyla? I think that may do it for tonight. Andy and Dan ending the night. The big winners both played really solid tonight. What the fuck? I thought we were done when you came back. Double. Jimmy leading the league in VPIP, but did end up losing 200K plus tonight. Enjoyed spending Friday night with you guys? I don't know if I want to be or not. Here on Hustler Casino Live for High Stakes Poker Productions. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Just me and you. And we will be back Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific time for Max Payne Monday. We will see you guys then. And it's not your fault. You played your hand. You didn't know what I had. So, like, I have no ill flip feelings. No words. That's my one regret. That was funny. You're probably letting loose a little bit.